Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Did you think I wasn't coming then? I oh, know, it's like, uh, oh, we're having issues today with, I've got really bad echoing now with my talk back. My talk back's going click, 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 click. Hayley's talking like this in the background, like that. We'll get a spare ready to go. Anyway, good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody? Uh, uh, we're all good, we're all good, we're all good. Right, so uh, shall we start with our early bird? Now, while I was having a wee, I could hear Jesse saying, now I'm sure it goes this order, doesn't it? And he was completely right. Early bird. No, no, you go, you've got to tweet, 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 tweet. There you go. There you go. Here we go. That's a funny old shot, isn't it? Though? Let me just move my bottle out of the way there. There you go. Is it coming from the side? Oh, OK. 10.99, that's not your price. It's the Rose Spot. Yarn and fabric storage a bouquet. It's huge. Look, I could get in there. There's like, how much could you put in there? I think that'd be nice next to the fireplace with all your tinder in it and everything like that. Ten ninety nine. That's not your price. We crashed this price. We crashed this price. Tinder is the little bits of wood that you put in the fire. Yeah, it is kindling. Yes. Anyway, are you going to crash the price or what? I have no idea. You haven't told me yet. Here we go now, it's lovely, isn't it? Oh, oh no, we've done the early bird again. We're doing the early bird all over again. Right, I'm going to take, ready, steady. I'll turn it that way up, shall I? Because you're going to look at it from the top now. Oh, hang on, you don't want to see that. Yeah, Hayley, I had this this morning, you wouldn't believe it, would you? 
Uh, 7.99, seven pounds and 99 pence. All right, now once you bought this, that's your PMP paid for for the day. You do need to check out, otherwise it's not yours. At 7.99, isn't it lovely? It's so big. I, I was gonna say I was gonna put things in it, but it's a lovely little gift. Look, look, so I can put those in. Oh, look, I found that, Hayley. You, that, that's on tomorrow's show. That's on tomorrow's show. What else have I got? Cactus, frog, um, Oh, you want to know the measurements? Have you not got them on your computer? Okay, so it is 14 inches high and 40 inches round. Yeah, or do you want it in centimetres? 102 round. And what did I say it was up to the top? Up there? 14. 37. There are your centimetres, right, so you can put buttons in, books in, you could put, uh, well, fabric in. Look how much you can fit in here, I mean there's loads. Toilet roll, sanitizer, threads, you could put some handles on if you wanted to. Just try and see what else I've got to put in there. Oh, I don't know. Pin cushion. See, and it's only half full. Look, oh yeah, one of um, the cat. Cat in the bag. Look how much stuff I've crammed in there. You know what I mean? That's loads, isn't it? Now I've got to tidy up now. Seven nine time. Make sure you check out. It's not yours till you check out. Remember, loads of you there. Congratulations. You going with me? Content's not included. That's why I'm taking them all out. It's not bad though, is it, for $7.99? Oh, I'm out of breath already, it's, I'm exhausted. It's my morning workout, yeah? yeah yesterday, Dulcie and I didn't have to go for our long country walk. Oh no, that's for tomorrow, shall I put that over there? Um, we walked around NEC for hours on end yesterday. Yeah. What? No, it was rubbish. $7.99. In my opinion, not the opinions of the of Sang Street. Uh, while you're checking out, I'll do some good mornings. Gay Nor says good morning. Cousin Susan says good morning. Scylla says good morning. Pauline. Susan, got a message on my bottom. Uh, you'd get at least three cats in that bucket. Mo, how are you? Mo's off to Iceland. Not the supermarket, the country. Uh, now, I've got a quick question. It's nothing to do with Mo. Um, how many um, pockets do you put on your advent calendar? I said 24. I said 24. And then everyone shouted at me over the last couple of days. said, no, it's 25, 25. Uh, Susan says, good morning. Cold in Derbyshire, loving your shirt. Claire says, good morning. What a lovely shirt. Helen says, good morning. Loving your shirt. Pam Mini Harney Every, says, everyone from Granny Pam, Cookie Bobbin, and looking forward to seeing Lisa and Jenny later. Margaret says, good morning. Good morning, Margaret. Um, oh, hang on quickly. Veronica says, good morning from Grimsby. Lynn Tewitt says, good morning. Been awake since four. Blimey. Jenny says, good morning, John. I haven't been on for a little while. Just come in to terms with my husband starting chemo. Oh, Jenny, 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 Jenny. Sending you lots and lots of love and him. Lots and lots and lots and lots of love. Uh, Louise says, good morning. You look as handsome as ever, I wish. Yeah, she's watching a different channel. You're watching Stuart, aren't you? That's what you're doing. Uh, right, Lorraine says, oh, crazy Lorraine. Bet you're looking forward to seeing your crazy girls. I've seen them already. Don't worry, the noise level is very high. Good morning, says Judith. Anne says, good morning. Pockets, the more the merrier, but really 24. Pockets? Oh, on the advent calendar, 25th, yeah, exactly, 25th is proper presence, that's what I say. Uh, Stephanie says, lots and lots of love to you. L lots of people multiplying this. Keep going through, 24 advent pockets, thank you. I know I've missed a couple of messages out there, I'm sorry. Hillary says, good morning. Now, Hillary, wh what are you doing? Because you've got an oxymoron today. You know what I mean? I d I'm not going to say it out loud. I'm not going to say it out loud. But Hillary is in love with our Stuart. Right? $7.99. What, what? Scrapbook this. Oh, oh, scrap bucket. I thought you were saying, why don't you scrapbook it? As in, like, scrapbook it. And I'm like... What would you do with that? Scrap, scrapbook it from Dudley. 
Oh, we're going on, moving on, moving on, moving on. Ready? Right, shall we have a taste of the menu? Here's today's menu. Coming up today, we've got fabrics. <laughs> That's a really enticing... Uh, yeah, it's either says fabulous fabrics or super duper fabrics. Oh, it's little Paul. He'll have been in a, such a bad mood by the time he wrote that. But there's bound to be other mistakes on it somewhere. So then we've got crazy paving a tote with the so crazy girls. Let's have a look at that, Jesse. That's lovely, isn't it? Then we move on to Anna from Alice Caroline, Over the Rainbow. Uh, that's this one. That's that one there. It's beautiful, isn't it? We've got blocks four, five, and six today. Block four, five, and six today. One, two, and three are available if you missed out already. Zippity dippity doo da with the So Crazy Girls at 11 o'clock. That's that. Isn't that love? Look at that gorgeous fabric. Uh, okay, that's at 11 o'clock. I told you it was a busy day, didn't I? 12 o'clock. We have got the most gorgeous little wall hangings. Brand spanking new. Look, isn't that just adorable? Brand spanking new. Oh, you do need, you do need some, um, um, what's it called? Bondaweb. Bondaweb for that. Bondaweb. Definitely Bondaweb for that one. Right, uh, you need it for the first one as well. Right, um, <coughs> three ways you can get in touch. The first way is the email. Studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. The second way is Facebook Live, which is the ones I've been screaming out at you. Lorraine's taking her 92-year-old uncle out for lunch. Leslie says, bit late, grandchildren were FaceTiming me. Julianne says, can't watch for too long, off to work. Sylve says, morning. It's a bit, oh, Sylve, your message disappeared then. Uh, it's a bit nippy this morning. My advent calendar's got 24, she says, uh, Sue. Did you send the email, John? Yes, I did, Anne, but they, won't, they don't work weekends. They don't work weekends. And I, 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 I have to say, Anne, I doubt you'll get a reply, but I'll, I've tried, I've tried. Tina says, morning, I'm watching you both, one on the TV and one on the phone. Oh, Tina, you are good. And then the third way you can get in touch is on the website. www.sangstreet.com. Uh, what you do is you click on watch the live show. Oh, it's fabulous fabric. Look, Paul did leave a word out. It's meant to be called Fabulous Fabrics this hour. Right, there you go. So you can see there, there's a white box on the right-hand side that says send message to studio. You write a message in there. And they are the white messages. No, the boxes that come up in the white box on my bottom. Right, scroll down the page. You will see two columns. At the moment, there'll only be one. Right, on the left-hand side is show deals, which is everything we've shown so far. And then the one on the right will be pre-order. This is everything we have for the next five hours. Look at all this brand new fabric. It's gorgeous, Dan Morris there. Dan Morris, look at those, look at that motor. Now, am I right in saying, I think this is right, that it's the first batik from Moda we've ever done. See that, they love this Christmas and not non-Christmas. Well, it's the first one we've done, I think, the mode that we've done, it might not be. Right, keep going, keep going, keep going. Got some books in the first hour, that's all in the first hour there. Second hour, oh, stop, 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 stop. Look at that gorgeous quilt, I've got that coming up now. I shouldn't have it today, but I'm going to do it today for you. Then we scroll down. This is the So Crazy Girls' first uh, show. There's fabrics and beautiful fabrics there and all the tools and the kits. I'll go through all of that with you when they come on. Dirty your full kit there. Uh, beautiful, isn't it? You can buy... Uh, uh, there's so much to get in that hour. Make sure you check out now if you're going to. There's the quilt. Yeah, now that's, hang on, that's a bit weird. Hang on, they put the picture of the whole thing up. You don't get the whole thing. You only buy, there you go, you see there. So block six and block four, that's what, so you can't tell. Now, oh, I've got to talk to you, Hayley. Remind me at the end. Yeah, 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 but how do you see where it is? What, if you click on it, does it take you to a picture of the actual block? No, see? So you don't know which one block three is, do you? We had this issue with Delphine's hour the other day, and I, oh, it was very annoying for Delphine, it was. Anyway, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Look at that gorgeous cushion. We've got a picture of that cushion, haven't we? It's beautiful. I won't show you. Oh, there it is. Well done. Oh, you clicked on it there. Uh, we've got the kit for that cushion as well. Uh, we're not demoing that today, just very, but anyway, keep going, keep going, keep going. There's your pen and your pen fit refills, glue pen. Right, there's the second So Crazy Girls pattern. Look at those gorgeous fabrics. Look, there's the pattern. Then we've got the wall hanging. Beautiful, beautiful wall hanging. And then we've got Alice Caroline. Now, you've seen the squares, right? We've never had the Christmas ones before. 
We've got Liberty in the two and a half inch and Liberty in the five inch. I'm sure there was something I was going to point out to you when I was on that page, but never mind. It'll come to me. Right. How gorgeous is this quilt? Right, okay. Now, Stuart had this on his show this week. I was watching from home and he had it hanging behind him. It is... Eh? No, it isn't. It is the top. If you go from the upstairs camera, look. Thank you, Hayley. Hayley's produced me today, so there will be issues. You have to show everything. You have to show everything. Uh, so I'm looking at it for the upstairs camera. There you go. Right, now, uh, just, just let's have a look at this. Right, 149.99, there will be split pay in a second. How exquisite is Now, there's not been a demo on this. But look at the fabrics in there. I think that for I think this must be one of my favourite quilt um, cave quilt designs because I love this bit here where it's kind of created a flower within the square on the on point square, and then the others he's just used his lotus leaves or convolulus or whatever. You know what I mean? Beautiful. Now it, yours will arrive in a box like this, right? <laughs> we'll show you the box. We'll show you the box now. There it is. There it is. There it is. This kit, kit, look, it's 196 by 100. Oh, right, stop, 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 stop. Which is the right size? The ones we've got in the graphics or the one that's on the box? Box says 196 by 138. We say 145 by 203. What the box says, you take it by the box. Oh, I can measure it actually for you in a minute. 14 fabrics, right? 14 fabrics you get in there. Beautiful, isn't it? There they all are. Now look, so what happens is inside you get a booklet and it tells you exactly all the fabrics you get and what they're for, what they're called, how much you get of them, what they're for. There it is. These are the instructions. This is Stuart opening the instructions for you. And then inside that booklet is everything. Oh, there's your fabric. Oh, look at all of that. It's so beautifully packaged. Well, I haven't got one here to show you, you see. They're so scarce at the moment. Uh, yeah, exactly. I've got single figures now. Single figures on this quilt kit. Isn't it beautiful? 149.99. Now you pay uh, three split payments of 49.99. It's what? Exclusive. Oh, is it? Oh, there you go. It's exclusive to Sewing Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could copy and do it if you wanted to, but this, this, we've chosen to do it like this. Uh, so it's called the floating. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely stunning. Well, I'm just, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure the bottom and I'll tell you. It's in centimetres, wasn't it? So the width is da, 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 137. Oh, we've got 145. What did it say on the box, Jesse? Oh, hang on. That means it might be me measuring it badly. Yeah, come back to me measuring it. Centimeters across the bottom. Uh, yeah, well, well, 137 my measures, but 138 is what it should be across the bottom. So go by the measurements on the box, not our measurements. Yeah, we'll change that for you. We'll change that for you. But it's an excuse. Oh, imagine that thrown over the back of your sofa. Imagine that. Isn't it lovely? You've got your button mosaics in here. You've got your chips. This blue one here is your chips. You've got your solid red there. You've got your feathers going up there. You've got your jumble going here. You've got your uh, gallons up here. Oh, hang on, let me pull that into shop. You've got your gallons there. Beautiful, isn't it? The different fabrics that are in here. Just exquisite, isn't it? There it is. That's what it looked like hanging on the wall. Well, it looks like hanging on the wall. It's just beautiful, isn't it? I'm not a quilter, says Pauline, but I'd say that is beautiful. Okay, here we go. Isn't that just stunning? 149.99. There you go. 49.99, three, three pairs. Now, with split pay, as soon as you paid the first one, if you decide to choose split pay, as soon as you paid your first 40... So, say you buy that this today. At midnight tonight, uh, when it's all coagulated and everything, it will start going through the system. The warehouse will be told, because we've got these in the warehouse, on Monday, tomorrow, to set the wheels in motion. Even if you've only paid the first payment of 49.99, it will be sent out to you. We don't wait for you to pay all three payments before we send it to you. It will be sent to you after the first payment. I know, isn't that brilliant? No, no interest charge whatsoever. 
No interest whatsoever. There you go. That's what your box will look like. Oh, love it. It's just totally, to who's made this one? Am I allowed to keep this one? No, it has to go back, doesn't it? Oh, beautiful. They're on loan, but they've been in the box in the main room for weeks. Or they're on shelves now. That quilt is a very impressive piece of art. He's a blinking genius, isn't he just? She's not talking about me now, she's talking about Kate. Patricia says, good morning, with love you all from Blackpool. Jill said, just about to leave for our lodge in Devon. Oh, Kate, you, I'm going to watch on the way. I hope you're not driving. Patsy says, morning, love your gorgeous floral shirt. Rachel says, hello from me and Gary. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful. Right, there's eight left. Eight left, once all you've all checked out, there are eight left. We've only ever shown it once before and we've never had a demo of it. No, not enough. There's only eight left now, once you all checked out. I know. 149.99. I love it. We're going to move on. I've got so much to show you this hour. I'll do some messages while I fold it up then. <laughs> while I fold it up, he says. <laughs> Morning, John. Love bag making. Making bags for Christmas presents. Send a wrapping paper in Mandy from Gailey. Oh, do I? Gailey? Oh, Staffordshire. Got Gailey in Staffordshire. Lovely. Very quickly. Hi, John. It's Sewing Street at Harrogate this year. Is Sewing Street at Harrogate this year. Love, D and Ian. Are we... Oh, okay, no, we haven't got a stand, but you will see Hayley and Neil and E. They'll all go on a jolly, you see, and it's all expenses paid jolly. They'll be there, they'll be hung over because they're all going out drinking on the Friday night. So there's no stand, there's no stand, but they'll all be there. Reva says, morning, John, seeing you packing the storage bag made me think of a scene in Toy Story where Mrs. Potato Head, you, you calling me a potato head, Reva? Oh. oh, there's another part of it now. Uh, packing potato for his trip. Sorry, I accidentally hit send. Oh, don't worry, Reva, it's fine. Right, shall we get on? I've never watched Toy Story. <laughs> Why would I watch Toy Story? I haven't got any children. <coughs> right. Batiks first. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, yo, here we go. Batiks. Now, these are mode. No. Yay. Mode uh, Batiks, these. Oh, they're lovely. Right, I've got a bundle. I've got a bundle here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four and a half metres. Oh, they're nice, aren't they? Look, 71 pounds and 89 pence. So you get half a metre of each one. They're all Christmas based. Aren't they lovely? So now, these are very unusual. For oh, now it's not your normal batik. I don't know how they've done these because you... No, no, they're definitely batik. They're definitely batik, but they've obviously done a different method because normally your batik's on both... Oh, I suppose it is. No, I see what they've done. So the batik is a very, very subtle tie-dye batik, right? And then they've got a stamper and they've stamped the stars on the top of this one in your gold dye. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Let me look at one of the others, because the others will show you how a batik works better. Let me show you one of these. Right, look, hang on. Here you go. This is what you'd normally see with a batik, right? Look, so there's your batik. Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. But look at the other side. Lovely, 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 lovely. The way batik is worked, they start off with a plain, plain piece of cream fabric, and then they get liquid wax, and they paint out the bits that, for example, they don't want to be red. So they would paint it all out apart from leaving this bit here. They'd dip it in red dye, they'd let it dry, they'd scrape off the wax, then they'd paint on all the wax that they didn't want the green, dark green to be. they do all of that, they'd dip it in the dark green wax, so all of this is then covered with wax so the fabric doesn't take up the dye. It takes forever, forever and ever and ever. 71 pounds and 18 pence means you get half a meter of each of these it's beautiful it's 7.99 for a half meter um you know what um batik quilts are very very popular at the moment uh, the, the thing is you wouldn't have that that doesn't scream christmas to me does it to you you see that 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 it's got all the gore imagine imagine a christmas morning quilt made out of that though Oh no, beautiful. Suzanne says, morning John team, I start back, started back at work this week so I can only watch it at weekends. Looking forward to seeing the So Crazy Girls. 
Uh, Amanda says, morning everyone, I'm going to church in a bit, but I'll watch you when I get back. Uh, and beautiful, that beautiful fabrics, everyone's saying. What? Okay, so now, remember when a bundle is normally £100 more, we give you half a metre for free? Hayley's in charge, right? She's going to give you half a metre for free, watch. If you've already checked out, if you've already checked out, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Oh. Okay, hang on, we can't do it now, we can't do it now. Okay, so... So if you want this, 63.92, it will go down. We just can't do it in the graphics right now. You keep looking at those fabrics. I just need to have some. Computer says no. I thought that was a joke, but it does. It does. So you are going to get half a meter for free on there. Aren't they just glorious though? Batiks from Moda. Felicity Batiks, they're called. Traditional. Well, I suppose it's traditional Christmas, isn't it? The, the red and the gold and the green. I love that black one there. Morning, John. Come to the Harrogate show with me. If it's rubbish, we can go to Betty's. <laughs> and just, am I, I don't even know when it is. I'll have to find somewhere to stay as well, Ange. Oh, 19th November, is it? Oh, that's the day you're going, is it? Yeah. Uh, now, how much should we say we get this for, sorry? $63.92 is what you'll get this for. $63.92. Let's do them individually now. I'm going to be quick because it's 25 past already and I've got loads to get to. Will you follow me? Yeah, right, okay. I love this one. You see, I, that doesn't say Christmas to me. Remember, it's by, now you're buying it, <coughs> excuse me, by the half metre, remember. So you're buying it off the bolt now. 7 99 for half a metre. So if you want three metres, you will get a three metre piece. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful batiks for 7 99 That lovely leaf detailing. I think it's meant to be, it's not holly, is it? I wonder what kind of leaf it's meant to be. Or is it mistletoe? No. No. So it's like, oh yeah, like a fern it is, isn't it? It's beautiful. What have they called it, actually? Pine. Pine, they've called it. Pine leaves. Oh no, pine will be the colour. Pine will be the colour, won't it? Beautiful. I did say I was going to do this very quickly. I've now got the same print, but in like a, a wash of colour. Oh, that's pretty as well, isn't it? Look. This one's called, oh, it's called something completely different. This one, cream, oh, uh, these won't be the Moda names for them. These will be our names for them. Beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. The cream stems, because the, the background's cream, but then the stems are like the green and the red and then a mix of the two. That's lovely, isn't it? I am going to move on. Righty-o. Now I've got like an all over, the same colourway as that. But like snowflakes, lovely, isn't it, that one? Very traditional, beautiful and traditional. Uh, right, uh, oh, Margaret says, golly, you really suit pink. I'd say my shirt was every colour and pink, isn't it? Seven ninety nine. what have we called this one? Cream snowflakes, we called this one. Well, you see, it's more than cream. The background itself is batik, you see. So you've got splodges of yellow, soft oranges, creams. Oh, yeah, now Kate Spain. Now, she did. Remember when Moda did their, um, their fat quarter bundles that we used to sell at Sewing Quarter, and each designer was asked to do a... a Kate Spain was one, of their, was one of their regular designers. I wonder why she's called it Felicity then. Let's <coughs> be moving on. Same colourway again, but little Christmas tree lights. This is ha uh, Haley's favourite. Cream lights, it's called. Cream lights. Uh, right, um, we can't get any more of this. Once they've gone, they've gone, just so you know. Mind you, Christmas, flipping heck, it's be here before we know it, won't it? Same colourway again, but this time it's kind of little baby ferns and acorns and 
berries and things like that look. It's just called mixed, this one. Mixed leaves, yeah. Like a salad, that, isn't it? That's like when you get a Waitrose rocket and what's it, mixed leaves salad. 7 99 fabulous price for batiks, all the work that's gone into it. Okay. Now, these are my favourites. This is gold stars on black. That's the black one. The, the background is batik look. Very, very soft like tie-dye batik. This one's called black stars. I've got red stars coming up next. Gorgeous, look. Yeah, this is red. This, well, yeah, because I'd say that was burgundy. Yeah. Red stars. Beautiful. I, so, I'm sorry I'm going so quickly. They'll all be on the website if you're missing out. I'm going too fast. Oh, Teddy, how is he? Good morning, John, the same street team. Tuned in just inside the lovely batik. Teddy in Wimbledon. He always put Wimbledon today. He doesn't normally put that anymore, does he? He just puts Teddy in Greater London. <coughs> this is burgundy. Oh, hang on, sorry. There we go. This is burgundy. Can you not hear me? <coughs> Beautiful. And last but not least, we've got pine. I think this is, I'd have called this emerald personally. Like the, a really good quality Brazilian emerald, I'd have called that. What's the matter? It's because I can't hear you what you say you see, so it doesn't matter. I can hear you, but you're just muffled background. But I quite like that. Right, isn't that beautiful? Right, that's Christmas batik over. Where should we go now? Bold batik, gold, gold, gold. Oh, it is Christmas. It's still Christmas. How weird. Now, I would say only one of those was Christmassy, personally. There's your gold batik bundle. 39.95. You get two and a half metres. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful colour gold. So you get that, well, I presume that's baubles. Oh, yeah, I can see them now. Baubles, snowflakes. Not sure. Not sure. Stars. Stars. Yeah, no, but what's it got to do with Christmas? Oh, that's lovely, though, isn't it? 39.95. Oh, these are, the colours of these are stunning. Oh, imagine them with the green. If you bought the green from earlier, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, individually then, let's do baubles first. Hang on, I've got it upside down. Oh, yeah, I had it upside down. This has been the most popular pre-order. It's nice, isn't it, that one? Now, it has, got, it has got a direction, just so you know. If you're thinking about the direction of it. No, look. No, look. You see, all the others, it's only the ones with the gold stars on that have been, all, all the others are proper, well, they're all proper batiks, so don't get me wrong. But these, you can see that, yeah, it's a metallic die that they've stamped on. It's not, it's not crunchy. You can't scratch it off or anything. We'll have a look. We'll do the gold stars on this one next. I love that. That's beautiful. I think a dress out of that would be amazing. Right, gold stars would be this one, right? So now this is the only one that's slightly different because look, the batik comes through. Can you see the batiks there? But the stamp, the, the gold stars have just been stamped on the top. Yeah, well, what it is, is you can now get dyes that are gold and silver. So it's, it's the same as if you were to dye it with a yellow or a green or a blue. It doesn't come off. It's not scratchy. It's lovely. It's got that lovely shimmer to it. It's so clever what they can do these days. Right, let's do snowflakes next then. 
You could, do, you could do loads with half meter. Look, this is what you get, right, for your half meter. Oh, isn't it? What's it called? Oh, what have those been called then? Is this called gold, this? Morning, says Elizabeth. Is it a gold metallic finish on the previous collection? Uh, well, I, I tell you what it is. It's a dye. It's not going to come off. It won't scratch off. It's been dyed on. But it has got a metallic finish to it. Yeah, the stars. Just the stars have got the metallic finish on it. Then I've got this one, like which are the little leaves. This must have taken forever. Somebody has sat outlining all of those leaves, look, with wax. Can you imagine? Uh, this one is called Leaf. Leaf Gold. Beautiful. Right, now what do they call this one then? The Diamonds one. This is nice. They do not. Triangles. Oh, honestly. But look, it's on both sides, look. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful, gorgeous, stunning. Right, that is it for batiks. Right, okay, so if you bought, well, I think, you see, that green... Do you reckon the red or the Bordeaux? The red look lovely with it, wouldn't it? Just mixing and matching a little bit for you here now. Maybe what about that green one there? Oh, no, that doesn't work. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That one works better, doesn't it? Look, take that one out. Just if you want to mix and match them. I think the black might be a bit heavy. Let's have a look. The black would be more of a statement. that I think that's too heavy to go with those. My per that's my personal opinion. Obviously, ignore me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want some drama, then I'd add something like that in it. We all need a bit of drama in our lives. Come in here. Dan Morris Bundle now. Now, this is a bit like Man Cave, this one. It's a whole bundle. I have got them all individually. So I've got beer barrels. I've got um, what different beers, pale ales. I've got beer bottles. I've got beers in glasses. Oh, the whole, is it just a whole range called beer? Tap beer, on tap beer. Well, except now that's, that's wrong. Because if it's on tap, you wouldn't have bottle, open it, bottle tops, would you? Anyway, bottle tops, bottle tops. Oh, hang on, look, that's the same as that one there. 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 And then those are two individual ones. So you get four and a half metres. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine fabrics, half a metre of each. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, Dan Morris, he travels around the world with his wife in a, in a motorhome and to get all their inspiration for their fabrics, yeah? He does love the outdoors, yeah? 62.89 for that bundle. Oh, Hayley wants to show you his website. So there he is. There he is. And there's his family in the little picture there. There's his motorhome, which is like his um, studio. It's like his, his uh, mobile studio. Now he's American. Yeah, Barb. You can read it all there anyway. This is quite butch for him because he normally does very um, swathy, I'm not saying this isn't beautiful, but this is very, very manly, isn't it, this? So you get here four and a half metres of fabric for 62.89. Oh, June says, morning everyone, I've overslept. It's all right, it's 25 to nine on a Sunday, that's fine. There they all are, there's all the fabrics there. Individual now. 
So let's do the... Oh, I just told you a fib. I said those two were the same. <laughs> They're not the same at all. Anyway, let's do the bottle tops first then on tan. It most probably won't be called that. Bottle caps on sand. Bottle caps on sand. Oh, now I wonder if he's got, there's actual, I don't know if I'm allowed to show you this. There's actual makes, look, Pilsner, that's a beer, that's a real one, isn't it? Oh, oh, it's not a make of. Oh, so like pale ale and like stout. Oh, okay, okay. What's Ipa, Ipa? Oh, pale ale, right. Oh, okay, so they're different types of beer. They're not makes. Oh, I thought it suddenly they were makes of beer. That was all. Yeah. Morning, everyone. Sitting on the edge of my seat, waiting till nine. What's the matter? Oh. Six. Uh, can I just? Can I just point? <coughs> I just want to point something out. Six ninety nine, far from eater for a designer fabric. Really good value, isn't it? Moving on up. Right, okay. So now, what we're wondering what Dan's inspiration was for this when he was obviously wasn't travelling with his family. Maybe he's on a boy's jolly in his motorhome. Maybe he went to the Cheers. What was the, did they sell beer in Cheers? Six, nine, I like this colour. What's this one? Oh, green. <coughs> Next one. Right, are these are like tankards and glasses now on green. Which one of the, of the bottle? Cup? Well, yeah, very popular, the last one. Right, this one is your beer. Well, the thing is, you know Munch's mum and dad, they've got a bar in their garden. You can make all sorts, you can make beer mats, you could make curtains, you can make a shirt for the barman, you could do anything with this fabric, couldn't you? Or bar person, sorry, bar person, apron. Well, you wear an apron behind the bar, don't you? If you're making your own beers. Oh, hang on, Crystal. Uh, morning, John. Blake and I are watching while enjoying a cup of tea in bed. Love, Crystal. Oh, Crystal. You have another Sunday morning smooch. Watch you don't spill the tea, though. Right, OK, now I've got big icons on cream. It won't be called that. Oh, Jesse likes this one. Multi-directional it is. Dawn Taylor's watching. Morning, John and team. No, I just looked at the pictures. I didn't read any of the titles. Beer motifs. I've got too much to do to read all the titles. Th think of the guests I've got in today, right? It's been mayhem. And yes, they have had coffee. June, if you want to know what we're doing today, you need to get up in time to watch the menu. Simple as that. We're doing So Crazy Girls at 9 o'clock is that bag. 10 o'clock is Alice Caroline doing this quilt. Are you ready to go to the other side? 11 o'clock is that bag up there. 12 o'clock is that wall hanging there. And that's your lot for today. Right, here. Beer bottles on orange. Oh, it's got no colour on that one. Just beer bottles, that one's called. No colour. It's like an orangey... Orangey mustard. Dijon, maybe. Moving on. Then I've got beer barrels. Yeah, and Haley's has. Don't bother with bottles, just buy the barrel. There's only her and Joseph there. Uh, this one's called Barrels on Sand. Beautiful, six ninety nine. I am going fast though, because I've got lots and lots and lots to fill in, fit in. Right now, this one here, 
It's got a linen, it's not a texture, but it's printed like it's on linen. Text on cream. Do you know what? Some people don't want quilts with flowers and swirls on, do they? Um, Jesse saying he'd love it. Any ladies out there who love quilting who want fancy a date? He'd love a quilt made out of this. You should have been there yesterday, Jesse, going around the NEC then. Could have got your new girlfriend who did quilting. Right, we're going to same on black. Six ninety nine for half a meter, and then last but not least, I've got that one on green. Oh, I quite like this one. Look, the green's very wicked, isn't it? Like wicked, not like Wicked Man, but I mean like Wicked the Musical. It's a proper bottle green. What colour have they called it? Oh, emerald they've called it. Anne's worried for me because the air conditioning ever get cleaned. We haven't got it on today. I didn't put it on today. Right. Now, moving off, Dan Morris, which of these would you like to go to first? They're all individual, these, aren't they? They're all individual. They're not in a bundles, I don't think, these. Okay, then. So I've got two little piles of fabric here. Now, these aren't supposed... This is Odile Balleur. This one is called Geodes. It's beautiful, isn't it? Completely different designer, completely different design. These would be fantastic if you're going to do any of the So Crazy Girl bags today. Julie's just woken up as well, loving my shirt. Uh, Teresa's just back from walking the dog, loving the beer fabric. G I know about Geo, Jex, I'm GIA trained. No, I did that in my last job, Jesse. Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Now, this next one, you will actually see a bigger version print of this in the pink. Oh, that's weird. I haven't got it in this hour. Maybe it's in that hour. But look, 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 look. The jellyfish. Jellyfish on blue, this one. It's called Mini, Aqu oh, I could have told you that. Mini Aquatics by Odile Bellieu. I love her work. Beautiful. I remember Odile was the black swan in um, Swan Lake. Du, 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 du. Yeah, Odile and Odette. The white one was called Odette and the black one was called Odile. I'm full of useless information, aren't I? What, what? Well, yes, I only know because I, I made their tutus when they did Royal at the Royal Ballet when we did Swan Lake. Right, look at this. I love this one. So this one is called Mini Gecko. And you know why? Where are they? Where are they? No, Gecko. G-E-C-K-O. Mini Gecko. We've, we've spelt it wrong on our graphics. Because somewhere in the, in the range, there are little geckos in there somewhere. Where are they? On the bigger print of this, you can see them. Oh, there they are. There they are. Look, little mini geckos. The colour is ex <coughs> exquisite, isn't it? A deal value. I'm presuming as well that the next one must be the gecko's feet coming up. Beautiful, isn't it? Stunning. Now, look at this one. Oh, I haven't got a name on this one. Like, ding dong. I don't think they will have been called bells. Yeah, I, it's cut off the end of here, so I can't tell you what it's called. It's 
beautiful those. I love the way the colours all blend and merge. Oh, I know you tell me this every time, Claire. Balieu is pronounced by Earl, but it doesn't sound as glamorous. Balieu. Okay, it is a bell. Yeah, it's called bells. Jesse, no, that won't fit. Jesse thinks they're like, they're like blue bells. When was the last time you bought Well, they might do, actually. You've never bought a lady flowers? And you wonder why you're single. Like, it's not just that, Jesse. But uh, Right, and now I've got this range here. Oh, these are stunning. And then they're, only, they're same, the same range. I don't know why they're in different bundles. This one's called Fronds. No, no, no. I just wonder why they're in two part, different piles on my desk, that was all. I know they're not in bundles. Seven ninety nine for half a meter, 100% cotton, quilting weight, beautiful. Uh, these would be ideal for any of the, if you're going to get any of the um, bags that the So Crazy Girls are making in about 12 minutes' time. Gerardine says, is that a new shirt, John? It's lovely. Can't wait to see the Crazy Girls together. Always make me laugh. Yeah, they've got to work today. They're not here to make you laugh. They've got to here to make bags, not mess around and laugh. Hayley's in charge today, she says. Right, then, oh, this. Now, this is in one of the bags. I love this one. Look at, look, 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 look at her. It's called Mini Flower Fairies, this one. Look at them. It's very um, Jennifer Paganelli, this, isn't it? It's in there, it's in there. Look, if you look in the bag, can you see them in there? I don't think that's the word you're looking Is that the right word? Mm. Beautiful. Look, you've got the passion flowers, the big peonies in there. Okay, so uh, uh, Odile Bellier is uh, an embroiderer, a fabric designer, and she will paint... She's got a gypsy caravan that she paints to for inspiration. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, this one here, I always think this one looks like showgirls. It's not showgirls, they're flowers, but look. This one is called Plumette, because I'm thinking of the fan dancers. You know what I mean? You know Alison Marion used to be a fan dancer, don't you? Uh, crazy girls not mess around. Good luck with that one, John. <laughs> I think Plumette means feathers, doesn't it? Lovely, isn't it? Again, yeah, yeah, look, that there. And then you got your feathers above it there, plumes there, plumes there, and then plumes in the middle. Gorgeous. Moving on. Then I've got some, this one in the green. This is like a kaleidoscope, this one, isn't it? This one must be mini plumettes, is it? Yeah, mini plumettes. So this is also the one in the bag, I think. Oh, maybe not the green one. Maybe they've got a different colourway in the bag. Nine, I had nine, yeah. Lynn Twitt says, some hope of the girls not having a laugh. Be easier to char change the date of Christmas. Oh dear. You're not instilling me with any confidence, ladies. Beautiful. One more. Oh, this must be fronds in a different colour, this one. Yeah, fronds in the turquoise. Isn't that lovely? Look at that one. Got a couple of books to show you in this hour as well. Books. A couple of books. Lovely. You're going to see a lot of the Odette. Oh, oh, oh. You're going to see a lot of the Odile oh, Balieu in the next couple of hours because uh, the So Crazy Girls have used her fabrics. <coughs> oh, actually, you know why we only, we only had two missing? Because I think they're in the second hour because they're in the second bag. 
Yeah. Wait there. No, no, we have a look there. So keep looking at that. Oh, I've got lots. I've got... Actually, I'm going to do them now. I'm going to do them now. Is that all right? Is that all right? The books will be on the website. I just think you ought to see these Odette, Odile Balieu fabrics that are coming up later. Look. So this one... It's, it's in that bag. It's in, in the bag that they use there. So this one is called Aquatic. Oh, plumettes mean small feathers, apparently. Oh, yeah, and plume is big feather, is it? There's the bag. Look, there's the bag. That's coming up at 11 o'clock, that bag. That's the back side of it. Did you take a picture of the other side, Jesse? Oh, no, no, no. Just so you know, that was the... Yeah, that's fine. Sorry. Seven, nine, ten. That's beautiful. That pink, that pink would suit me. Hang on, let's just hold this up. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Beautiful. Then I've also got this one, which is also in that bag. Oh, hang on. Wait, yeah, that's right. That's right. I've got this one is called Gecko again. But this is not mini Gecko. Look, these are the big geckos. Yeah, on the bag, other side that time. Jesse's mixing it up for a Sunday morning. I love this fabric, I can't tell you. I launched, the ones that aren't new today, I launched them and they were so popular, we loved them. Now I've also got some more. I've got some more, we said there were 11, but there's actually more than 11, because look at this, this one might be from a different range actually, let's have a look. No, uh, no, same range. This one's called Flower Fairies in the Purple. Oh, I love that. Now, you see, you know I said I was looking for some lovely wallpaper from a hall and my landing. I wonder if she does wall... Did you say she did wallpaper? Oh, do you imagine that? And your hall going up your stairs. She might, you know, frighten you if you get up in the middle of Oh, there's only seven meters this one left once you've all checked out. Very popular. I'm not surprised. That's lovely. She looks like my friend Penny, that lady. Oh, well, yeah, I was, uh, that's what I said the other day. I, was, I chose this wallpaper that I loved. And then I went to check out and it was £175 a roll. And I was like, no, I'll just empty that out of my basket. Because I'm having it all the way up the hall. Landing, stair, no, hall, staircase, landing. No. So what's Rachel, where's she having decorated then? Oh, okay. That's our friend Rachel from Dudley, right? I haven't been to her house since, um, what's he called, Harvey? No, not Harvey. Harley, Harley was this big. That's the last time I went to her house. How old's Harley now? 27 or something now. Eight. Oh, this one's called Floropolis, Flora, Flora Floropolis, Floropolis, no, I can't say it, Floropolis, Florapolis, it feels like the O and the A are the wrong way round, doesn't it? Susan loves this fabric, I know, so do I, Susan, it's beautiful, isn't it? I love this one, it's got little bridges on, look, and little um, pagodery bits and things. Gorgeous. I wonder what colour? Was, was she giving that one a colour? Oh, just pink. You see, I mm, there's pink in it, but I think it's more... It's beautiful. Berry, yeah, that's a good colour. And then last but not least in these is this one here, which is like cranes. I'll see what it's called now. Ibis. Oh, don't talk to me about Ibis. I stayed at the Ibis Hotel in York. It was awful. This one was set city centre. Cost me a blooming fortune, it did. Don't you come creeping in here like that. Have you got your microphones on? Yeah. Have you got your poppies on? Good. Have you got your bag ready? Bag. What bag? Yeah, no. We ha we've had lots of people saying, you're going to behave today and you're here to make bags, not messing around. And all these people are messaging and going, good luck with that one, John. Uh, this would make an amazing dress for your granddaughter, Susan. Yes, it would. Any of these. Any of these would. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got the Blockheads book here, the Moda Blockheads book. I love this one because it's all different blocks that you can make from Moda. It's all done in traditional, in traditional um, browns and traditional fabrics. So you can use any fabric to do these. 48 quilt along blocks, right? So all the, what it is, is, I don't know if I've got a... I've got, there you go. It's full of blocks, right? And then six designers have created their own quilts from the blocks within here. But look, so you can literally start at the beginning with Aunt Dinah. 4X, Whirly Gig, B Skep, Coronation. There's, uh, uh, how many did I just say? 48, 48 different blocks in there. So if you've just started, what a brilliant way to learn how to, some of them you might never use. I'm not saying, but some of them you might never use. But others you'll just use over and, and pinwheel star. How often are you going to use that? Do you know what I mean? Sunflower. Gorgeous. I'm just trying to photobomb a picture that's been taken. I don't think I made it. No, I think I'm, I'm no, they don't want me in here. <laughs> oh, it's the wrong way, she's done it the wrong way. Anyway, ja they're beautiful. So what, that's a block, uh, blockheads, 18 pounds and 99 pence. Which other book did you say you wanted to do? Quilting for the Home by Annie's Quilting. Annie's Quilting books are always incredibly, incredibly popular. In this one, you get 11 projects in here for £8.99. £8.99. £8.99. Nifty nut napkin basket. Is Greg's open? Yeah, yeah, they were at Greg's. They were banging on the door waiting for Greg's to open. Table runner, you know I'm not fond of a table runner. Marmalade topper with all, oh, I think they just mess up the table, don't they? I haven't got a sideboard. I haven't got any sideboards. Anyway, look, home sweet home. I love, I love little like Annie's quilting books. 8 99 for 11 patterns. I know, 11 patterns. Right, I've got to go, got to go, got to go. Coming up after break, we're going to be making this handbag here with the So Crazy Girls. Jenny Jackson looks like she's going to wet herself. I don't know what's going on over there. We will see you in four minutes from now. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. I'm Debbie Harris and I'm so excited to be one of the new guest designers here on Sewing Street. I live and work in Melton Mowbray in Leicestershire where I run my own knitting and sewing business called Mabel and Deb. I specialise in sewing and knitting and crocheting and I've been doing all of those three things from being a little girl when my mum taught me all things knitting, crochet and sewing. Started off just crocheting little chain stitches and granny squares 
and then actually patchwork sewing little hexagons and they're still my favourite shape to sew now. I used to be a school teacher for over 20 years I was teaching in classrooms um, and just had the knitting and the crochet and sewing as a background hobby but now I get to do this as, as my job and I'm absolutely passionate about it and really want to share all that passion and excitement with you guys. Um, a, a tip that I think is worth sharing with you is always use quality materials so whether that's your fabrics or your threads or wool the difference in the quality of your materials can really make a difference to your finished project and always use the right tools so whether it's a rotary cutter or a pair of scissors that are specially made for that job that too can make all the difference my claim to fame in 2020 was winning being one of the winners of the great british makeoff here on sewing street when i did my debut um, sewing demonstration in november last year and it was just a wonderful experience and i'm so excited to be here on my sewing street journey with you all bringing lots of tips techniques and looking forward to doing lots of exciting projects with you throughout the year so lovely to meet you and i look forward to seeing you soon bye In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. So crazy girls are here. Now last night I was trying to tag them when I wrote on the on the thing. Remember I said, uh, oh let's have our chat at four o'clock and don't forget. And I kept putting in at so cheeky girls. And I was like, why so cheeky? And it wouldn't pick up. And I was like, oh they've obviously shut down. They've obviously shut down. Not Tom because I'd heard from either of them. And I was like, oh crikey. And it was only that I went on my phone. And I thought I'll just double check. Lisa Lamb. Cheeky girls. Can you imagine these two the cheeky girls going? Didn't want them to go out with an MP. No. Here they are, here they are, say good morning. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I am a little bit worried, but don't worry, we'll be fine, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Um, I, I just need to look at this, I need to look at this. We are going to get some sewing done, we are going to have some fun, so don't worry. Um, isn't this just beautiful? I love, love, love this bag. So as you can see, you've got your PU here, but look, you've got EPP across the middle here. Now, if you don't want to use, oh, well, I'll let the ladies explain it all to you, but if you don't want to do EPP, don't be frightened by it, because first of all, it's just a little bit, but secondly, you could just put a, your favourite fabric there, couldn't you, or anything? But isn't it just gorgeous? Really, really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bag. What you come to expect from the So Crazy Girls, isn't it? It's quality, it's classy, but it's fun, isn't it? That's what it's all about. So now, I have got a whole bundle for you to make this, this um, bag, right? I've got a whole bundle, right? So in here... You get the instructions, you get the handle, you get the rivets in there, you get your PU, you get your pale blue for your lining, and then you get your Odile Bellieu fat quarters to make the middle bit there. $39.99. Now, first of all, how is it only $39.99? Because normally you'd expect this to be a lot more. The only thing that you have to have, I think, is iron and interfacing and some H640, isn't it? Yes. Which we haven't put in the bundle because we think you might have those already at home if you make your own bags and things like that. $39.99 for a So Crazy Girls original pattern. The, the, now, are, are these leather, the young straps? No, they're not. No. No, they're, they're really well, no, 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 because lots of people don't yeah, want them. They, they look We've like leather. That. They exactly. look, they're top quality, but they're not leather because I know a lot of you don't actually like to use the leather. But you've got the rivets, which we're going to show you all about as well. All of that for £39.99. Now, do you th are you thinking, oh, I love it, but I would never, ever, ever use red. I've got my own PU in mustard at home or gold or something like that. I've got this for you here, right, where you can get the pattern, 
the handle and the rivets and then you supply all your own fabric and everything like that this this is going to go really really quickly i think because not everyone that likes red 24.99 so you get the pattern you get the, the handles and you get the rivets in there as well for 24.99 now I've, I've opened the handles here they are they're really 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 good quality handles there and look the lovely little rivets in here don't be frightened by those either Okay, camera's just coming in to show you those. They have little, like, kind of um, brass rivets there. So you get that and that in there. Oh, sorry. For $24.99. Right? Now, you might not like the rivets. You might not like the thing. And you want this, the pattern on its own? Just to have a... So now, do they come in these bags? Or yes, right? they, they do. come yeah. in these bags because they, they were on the trolley like this yesterday. I was like, oh, little Paul has unpacked properly. And then thought, well, actually, we haven't got these. So they must come in these. They come in these lovely little bags here. It's really good to keep all your bits and bobs in there. When you're doing your Great WIP bags. Great what? Work in what? progress. Oh, work in oh. progress. <laughs> I was yeah. like, what? For some reason, I thought she was like talking about... Oh, never mind, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> uh, £9.99. £9.99 for a So Crazy Girls... Girls Crazy... Hang on. So Crazy Girls Crazy Paving Tote Bag Pattern. Full intro... Right, it's got tote written in it. Crazy paving tote. It is tote, it's just I haven't got it here, that's all. I was getting confused because the next hour's tote, isn't uh -huh. it? Yeah. Uh, 9 99 Do you want to have a look at them? Of course you do. Here we go. A So Crazy Girls collaboration pattern. Lisa Lamb, Jenny Jackson. I'd like to wish she gets top billing. <laughs> well, I suppose oldest first. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, Hayley? Wise. No, no, not wise. No. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've given you the pattern on its own, the pattern with accessories, or the whole bundle. So, and look, it's in nice big writing. Mm -hmm. Now, I was at the what's it with my friend Dulcie yesterday at the NEC, right? And she got a text. She, oh, hang on, she opened her phone like this, and the writing was like that was one word at a time. She was reading the text like this because it was just one word at a time. Anyway, look. So look, beautiful, beautiful. So, so there's your, there's your. We're going to go through all this now, but there's your uh, EPP instructions. Then there's the making of the, the thorough for 9 99 11 page, oh, 12. 12 pages of brilliant, brilliant knowledge in there. Okay, so very quickly, I've also got in this hour, I'm not going to go through all the tools, I'll do that as we go through, right? Now, I think, am I right in saying I've got these fat quarters on their own as well? In a bundle or on their own? separately so if you just want the fat quarter to do some epp right we've got this one here now you've seen these by the half meter in the last hour look so that one there is your mini flower fairies it's a fat quarter by the way this there you go it's a fat i'm gonna hold it up jesse the fat quarter you see now three pound 49 for a designer that's not right is it well anyway who am I? Okay. No, it's not right. I'm not. Oh, don't don't make a fuss of it, Hayley. So shut up. <laughs> but you're eating. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Then we got the red one. Lisa brought me some lovely gluten-free jaffa cakes today. Oh, they're not called jaffa cakes when they're gluten-free, are they? But yeah, this is the other fat quarter. Oh, well done. It's um, called Plumet's Fat Quarter, this one. I'll give you a code. I've got a code. F-A-U-U-48. Oh, okay. I don't know why I haven't got that one. Sorry about that. Okay. No. Right. Let's keep going. Right. Ladies. Yes. Well, yes. I don't know why I'm using that word. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I've missed something out. We've got handles and rivets on its own. My bad. If you don't want to do any so crazy girl patterns, but you want the handle and the rivet. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. PU rivet bag handles. Do you get the rivets then? Yes, you do. Yeah. For 9 99 Mm-hmm. Oh, you've done us a good deal, Lisa Lam, this time. No, I don't mean this time, I mean... Well, it's nearly Christmas. It's, it's nearly dinner. Christmas, she says. <laughs> that's my Christmas, that's your Christmas present. Don't be expecting a card or anything from Lisa Lamb. Slandles. Nine, nine, nine. Right, now we're going to move on. So now, just tell us very quickly, those people who... Uh, I can't believe there's anybody out there who doesn't know. 
Who, who are you and how has So Crazy Girls come about? You start, Jenny. The this is Jenny Jackson Hi. with the hair. With right? the hair. The short hair. Yeah, it's nice. Gone. You're, no, still, you're looking isn't fantastically it? slim. Thanks. Isn't she? Got rid of the lockdown weight already. Sneaked on a little bit and I was like, no. So I'm a quilter, specialised in EPP. Right, don't tell me till then. Tell yeah. you. Yeah, I'm a quilter, specialised in EPP. Do lots of hand sewing. And Lisa is a bag maker. And then, oh, bag maker. Sorry, bag designer, designer extraordinaire. And maker extraordinaire, very famous. Yeah, I'm very blessed <laughs> yeah. to have her as my partner. Oh, <laughs> I, but I think first and foremost, we're mates. Yeah, yeah, we are. We're mates, and we just both happen to design things. And um, when you have your own business, being a designer maker. It's, it's, it's intense, it's really, really hard work, and we were just chatting, saying... But also it's lonely, isn't it? It is yeah. really, not, not it is. really yeah. lonely. But you're in your workroom, on yes. your own, yeah. all day very long. much so. Yeah. And you almost don't have the time to socialise, because you're doing the marketing, you're doing the designing, you're coming on the telly and blah. And we were moaning about this, and we thought, uh, hello? Yeah, and then Why we realised, because at the start, we didn't even realise that we lived 10 minutes away. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. So. yeah. But so you still, you still, you are still, you still are Jenny Jackson. Hashtag so. Hashtag so. I, and yes. you still are Lisa Lamb. I still am Lisa Lamb. <laughs> uh, up to recently, I was also you handbag. Yes. But I've decided to step away from retailing the bag making supplies because it's getting in the way of my family life. And, and it, it was kind of impacting on my designing. It, it, I lost a bit of sewing mojo through having to design and retail But you, you were getting bits. everything. You I were was. stocking uh, all the bits and bobs, yes, like I the was. handles and the rivets. And it, and it, it, it was very tiring. And, and I, I made the decision earlier this year, I'm going to stop retailing and just concentrate on design. And I have to say, I haven't been this happy or this inspired for a very long time. It's it's wonderful. Brilliant. So and you came just, together yes. to, 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 to merge both of your skills. So you yeah. merge your yeah. EPP and your quilting and yeah. you merge the handbag side of it. Yes. So create, basically, all oh, this bag, which I've got here, which I'm going to throw over to you now. Can you catch? I can catch. It's like on the telly. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Just go through the, the inspiration, the design behind this bag, and then we'll start. The so making. this is actually our first collab pattern we've yes. done together. And yeah. I and where did you launch keep... it? I can't remember where you launched oh. it. Oh, this amazing show that one of our friends did. Um, what was his name? I can't remember. Oh, James? Well, never mind. He wears amazing shirts. Oh, John. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, here John's I am. John's yes. fella. <laughs> There he is. Anyway, so now, so it was your first collaboration. Yeah, it was, and I really wanted to do EPP on it, but I know that there's quite a few people who don't really, aren't keen on hand sewing, so I wanted to make it optional, so you can either English paper piece or you can just use a fat quarter and the fabric. And then I designed that bit, and then I just took so it to in the design in the design collaboration, how does it start? Do you say, oh, I've got a good idea with a piece of fabric, or do you make the fabric and then say to Lisa, what would you make out of this? Are you, we usually talk about the quilting part first. Yes, and yeah. then how, how we can, can build a bag around it. Hold it up, so yeah. what you're talking yeah. about, brilliant. Yeah, so then she, uh, yeah, I often decide on the kind of shape or what fabric I'm going to do, what shapes, etc. And then I said, Lisa, can you build a bag around it? Yeah. Perfect. So, will you two now build a bag around it, please? We shall. Hell yeah. Let's oh, yeah. do it. Let's do you want do the it. bag back or okay, are we so keeping I'll it keep here? I'll keep it here because I'm going to be using it in my, um, okay. for my demoing purposes. Okay. So, we're going to so start off doing the EPP bit. We are. And then we'll go on to the actual making Just of the bag. Leave that yeah. there for yeah. now. And now, I remember your microphone aside. is live. Even though Lisa's not in shot, her microphone is live so you will still hear her. I'll be, I'll be good. No, no, you can make noise. Oh, it's fine. You can join in. You can join in. Right, off you go. Then. Right, so I've done one line of the English paper piecing. It is just using one inch hexes, your standard one inch hexes. Yeah. So, because it's also, as it was our first pattern, we wanted to keep it really simple for any bag makers who have never tried English paper piecing or quilting. So that was the idea behind it. So I'm just going to show you first how to base the shape in case you don't know, you've never seen it before. It's really quick and easy. I'm just going to dab a tiny bit of glue and pop. No, there's no room for the Mac Pop to move. It on a. Hang on, they're just saying they can't get from the upstairs camera because you need to move you to the. To... Right, there you go, there you go, there you go. Am I good? Are you in the right place? Right, okay, that's it. The yeah. Mac can't move any further, that's all because it's okay. a machine. So I tend to um, glue base my hexes because uh -huh. it's quicker. And what you want to do is just draw a quarter inch seam all the way around the shape. So I use, when I'm doing this, I use a quarter inch ruler because they've got, it's got a little lip on the ruler. Uh -huh. They're and just it going just, in now. 
Okay. You keep going. Got the little lips. So you're getting loads. Can I just say, you've got loads of messages. Yay, my two favourite girls, says Susan. Mm. Loads says Morning John and the sweetie and gin filled girlies. Geraldine says, oh, <laughs> girls are looking gorgeous. Laurie says, Morning to the dream team. Lovely fabric and bags. Have a lovely day from Laurie. What well, gorgeous bags, says Kath. Donna says, Hi. Lorraine says, Hello. Margaret says, What a trio. Trouble comes in three trees. It says, <laughs> Lean to it. Says, Great to see the girls back with you, John. How do you fix the rivets without a press? Wait and see. Oh, it's easy. Lisa, right. easy. Explain all. So I've just drawn quarter of right. an inch. Why did you use that ruler rather than just ah, normal? Because it's got a lip on it here at quarter of an inch. Hang on, we'll just see that. Got it? Yeah, perfect. There we go. It just, if you dot your uh, template on there with a little bit of glue, yeah. it just fits nicely against the template you can Certainly. kind of feel where it is it doesn't have to be a perfect quarter of an inch and I... also the 24.99 is for two you don't just get that little one that generally you get a six inch and a 12 yeah inch so they're great for if you do fpp yeah. it's like you can't do without for that so yeah then i tend to just um use fabric scissors to cut around my shape okay as i just find it easier Suzanne, little means something to you. Suzanne says, uh, morning girls, Jenny, I've got my Jaffa cakes ready. Yay, good lass. What flavour? What flavour? That's the question. That's always the important Thought thing. Thought she didn't say that. <laughs> right, go on. So you cut that out. Yep, so it's got a quarter of an inch round. And if you're going to glue base, you really don't need much. I glue onto the fabric. Some yeah. people glue onto the template. But these are my templates um, that I cut. And you can use them eight or more times. Right, you They're absolutely fine. So you're just going to glue a tiny bit on the fabric, fold it round, and you're going to keep going all the way around the shape. And glue pens are av available on the website. You can bring the graphics in, Hales. Yeah, glue pen. Yeah, so it's just a really light amount. You don't need much at orange, all. Orange, says Suzanne. Orange, of course. The original. Yeah. They've got the Christmas ones out now. I think it's orange and cranberry. They're so nice. I'm not having them this mm. year, though, because I'm trying to be careful. Just half of one. You're not going to have one, just have half of one. Buy them. a packet, we'll have half one. of one and deliver the rest I'll bring them the next time. <laughs> next time we have yeah. a business day. Sounds good. I'll bring them round. Right, so that's your hexi basted. The nice thing about glue basting is you do get a really crisp edge round, round yes. it. Yeah. And I find that it's a lot... Did you fussy cut or did you yes. just put it wherever so you fancied? Not on all of them, but you know the little women? Yeah. I know, I right? fussy cut their heads because obviously if you've got, you get the fat quarter with it. You just bring the camera, bring camera in shirt, they go. Yeah. That fabric so each is of them made. you made, you made yeah. sure that the hexy went over the little lady. Yeah, just for the head because obviously fat quarter, there is so much spare. I've mm. got plenty left over. Brilliant. So yeah, I just did that for that. Then you're going to thread your needle. Uh-huh. And oh, what did I say? I'm going to try not to thread my needle on air, and, and it's just come unthreaded. Do you, oh, no. do you want a hand? No, it's fine. I'm just. It was one inch hexes, Haley. Yeah. It's always the one. We got one inch hex. One inch hex. One inch. Hexes. Hexes. I thought there was a word I was missing out. One inch, inch hexy. Hexy. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Back to threaded. They love, I love these two ladies, says Sue. They made lockdown much less lonely and their real Aww. gift is making online friends like they're part of a very dysfunctional friends group. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, keep going, keep going, keep going. Friends. <laughs> right, so, to English paper piece, it's so simple. It's right sides together. Move to your right a bit, it's probably done. Right Thank sides you. together, Yeah. like this. I use a little quilter's clip so that I don't have to put too much pressure on my wrists because I hand sew so much. Right. Um, and it also keeps it in place. And then you're just going to knot the end of your fabric, which I've already done. Am I in the right? Th yes, I am. Yeah. Oh, so you're just going to <laughs> take. Hex is coming in. Uh, Claire Louise says, hello, lovelies. Great to see you back on TV. Those face. prints are beautiful. And so are Jenny's nails. Oh, and I are. wonder who did those. Maybe oh. Claire, who just said Oh, is it? <laughs> That's my best friend, Claire. Yes, yeah, please, she's I also just want mine done, Claire. She's just trained in nails. So now, even better. Oh. I to have my nails done by I her. I hope she charges you. Oh. Babysitting duties, because she's just had a baby. Oh, OK. Yeah. I'll do oh. that for free. Right, here we go. So you just pick up, start at the edge, pick up just a few bits of the fabric threads. You don't go through the card at uh -huh. all. And you just do little whip No thimble, no nothing? No, I don't get along with thimbles, probably because my nails are too long. Well, no, yeah. <laughs> so you just go through a few bits of threads, nice small whip stitches. Uh -huh. I stitch 
away from me. Some people stitch towards, but a lady that um, contacted me saying that she'd been really struggling with um, hand sewing, but she loves it because her wrists were hurting. Uh -huh. And she noticed that I sewed away. away, so she's tried it and now she's fine. Oh, brilliant. So yeah. if you are, because I, for me, well, I'm left-handed, so it always looks a bit different. Yeah, yeah. But for me, if I was going towards me, yeah, that would that really hurt my awkward, wrist. Yeah. It's definitely not natural for me. I think I'd go sideways, you see. I'd have it, I'd hold it with the hexy going oh, away yeah. from me like and this, sideways. Like this, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now, also, you're stitching with white. Would you normally do that in real life? No, so I'm doing it so you can see the stitches. I tend to try and match, but if it's multicoloured, I go for, if it's light tones, a light grey. Yeah. yeah. Dark tones, a dark grey. Yeah. But for this, I would have probably used, uh, I think I used a, um, a what do you call it? I think I used grey, actually, a dark grey. Yeah, but you could like... also use burgundy. Yeah. Because perfect. burgundy is in the blueprint as well. So anyway, that you're just going to keep there, going yeah. all the way to the end. I'll show you how to go around the corner. And uh -huh. then I'm going to show you something else because I know Lisa's got loose to, to do. Show you. Always the way because mine's just very slow and... Mine's the relaxing, relaxing part, isn't it? You just get to chill. There we go. So when you get to the end, you're gonna don't knot your thread off. Go through the few stitches at the corner, and my thread just broke. Oh, isn't that annoying? <laughs> so don't break your thread off or break your thread. And then you're just gonna fold, clip, and then you will carry on whip stitching all the way to the edge. Mm -hmm. You will open out. And then you can just keep the and thread going add and add the one. next oh, one. Okay. And then you can just keep going until your thread runs out. Once you've added a whole line, then you can go back and sew up the, like this line. Besides and when did you take your card? No, that line out. would be. So <coughs> once, um, once all sides of the shape have been sewn around, then you can remove okay. your cardboard. Okay. So on this one, you would always keep the top ones. I mean, it doesn't matter if you do take the corner ones out because you're going to press it and yeah, it's yeah. going to be cut. But yeah, so you do your four oh, yeah, rows. Stitch, yeah. yeah, you do your four rows and then do this step that I'm going to show you now. Right. You take all your amount and you press. Do, do you do two lots of four rows? It yes, on the back so it says, front, yeah, so it's two separate panels yeah. repeated the same. Well, yeah. I use one different front, hexes, one, one for, for the, the front and one for the back. I use different hexes okay. for them. It doesn't, it doesn't matter on the layout. I kind of did. Because the fabric is so slick, this is actually the red fabric going that diagonal, uh -huh. and then the blue. Oh, but because yeah, yeah, there's yeah. blue going through them, you can't actually, you don't actually see that pattern so much. So yeah. you really can go random with these. If um, EPP hand sewing is not your thing, the other option, again with the fat quarters, are plenty. Uh -huh. You can uh, just do a panel. Look. So in the pattern, it will tell you, once you've quilted your hexes, yeah. it will tell you to cut down to a size. Five inch by 17, something like that, yeah. off my head. We'll just cut that. You can either cut, you can cut it slightly bigger, because when you quilt it, it can get distorted, course, and then yeah. you can cut it down. But you can just use one panel, and this fabric is gorgeous for using one panel, because I fussy cut the ladies. And that's what I'm using on my demo. Oh, okay. Yeah, so what so all you've done is you've just cut whatever the finished uh, yeah. size of the hexes is yeah. Yeah, slightly when, bigger, yeah, yeah. And then put it on a piece of wadding. I've not actually done it bigger, this is to size, oh, okay. but some people might want to because it might stretch a little uh, bit, and then you can cut, it, that, aren't they? cut yeah. it down yeah. afterwards like you do with And then you literally triangles. just cross hatched it. And I just cross hatched it, but you can quilt however you want. Not yet, so that's what I'm going to show you. Okay, fantastic. So Thank what you need to do is, the first time we made this bag, we didn't add stabilizer no. on the back because we thought it would be fine. But yeah. when this is the great thing about two different knowledges, Lisa started adding the PU to it and she noticed it was stretching a little stretching bit. Stretching and distorting, so yeah. So just a bit of medium weight fusible. Medium weight fusible. Oh, medium weight interfacing, we've got that in the yeah. next hour i think in your next uh, do you need it in your next hour yeah. yes yes we do yeah yeah we use it a lot anyway. because now whenever there's quilting we've decided we're going to add the fusible way interfacing so the bumbly down, side is yeah. the, yeah. See, lisa teaches me good I better get the be um, glue in the wrong side no, no. i rarely rarely use it so i was like do i do it before do i need the piece smaller than the wadding oh. i do don't i slightly well, smaller it's, exotic if you've never it's slightly used it smaller before. than the wadding exotic. isn't it yeah. <laughs> it's very interesting exotic <laughs> is, uh, is it, laura it, says sadly i've got to go i'm going to my very first sewing machine class ever oh exciting oh, joy uh, is claire it says um, she always sews towards us keep her yeah. fibers neat and lynn says loving jenny's demo so good to see a fellow lefty and lo says love these girls as mad as i am 
Not me. Hello. Not Hello. Me. Oh. We were just talking about low, actually, yes, weren't we? Were. She's right. Awesome. So you're cutting... Cutting this slightly smaller than the wadding. Right. But bigger than the um, hexagons. Right. Oh, the panel isn't there on this one. Yeah. Hopefully it's right. So Lisa taught me all about this. Okay. Good. I feel like I'm doing it for the first time. <laughs> so usually, I usually just hand it over and just stick the... Stick is it on? Are we using is it on? And yes. is it... You said two dots. Yes, it's fine. Two. So start off with two. And if it's not working, bump it so up. So the first time Lisa used a cloth. And I was like, okay, don't forget the cloth. Got here, Lisa. Did you bring I, the? We've got did a you bring? Applique. Well, I said to her, about. Lisa, did you bring the cloth? Because I only asked her to bring interfacing and a cloth. That's all she. Was That's like. all I needed from her. And she forgot. She didn't bring it. No. It's cold. I'm, I'm Is it not even I'm... switched on? You told me it was plugged in. It's I not plugged not, in. Not you, not. John. <laughs> Right, while they're fighting over there, I just need to point something out, right? So earlier we had the pattern on its own for $9.99. Right, we'll just do this. You keep ironing. You keep oh, ironing. Waiting We're waiting for the iron to get hot, so I don't want to waste any time. That's right. So we had the pattern on its own, right, for $9.99. Graphics are coming in. <laughs> when they get there. There you go. So that's the pattern on its own for $9.99. We also had the straps and the rivets for nine ninety nine, right? But then we did. Shh, what are you looking for? A ruler. The ruler's on the wall behind you. Uh, we also had this for nine ninety nine, the rivets and the strap. Oh, you've done that, right? But then we did this deal where we did rivets and the strap and the, and it was too much money. So we've taken it down. If you bought it earlier, you will now pay nineteen ninety eight. For some reason, I'm going to blame Ian. I'd put it in at twenty four ninety nine. Of course, we're not going to charge you twenty four ninety nine for that. So you you get the same price. You know what I mean? So I'm just, we're telling you, being upfront and honest, you'll now pay nineteen ninety eight. If you bought it earlier at twenty four ninety nine, you won't be charged twenty four ninety nine. You'll only be charged nineteen ninety eight. Right back to the ironing. Right, I've just had it on. So Lisa said, if you use the iron on the two notch, it's not too hot, so it will work. You can iron directly onto the fuse yeah. without a um, cloth. As long as you get it I right feel like there. I'm getting loads of knowledge from her. <laughs> if I, uh, learning loads from Lisa with bags, because awesome. I've never bought, I've never ever tried. I've still not sewn with PU either. Have you never? No, because I'm keeping in my lane. Can't, can't do too much in one go. Okay. It's just, it's just going to go I've wrong. We will no, do it. We, we will are going to do, gonna do it some point. Point. So Why, yeah, why bother it... if she can do it and you can do that? Then, there we go. You know, well, it'll be a, I just you know. think it'll be a gas. Okay, so you put your iron on his facing on the yes, back. Yes, so that's on the back. And yeah. then I am just going to trim it down to size. So the interfacing now makes it suitable for bag making, whereas it wouldn't have been before. Yeah. And then I can just trim it down brought my um, my rotary cutter with me so I don't have to find one and switch the blades around. Uh -huh. I'm going to turn this slightly. Yeah, slowly. no, that's fine. Just cut it as you need to. So you're cutting it now to exactly the si size? Exactly the, the size that you would cut the hexi panel down to. Uh -huh. So what you could do is, you know, it's a really good gift bag because it is really quick. If you're not doing the English paper piecing part, yeah. I mean, to be fair, sewing those hexes together doesn't take too long either. It depends. We all have different yeah, that's bits true. that we love, don't yeah. we, of different things. Completely. I've just realised. I don't this think is not even plugged, plugged it in. in. <sighs> so she brought it all the way through and then didn't plug it in. I you did. got a plug. Did you bring there the plug? Was no, there was no cord. There was no, um, what's his name, was it? <coughs> there's yeah. no wire. Oh, yeah. is the plug not there? No. Oh, no, there's no wire for this. <laughs> Where is it? It wasn't there. It had the... Um, it had the foot it had the on foot top foot. with the wire, but there's no plug. How plant. did you thread the bobbin then? I, it was already threaded. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Hayley's already cut. It was in this box. Oh, sorry, Hayley. Right, you don't need this, do you? Is it do a double, you? Yes. Is it no, a double no. plug one? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going to leave this. I've done my part now, so it's over to the lamb. Right. That was awesome, Jen. I'm going to move some <laughs> stuff out of the way. It was so awesome, Jen. This is where it all goes down here. Yeah, exactly. Right, <laughs> right. Down to my level. I'm going to swap over with you. Okay. And okay. move out of the way. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you have to move the bag, I think, then. Yeah, I'll take the bag. Right. And then I can pass it through, should she need it. Okie dokie. Right. Right. So I'm let's, let's the get my um, gubbins ready. So, it's such a treat to be able to work with a bit of 
quilted fabric because as a bag maker I, I never would because I, I never quilt anything okay I never I never piece anything I no. just use the fabric so it's really nice to be able to use something that a friend has made oh it's a little treat you know what I yeah, mean yeah 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 so, so, that's, um, so this is where you would either use the hexes yes. or you use the quilted piece of fabric yeah so depending on what you want to do exactly so um I've, I've already, so the bag, the bag is super easy to put together. Even with the rivets on, it does make a fab first bag to make. And we've even seen some in the world. We've seen pictures of these being made by other people. So we know the pattern works well. Brilliant. So I've already, as you see, where's, where's the bag? I've got it now. Thank you, my love. So it's actually, the bag is one piece of fabric all together because if you look at the base oh, there's, no seam. there's there's no join but it does still have a squarish bottom then I'm going to show you how to do Fantastic. it's dead easy so I've already gone ahead and sewn a top panel to one of Jen's pieces yeah. and I've sewn sewn this bit so now we're just going to do the other side so you see me join the Jenny's piece to a bit of PU. Are the cutting instructions in the pattern? Yes. And the they're just rectangles, don't need they're patterns, just They're just rectangles. There's no templates or curves whatsoever. Just follow the cutting instructions. So and could I use, if I didn't want to use PU, yeah. can I use any kind of fabric for this bit? Or does it yeah, you're be? absolutely denim, canvas, PU. And if it was that, would you put interfacing on the back of it if it was a normal fabric? Yes. Um, I think I, I wouldn't, if I was using quilted fabric all throughout the body bag, I think I'd be very generous with the interfacing, maybe two layers okay. to go in the top. So because these these rivets need something to bite on. Right. So if you've only got a piece of quilt fabric with only um, one one layer of interfacing, I don't think I that's enough. enough. Okay, no, no, just a good quick because people will ask. Yeah, sure know. they would, yeah. So um, like I said, it's already been stitched on the one side. Uh -huh. And now I'm just going to join this to the other side of the bag and that's right sides together and I've got to make sure that the panel is not going to be upside down when I flip it off. Uh -huh. So that's, yep, see, let's do that. That, been upside down, that yeah. would have been very, very annoying. Um, I get some sewing clips. Cheryl says, morning John, Lisa and Jenny, I'm here and my mum's watching with me. Uh, oh now she says your nails are gorgeous, but who's she talking oh, to? Well, that'll be Thanks, that'll be the Jen. Is that yeah. Cheryl Bridge? Do you know how yeah. yours done then? No, no. It takes me like ten years to put fake eyelashes on, so that's what I concentrate. Well, you don't put eyelashes on your nails. <laughs> that could be where you go wrong. <laughs> So you've got to come to John Scott for your beauty secrets. Yeah, exactly. That's where yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, I've gone two weeks where I haven't had nails on and I cannot Has it been? sew for the life of me. Oh. I've got so used to them. I can't do anything without but them. But now you're going to have to start putting them on more often because you're on here. Oh, no. Oh, yes, it's a thing, John. I constantly have them on, but I've had two weeks With not where I didn't because Claire had the flu. She oh. was not COVID, flu, she was feeling do you want poorly. To come over, do you want to come over here? Yeah, we could do, it makes more sense. Yeah. Lisa, yeah. are you good with everything? Oh yeah, you're right machine. Machine. I think so. Where's it's foot, foot down? Foot down here. Right, okay. That one, All right. and then go. Okay. So it's uh, that jukey machine that um, Jenny uses, you see, that Lisa's not used to using. Yeah, no. she's not used to it, so. Okay, so now you're sewing your yeah. two bits together. You've yeah. got your walking foot on. Yes. And what seam allowance have you got? I'm um, one centimetre and stitch length three and a half. Oh, right, okay. Because it's because it's PU, we don't want to sew too many stitches close together because it weakens the fabric. Of course, because it keeps like a stamp. It's it's like yes, it, stamp, it would. It'll make perforations. Did you, oh. oh, lift your foot up. Okay. Oh no. Oh, now we're on the lesson in sewing yeah. machines now. Oh, well, I'm can't. pressing the wrong one. Three, three and a half. Is yes, it's three point four. Okay. Yeah, three point four. There works we go. Fine. Okay. Back down and start okay. again. Thank you. <laughs> this is all exotic, isn't it? I know the foot goes down, doesn't it, when yep. you press the. So it's just you know straightforward sewing, and I said in the Facebook post that this is this is a bag which has got oh. no nightmare layers because. Bag making is usually associated with having big, strong, muscly arms, how to defeat the layers. Uh -huh. But this one doesn't doesn't have any horrible layers to deal with. Have we done any H640 yet or not? Is that just it's just that no. just the PU on its own? The the PU's the PU I'll show you in a moment okay. has got yeah. some stabilizer, some um, fusible on the back. That's iron on interfacing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's and got... and it's also got the seam allowances trimmed away. Oh, okay. So you will need to make sure it's 40, but not yet. 
No, because that's going to get ironed onto the back of the lining. Okay, perfect. But I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you that interfacing now. Oh, the, I've got a lovely message, right? Nothing to do with sewing, but Linda said, "I love these girls." Combined with John, any sadness is totally banished. Aww. Oh, Linda, that's, that's a lovely. Big compliment. Thank, you. Thank you. Anyway, get on with the sewing. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. So, um, the thing, the, the, the thing to pay attention to is where, where and how we're top stitching these panels in because wearing my, we're, we're, we're using quilted fabric, which is usually a bit more fragile than PU. Uh -huh. But if you top stitch it the right way, it really builds up the strength easily and nicely. Yeah. We were talking about the interfacing earlier. Yeah. So if you cut your interfacing to the same size as the, rect the PU rectangles, and then you trim off the seam allowances, that's really gonna help. Can you see, look, for instance. Yeah, yeah, you can see that, yeah. yeah. So the, the center, you cut it a centimeter in, so yes. it's not within the seam. Yeah, line. and that really helps with dealing with the bulk. Uh -huh. So now, I'm gonna get my seam roller. Oh yes, yeah, roll and we press. We before. can't be ironing, we can't be ironing our PU. No. No, you can iron the, on the back of PU when you're ironing your interfacing on. Right, but if, not. Yeah, but not the front. Right. So when you're ironing your interfacing on the back, yeah. use two dots, or at the most two and a half. You won't need a pressing cloth, and, yeah. it, and, it, and it irons on just fine. Perfect. And then there's a little clover roll and press just to press the seam. Yes, this is one of those gadgets which is totally worth the money, and you'll find yourself using it a lot. I mean, I often use it when it's just normal fabric, so I don't have to get up and <laughs> use <laughs> the iron. <laughs> yep, sorry, too busy, can't be standing up. Got to and sew. also, when you look at it, when I first saw this, right, I yeah. was like, oh, yeah, that looks like whatever. a flimsy bit of plastic. <laughs> yeah. And yet I every designer we've worked with says, yeah. it's incredible. It's yeah. just incredible. Ab where they're really is. strong. You you can put, especially when you're doing the PU, you put quite a lot of your weight on them. So only seven left of those. Only seven of those left. Yeah, this is one of those gadgets that says, I'm going to do what it says on the tin. Yeah. So um, you can't see it at the moment, but what I've done is... I've pressed all seams in towards the PU. Okay, brilliant. Because I'm going to top stitch along the PU. Lovely. And I'm going to change the stitch to Two. four. Um, so top stitching on PU, I like right to one. use four. Right one. Uh, where's it? Oh, yeah. Oh, you there? Okay, yep. Hey. Got it, got it. Hey! <laughs> Master See, this is why we're such a good team. <laughs> because we literally know the opposites of things. It's very oh, the you two. Yeah, yeah, sometimes constantly. It, it's what it's all about. It's yeah. very complimentary. We're often on the phone saying things like, I'll call her and I'm like, I just can't figure that shit. Oh, I like this. And then she'll, and it goes for computer work as well. <laughs> 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 on a regular basis. No, don't you mean your dad for that? Uh, yeah, no, he's the man. Oh, he's okay. the man. Okay. He is the man. Love Jen's dad. Suzanne says, I've emailed in a picture of the bag of this I've made. I oh, love this pattern see. so much. I'll get Hayley to look that for you now, Suzanne. So you're now top stitching. Now, how far yeah. are you top stitching in from Just the one seam? eighth, one eighth. I've done oh, like literally edge stitching almost yeah. then, isn't all, it? Yeah, all top stitching for this is just one eighth. Right. So we've got two different top stitch colours now because you use red on this side. Yep, nice, nice oh, bright yes, right. white. But sometimes I think when you're showing them on the TV, it's nice yeah. to use yeah, the contrast and, that's and you can see you it really well. Be bothered changing the bobbin that's when you're in the room. That's not true. You've been here since six, whatever time it was. Yeah, half past six. And you made well, me carry that machine from here into the prep room. I carried it back though. <laughs> Well, you oh, know, right. the, the last time we, we were got, here, what, we got, we got so lost. Yes, I remember. We, we were just all over this place. And then I drove today. I didn't get lost. Didn't and, get um, lost. And you got okay. here. Well, you knew where and you were coming from. You knew just you had to head for Greg's and go behind it. That's <laughs> exactly, <laughs> we did. Look, see, that's very sexy. I nearly took us to the warehouse. If Why? I hadn't have double-checked oh, okay. the address well, this morning. Stitching. There you go. Actually, this looks quite nice. Isn't it? No, it's it nice. Does. And uh, we don't we don't secure stitch um, at either end when we're using PU because again it would cause perforations. Right. So when you sew the bag together, once you've done that, then you can just get rid of the the, the ends. Right. And I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to add this final bit. Uh huh. I'm not going to top stitch because I really want to get yeah, those yeah, handles the time, riveted yeah, in. Yeah. Yeah, that's the bit everyone's waiting for. Yeah, of course. No, understandable. They're like, well, okay, rivet. Jan Hill loves the show. My phone is in my we pocket. We love you, Jan. Um, my phone Hi, is Jan. in my pocket, so just listening whilst the dogs play. Should we? <laughs> I presume she's out then, is she, with the dogs? She's probably out walking yeah. the dogs, yeah. She's awesome dog mum. 
Oh. You got a dog then? I do. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a a sheep who. Half guess. sheep. Half <laughs> poodle. It's definitely oh. half poodle. Scooby. What's the other half then? Shih Tzu. Oh, okay. He's something else. Oh, you know what? Yeah. We were talking about this he? on the way. He's called Scoop. So, I, when I go to Lisa's to work, I just put my foot on the top step. I haven't knocked the door, made a sound, and he's barking. It's like oh. he knows I'm coming. Yeah, he's like, where's one? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No. He just knows no. it's me, and then as soon as I open the door, shoom, yeah. until I leave. Oh. All right, so that's basically... The outer bag made. So I I'd, I'd top I I'd top stitched this on the PU again. Yes, on the PU again yeah. in exactly the same way. Yeah, okay. And that's pretty much the bag made. So now what I have to do is to construct it, and constructing it is a simple case of folding it right sides together, and taking extra extra care to match the seams. Right. So you know you know the panel oh, yes. seams. So even if, if even if should that make the, the 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 layers at the top edge out, I'd sooner trim the excess than have these seams out because it really affects how the bag looks. Of course. If the side seams do match. Look at that perfection. Yes, I, I know. Just you know, she I couldn't I couldn't saying. show my face otherwise, really. So that's the first Suzanne. Thing. Oh, they. Oh, Suzanne did a monochrome oh, version. Look, hang on, there it is. Yes. Oh, I love I mean, this how one. Japanese. And that's um, looks slightly really larger hexes, if I remember her telling me. Yeah, it looks like oh, slightly yeah. larger. Yeah. yeah, because it's it's um two and it's three across and yeah. So it doesn't matter what size no. you no. use. You could even, if you wanted to. Do like a if you do piecing, piecing like if you could do yeah, patchwork, yeah. patchwork, any yeah. sort of patchwork and or stripes actually, or anything, couldn't you? If you're tight on the um, PU and you're wanting to use scraps up, you could. If you're good at math, you can actually make the panel wider. Oh yeah, and just take and, it and the yeah. PU. As yeah. so long as you've got enough to put your handles in, yeah. you could make it a lot a deeper a one. Deeper yeah. one, yeah, deeper um, quilting. There's loads you can do with it. Yes, I mean as as long as as long as your um, fabric panel is the size it's it states yeah, in at the this instructions. Point, yeah, exactly. Or as Jen says, if you want to play around with the rectangle sizes yeah. and then subtract and add. Yeah, mostly from the bottom, not the top, because yeah, the one the thing top. I absolutely loved about this bag when Lisa designed it was how the PU goes down Inside. and the linings further down. Yeah. And the, uh, there's um you can put a pocket in there, yeah. but if pocket's scare, you, you can leave the pocket right, out as well. Lisa. I've just realised something fundamental before it's too late. <laughs> okay, right, so please, folks. Can don't we... sew the sides. Don't sew the sides yet because we've got to stitch this. Oh, you do the bottom bit first. Yeah, I'm just about to add this now. I forgot to add that. Okay. It's so easy. <laughs> So easy, so you nearly lucky. forgot. So easy, I, I, <coughs> so I nearly forgot. So, right, you you do you do need to clip your side seams together, uh -huh. and then after you've done that, you're going to find your um, bottom edge centre and make a small nick that is smaller than one centimetre because you don't want to cut into your seam. Okay, allowance. can you do it with a felt pen or a pen if you don't want to cut yeah, into it? Yeah, if you you can. I find the notches are handy because of the way that I'm going to fold it in a minute. Okay. So let me just grab the pattern so that I know where the next mark needs to go. So you make you make that mark right. and then steps to While we're looking I'm not at that. The only one that no, no, while we're looking at that. I just want to say we're allowed to say aren't we about Go on. Go on. Yeah. Do yeah, it. yeah. Go on. So uh, so Jenny's joining us at Saint Street as Hashtag so herself as her individual I'm just person. all here now. So forever. you're going to be doing your EPP and things like that? I am, and it's in a couple of weeks. The 18th, is it the 18th of this 18th? month? Yeah, it's the Thursday. Jen's been frantic. The Thursday, am I on that day? Yeah, you are. Am I on that yeah, day? Yeah, you messaged me, so okay. you are. Yeah, I'm so I'll be I'm bringing two English paper piece patterns. Fantastic. Right, okay, so from that nick. Okay, so from that nick, which was the bottom centre, you're going to make another mark measuring up four and a half centimetres down from the nick that you've just made. Right. So if I make a nice bright mark there yep. with my pen, you should be able to see it. And then I'm going to take my scissors right. and then make a nick through both layers. Right. Again, which are shorter than um, one centimetre. So I don't want to cut into my seam allowance. Yeah. 
through both layers. And the nick is really handy because I'll show you why. To make that triangle, all you're going to do is push. Oh, hang on, just put it back towards you a little bit. The cameras yeah. won't come. Like there you okay. go, there you go, there you go. So this, go. this is my first nick. Yeah. That's my second nick. All I do is push the first nick inside into the bag and then to, so, so that the second nick becomes the bottom edge. Right. And what you're left with is a valley. You're left with a valley on the underside of yep. the bag. And then you just carefully match everything. Oops. Yeah. So that's why the nicks are handy. Because yeah, they, no, no, no. Yeah, they, much form handy, a, yeah. they form a natural um, point as to yeah. where to fold. Take your time making sure that all of the edges match and then you sew your side seams. Right, and you do that before you do the side yeah, seam. Yeah, so like, there, there I'd, I'd begun to sew the side yeah, seam, yeah. silly girl. So now when you sew your side seam, oh, when so you, you undo the bag, you will be left with Oh, that. so you don't sew it in, so you pin it all. Yes. Then you sew the side seam, enclosing yes. all of that as you go. Exactly. Oh, so, brilliant. Yeah, clip, clips to hold your match your side seams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you push in the bottom to create the valley. Then, then you sew, you sew all the way and you're down. only going to sew here and here because this is already taken care of. Course. of. Brilliant. It's such a nice way to create a flat bag bottom mm. that's not only quick but it's strong because it's all one layer of fabric. Yeah. Are you going to show the rivets? I just saw the tie. Yeah, no, no, no we'll yeah. get the rivets. We'll get the rivets, yeah. I love this bag. I've got the uh, originally we made it in uh, mustard. I remember. Uh, with some really bright hexes. I've got that one. I claim that one. Oh. You can fit so much but in But you also, didn't you also do a burgundy one? A burgundy one. one with darker... Yeah. Yes, stuff, that's, yeah. At, that's at home. But yeah, you took a lovely pick of um, Jen in an awesome... She's got a great jumpsuit collection, people. In a denim jumpsuit and a yellow oh, bag, yeah. and she just looks so fly. Oh, on Brighton Seafront. <laughs> like you do. Yeah, well, probably outside your front door, because we <laughs> use that for everything. I will say after you've stitched after you've stitched the um, side seam, do a really nice secure granny knot. Oh yeah, because you don't want to reverse it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not going to reverse it, okay. and that, there's going to be no other opportunity to. I'm not going to do this side because no. I want to save time. Yeah. But I can show you that when you turn it right side out, it's automatically there, there's done. Your, there's your envelope. <gasps> How, How quick brilliant. and easy is that? Yeah. It looks nice and it's strong. Okay. It's like a posh box bottom, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yes. because it's yeah. sewn into the seam. You don't have to worry about the points being slightly off. It's no. going to be perfect. And you don't have to cut that square no, away. Yeah. No matching, no measuring. No. Okay, so you do okay, that on both right. sides. Yes, so now I'm going to grab my... I'm going to grab. I'm going to show you quickly how I made the lining back. Yep. I'll turn that right side out. So the lining has is lining lining fabric with H640 on the back. Right, H640. That's when we put the H640 in. And it's got two PU bands at the top. Yeah. And a snap inserted in, all in the instructions, all the cutting and where to iron everything. Yeah. It's also got oh. extra. It's also got extra layers of um, interfacing at the bag handle area because right, we, we want to make sure that the bag handle area is going to be nice and strong. Will half a metre of H640 be plenty, enough? Okay, plenty, plenty, yes. Because so so they're already pre-cut in half metre pieces, you say, that's all. Okay, so um, we the next thing to do would be to put the outer bag right side out into the lining so that yeah. both, both, are, both are touching each other. Like that, and then sew, sew all around, and then turn right side out. Have you left the turning in the side seam? I seams, forgot to mention, there's a yeah. turning gap in the side seam of the lining. Fine. Thank you, John. No, no, it's fine. Bless it's fine. you. We've, we've done this a few times. Yes, we have. <laughs> and if you were going to add pockets to your lining, you do it before you go yes, to this stage. Yes, yes. And there, and, there, and there is a pocket in this bag. Yeah. And again, the measurements are inside. Yeah, stop looking at your watch. Just go on. Sorry, 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 sorry. I may, I may actually, because I thought this could possibly happen. Yeah. I may just use two. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. So, so literally, you, you sew around yeah. the top, you pull it through. Yes. So you've actually got the then finished you've, bucket. Then you've got of a finished bag. bag. So yeah. by the time you turn everything right side out, you will be left with the bag without the handles. Perfect. So it's a complete handles, finished. Yes. So once you've turned it through, you do top stitch around. You the do edge. top yeah. stitch yeah. one eighth. Yeah. One eighth, and then now and then you put the handles on. Last, last of all so you've made the whole bucket yes and it's finished and, it's and then finished. you get the handles and out. then you do perfect. the handles because right. everything's perfectly interfaced mm -hmm. and ready to receive the handles 
So I'm just going to work with two layers of PU, which will simulate oh. this, the outer PU and the inner PU. Yeah. So let's pretend that this is a lovely bag top, which has uh -huh. been top stitched. You're right I'm going to find yeah. the center of the bag. Yeah. And then either side of the bag, I measure two and a half inches. Because we want the handle ends to be five inches apart from each other. I mean, if you want it slightly more, that's fine. Yeah. But on lots of bags, it seems to be that the convention is the handle lens are often five inches apart from okay. each other, so it's quite yeah. comfortable. Well, because if they're further apart, you've got less height yes. yeah, to get it on. Yeah, exactly. So, perfect. And then, now you make your, now you make your hole. So, on this bag, on this bag, you, there is a, there is, there is this seam. So, you place the handles, so five inches apart from each other, and three and a half centimetres up. Hang on, yeah, we need to show where seam. Jessie though, that she's measuring from on the So I, the I would have measured three and a half centimetres up from this seam and that's where I place the handle end. Okay. And then I'm going to make a pen mark here. So right, I'll do yeah. that with one of them. So let's pretend I've measured three and a half centimetres up. Uh huh. And then I need something a bit sharper. Hang on, let's... Sharper than a Sharpie. Sharper than a Sharpie, yeah, because it's not going to fit in there. So. I'll do this instead. There you go. Oh, we had a quick image made by another viewer. Yeah. Oh, this is my like version it. of the So oh, Crazy Girls bag. Lovely. Brilliant pattern, Louise in Shropshire. Oh, lovely. Oh, thank lovely. you. Gorgeous. Nice colours. Yeah. Anyway, carry on. Okay, right. So I've, 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 got, I've got my Oh, see, so you weren't looking for a sharp pen. You're looking for an awl. Yes. Because I always prefer, if possible, to make um, to make the hole as small as possible. Of course, yeah. That is to, you can get away with, because it protects the strength of the fabric. Yeah. So you're going through both layers with yes. your all. Yes. Yes, I am. And then I'm going to get myself a chopping block. Pattern on its own is sold out. And then rivets and the handles on their own. Nine ninety nine. Quick, a quick talk about the tools. Yeah. None of which are exotic. Very easy to get hold of. I've got a. Um, a post, a hammer post, and my hammer post here has got a dome inside because that make that's going to sit over my domed rivet. And where can people buy something like that then? Uh, Long River, um, uh, the auction site. Okay. And what you're Amazon or eBay, she's saying. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> what you're looking for is a, um, a hammer post and a, a cap and, a, and a, an anvil or a dot or dot anvil. My one has got a one flat side and one domed side. And I'll tell you why that's important. Because these rivets on the base, the base is flat, which right. is when I'm going to be using my flat side of the yeah. anvil. And the top is domed. So I need so I need to make sure that my post, which is domed, yeah. can sit on that. Right. Okay. So now, I put the um, I put the rib the the strap over the, and then I push. I take my I take my rivet, and the base, and it all goes through the wrong side through yeah. to the right that side. That would be the inside of the bag. That exactly. You're pushing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The inside here. Yeah. And that goes that goes through the hole. That goes first. Then I get my then I get my strap and that goes over next and then I get my cap rivet and it will click which is great because that means it's not going to move around. Yeah. I'm going to get my cap, I'm going to get my um, anvil and make sure the flat side is facing up because the base of my rivet is also flat. Put that on my chopping block, make sure that that is touching and then I get my my post and put the domed part over the top and then I get my hammer and then rather than whacking it wildly try and do short control taps and if you need to <laughs> don't drink too much coffee don't answer the door yeah and it's okay to do a few do lots of few rather than one I'll just do it in a couple say yeah. if it takes five it takes five yeah and what is good to do is to check as you go along and you will know 
yeah. when you've hit home. You'll, you'll just feel it and it will show. Yeah. Oh God, this is really easy. I've never seen there it before. There you go. Look, and that, that's, I, honestly, you can't see it on screen, but that is not Moving going anywhere. anywhere. And it looks neat. And that is super strong. And don't forget, we've got two layers of PU. I've shown you how to interface it properly. So these handles are not going anywhere. I could do that. Bernie yeah. says these ladies are great. Uh, these ladies are great up, are a great uplifting on a gloomy Aww, day. Smiles are just so you. easy thank when you three you. are together. Ah. Then she says, "I love the merging of the brands." John, you should try doing jewelry maker. Excuse me, I do do jewelry <laughs> maker, but I do do it every now and then. I do do it every now. And then. Uh, Anne says, "Lovely program today. Can you tell me can I purchase the same cheap Christmas pin badge?" No, but very soon. I can't say anything. Else. <gasps> You're better to get one soon though. Right, okay, so that's it. That's it. That's it. Well that's done, it. ladies. You're back in an hour. We are. And you're going to be doing the bag behind me here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is a tote bag. Yes, brand there. new. Beautiful. Brand Use new, that lovely new. fabric and everything. I, I, I haven't done, I'm doing my roundup now. I haven't done my roundup. I'm just saying goodbye to the ladies first, and then Bye. we'll do the roundup. Bye, ladies, for an hour. Right, now, if you want the whole bundle to make the whole of that um, bag, you want their microphones being taken out so you can't hear them muttering in the background. So you get the straps, you get the rivets, you get the instructions, you get two fat quarters, you get half a metre of PU, half a metre of the blue. All the fabric you need there, £39.99. Right? And you can have the bundle with just, just the pattern and the straps. Oh, OK, that's sold out, that's sold out. So, so, but you can buy the straps on their own for £9.99. There's the straps on their own. Well, yeah, because you've got the pattern then, haven't you? So you can just make, you get this and you can make more than one bag. Make one for you, one for a friend. If you've got a friend. Nine ninety nine. Be careful of that. Two thirds of the stock has gone. Two thirds of the stock of that's gone. Then if you wanted magnetic clasps, I've got a gold one. Oh, one that one is. <laughs> I don't need to know they're 18 mil, there you go. £2.99. £2.99. And then I've also got that one in the silver, if you prefer a silver one. Need to tidy as we go now. Oh, hang on, the trap graph has got stuck. There you go. Lovely, thank you. Uh, and then, uh, did you do the silver one, Chef? Do I need to do anything else? Uh, straight after break, we're going on to this quilt. Oh, I just got to show you a picture of it, actually. Beautiful, beautiful Alice Caroline quilt. We've got blocks number four, five, and six there. If you've missed out on one, two, and three, I've got them. Um, we will see you in four minutes from now. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hi, I'm Debbie Harris and I'm so excited to be one of the new guest designers here on Sewing Street. I live and work in Melton Mowbray in Leicestershire where I run my own knitting and sewing business called Mabel and Deb. I specialise in sewing and knitting and crocheting and I've been doing all of those three things from being a little girl when my mum taught me all things knitting, crochet and sewing. Started off just crocheting little chain stitches and granny squares and then actually patchwork sewing little hexagons and they're still my favourite shape to sew now. I used to be a school teacher for over 20 years I was teaching in classrooms um, and just had the knitting and the crochet and sewing as a background hobby 
but now I get to do this as, as my job and I'm absolutely passionate about it and really want to share all that passion and excitement with you guys. Um, a, a tip that I think is worth sharing with you is always use quality materials. So whether that's your fabrics or your threads or wool, the difference in the quality of your materials can really make a difference to your finished project. And always use the right tools, so whether it's a rotary cutter or a pair of scissors that are specially made for that job, that too can make all the difference. My claim to fame in 2020 was winning, being one of the winners of the Great British Make-Off here on Sewing Street when I did my debut um, sewing demonstration in November last year. And it was just a wonderful experience and I'm so excited to be here on my Sewing Street journey with you all, bringing you lots of tips, techniques and looking forward to doing lots of exciting projects with you throughout the year. So lovely to meet you and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. It's all going on today. Um, right now, uh, this quilt is just beautiful, just stunning. It's an Alice Caroline quilt made with Liberty uh, Tarna Lawn fabrics. Would you like to have a look at it? Here it is. Now, let me explain how it happens, right? Each of those squares is a different block. So there are nine different blocks that make up that quilt. You can buy all nine of those. There were three a month ago. There's three today and there will be three in a month's time. So that's the way we kind of spread the cost of it. However, if you didn't see the show last time, thinking, oh, I can't make it because I can't have one, two and three. You can because I've got one, two and three. And then when Anna comes back in a month's time and does seven, eight, nine, my brain wouldn't work there, seven, eight, nine, we will also have one, two, three, four, five, six there available so you can see the whole thing. Also, can I just show the quilt again, please, Jesse? If you see round the border, round the edges, the sashing and things like that, and the binding that will also be on sale in the last in the la in the next month in the next month when we do the complete thing now um my personal opinion is i'd get the whole quilt i'd get the whole quilt if you could because it's just exquisite it's hanging on the wall uh, behind anna and you have a look in a minute but it's just beautiful but obviously the choice is yours you can buy them individually if you want to but just i just think well or, or i tell you what maybe there's one maybe there's one that you love right Buy nine of them and have the same repeat the whole, because some people don't want all different. It's done in a rainbow. If you look carefully at it, it's done in rainbow colours, sort I of think. Some people might have a yellow bedroom, might they? And they think, I only want, might, you know, to, oh, hello, hello. <laughs> Sorry, I did. You know, to, do you know what I mean? It's, it's your, their, you look fabulous Absol today. Oh, do I? Oh, thanks. It's, uh, my hair has just gone crazy long in lockdown. I is that what it is? Cut. But you look, there's some, you're all glowy and gorgeous oh, today. Thanks. Anyway, thanks. we'll get back to this now. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Um, if, if you just wanted the whole quilt to be made of nine of those, you can do that. You can do that as well. Oh, oh, you know what I mean? It's totally and utterly up to you how you do it. It's been designed, though, to be a beautiful rainbow. So last month, they did uh, one, two, and three. Now, I wasn't here last month to do that one. Was I on my holidays then? I think you're fine. I was lying on a beach or something. <laughs> Today, we are going to do four, five, and six, right? Well, let's do four first, right? Hang on a second. Now, I've, I've got so confused. I've been given ones that I'm allowed to open. Which are these? Right, so let's do four first. So number four is called Mitzi Green. Oh, now, the other thing I just need to point out very, very quickly is... The one on the wall, yours will be the tiny, it's not going to make, the, uh, some of the fabrics have been replaced, that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah. That was the original prototype, We so they've recreated it as much as they can, but some of the fabrics may be new fabrics, you know what I mean? Because the thing about Alice Caroline is she works in conjunction with Liberty, she's allowed to change colours. She's allowed to colour in with a different pen and everything, right? And it's totally, le uh, not illegal, legal, it's totally within... 
She works with Liberty. It's a legit and everything like that, isn't it? So you might be getting a fabric in here that you can't even buy in Liberty. Do you know what I mean? So let's open number four, right? Can so you when you recreate the different colourways, you can make it an heirloom quilt for, and you can date quilts. So that's one of the great things about this quilt is that some of the fabrics you can date to this year. And so oh, of course, yeah. of course, because yeah. they will have been created yeah, in yeah, 2020. Yeah. Or yeah. lockdown quilts. It's lockdown quilts. Lockdown quilts. Oh, yeah. Anyway, anyway, so this is what you get. If you open yours, right, this is what you get. In every single one, it's just the colourway that's different. So number four is Mitzi Green. So that's what your finished block will look like. It's lovely, isn't it? And then all inside there are all the instructions of how you do it. <clears throat> there's your finished, there's your finished um, quilt if you did all of them, right? But then in your bundle, you get all of this, right? So you get, you, now, all of this is Tarna Lawn, right? That is all Tarna Lawn there. However, this is your quilting weight fabric. This is a proper, this is Liberty, uh, Alice Caroline, quilting weight fabric, yeah, isn't it? it's really good quality, but it's not Tana. No, but that's what I get, so I want to point out. So that there is, if you're used to using high quality quilting weight fabric, that's what the background is. But then all the shapes are made out of, now look at these. This is, this is number four, obviously. This is Mitzi Green. So you will get, if you buy Mitzi Green, you will definitely get all yeah. of these colours. Who on earth is that to sit cutting all these? Oh, out? the lovely Louise. Louise. Well, and, and Louise's team. So and Louise team. and Ruth and Lucy. Oh, are say fabulous. them again. Louise, Ruth and Lucy. Louise, Ruth and Lucy. Oh, there you yes. go. So they've sat and cut all these out. <laughs> Look, there's a strawberry thief one in there. There's beautiful, beautiful fabrics in here. There it all is. That's it finished. That's the finished block there. So you will get all of these fabrics. Now, they've all been cut specially. Look. So they're all enough of everything in there. Beautiful. Oh, oh, lots of people on the phone lines. Right, now also what you then get in there is you get a pink circle. That must be for your cornerstones. That's for your corners. And then this here is for your bind, uh, your border. Your border. Your border. Yeah. So now, the, the way you put these together, you could actually either copy this, or you may have, a, you might think, oh, I like that one and that one together. You can place yeah. them as you yeah. want. So really, every single one is going to be different. So you yeah. and 10 friends could all buy this and they'd all be subtly different, wouldn't they? Using the same fabric, but you've got to keep that one as your cornerstones and you've got to keep that one as your, as your uh, border. But the rest of it is you can just choose where they go. So you get that, you get the fabric, you get the background fabric, you get the instructions. Then you also get... Um, in here, you also get all of your cardboard templates. So you get the circle for the middle bit, and then you get all of the, now what do you call in these? The petals. The petals, yeah. Petals. You get all of those. So what we're going to do in this show is show you how to create each of these. Now, I've gone through number four in real, real, real uh, depth there. I'll now show you number five and number six. Let me just put that to one side. So number five, number five is Betsy Turquoise, Betsy Turquoise. So if you want this colourway, if you want any of these opened, just let me know and I'll get all the fabrics out for you. But I'm just thinking of time and then I can get them out later. So this is number five. There's all your colours. Oh, beautiful. 24.99. Now, uh, uh, Haley's just said she'd quite like to make, once she'd made the quilt, she might quite like a, two cushions to go on the bed as well. You can buy extra. You're not re restricted to one of each. If you want to buy two of those, buy two of them and make a cushion or something like that. If you bought a cushion, you'd need uh, to buy a fabric to go on the back of your cushion things, you know, to make the back of the cushion. You get enough in here, you can make this. How much, how big are each of those squares? 19 inches. 19, right the way to the edge there. 19 inches. Yeah. 19 inches. Be slightly smaller in the finished quilt. Because well, yeah, yeah. You've got yeah, because you take your quarter inch around yeah. the edge. So the, the actual finished piece is 19, so you, your cushion would be 18 and a half inches. It would. Yeah. yeah, it would, she says. It would, John. Well done. That's your Betsy Turquoise, number five. And then number six is quite dramatic here. Valerius, Mitzi Valeria Sky. My word. They're all the names of the border fabrics. Oh, so that, so that this, blue border is called Mitzi after... Valeria, yeah. Oh, I was thinking, that's an unusual friend. <laughs> Hello, Mitzi Valeria Sky. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? 24, I think that's such good value, 24 
Now, I'll do very quickly, let me just, if you did miss out the first one, I'll just show you one, two, and three, and then we'll get on with some um, some sewing, some demoing. One, two, and three. So, oh, number one is Mitzi Red. This is Mitzi Red. That's beautiful, isn't it? There's all your colours in there. Then number two was Tatum. I see. The thing is, I'm saying I'll buy one for a cushion. I won't be able to because I can't choose. I haven't got a favourite. They're all beautiful, aren't they? This one's called Tatum Pink. There's all your fabrics on there. Oh, that's. I don't think I've seen that fabric before. And then number three was Fion. This is Welsh. This one, Fion Yellow. Was it? What's his name's wife was called Fion, wasn't she? Or is? I think it's one of the designer's children's names. Oh, it's one of the designer's children. I was yeah, thinking that man all... that was prime minister, and then uh, what was she? And he got married to a lady called Fion. Oh, I don't know. He had know. a bald head, not very old, from Yorkshire. Anyway, twenty four ninety nine. Beautiful. Look at those two colours together. That's brilliant. They're lovely. It's actually cornerstones there and that's your border. Okay, so which number are you going to be demoing with? I'm doing... Uh, <laughs> what colour is your border? Number five. Number five. Well, five and uh, four. Oh, you mix so yours. Long. Okay, I'm so ignore what she's making. Well, I'm, I'm going to demo... Uh, to start to demo the Betsy Tur Betsy Turquoise. Is that what it's called? God, I can't remember. Betsy getting, Turquoise so is five. You said you're getting confused by these. I'm yeah. getting so confused. Yeah. And so then I've got a finished uh, Mitzi Green, which right. is number okay. four, is it? Yes, that's right. That's yes. right. Oh, um, if so you're sorry. wondering about the cushion... Oh, blimey, that's suddenly a picture. If you're, thinking, if you're thinking about that cushion that's just above my head there, outside the box, right? I've also got the kit for that coming up later. We're not demoing it, but I've got the... It's on pre-order if you want to order it, but I will show it to you later on. Right, I'll let, let, let's do some sewing. So, um, you get your... As you said, you get your petal fabric pre-cut. Yeah. So, you can multi-cut these if you are using a, a rotary cutter and, right. and a cutting mat. So, I've got four there. You can comfortably cut four. Okay, if you're together. new to it, I'd, I'd cut it one at a time if you're not used you to cutting do. layers of well, fabric. Well, you can start off, but by the time you get to the end of the quilt, you'll, oh, be, yes, you'll exactly. be a pro. And you can see, so I've angled it here so that you get the maximum amount of fabric left. Uh-huh. Using a quarter-inch seam. I like the tool that um, Jenny was using. Oh, the, the quarter-inch ruler. Yeah. Yeah. So we've gone through that. You get a, a pretty reasonable amount of fabric left. And then we're going around the... Top. Oh, yeah, put those in your scrap box. Yeah. And it doesn't matter about the seam, to be honest with you, because it's all going to be hidden within the, within the, um, the back of the quilt. Of course, and also, because it's tarn and lawn, you haven't got a lot of bulk going around the back of the card, have no, you? No, it's... You, you it's, use quilting cotton, sometimes it's a bit bulky, isn't yes, it? Yes, it can be. Um, yeah, we've just made a quilt out of quilting cotton, and it's surprising the difference. But, I mean, I love using tarn for English yes. paper piecing. It's such a nice such nice fabric to use. So we're going to use a glue pen for some of it and then we're going to thread base the, the, the curve at the top. Okay. So interesting to see that Jenny glued the fabric. What do I, you do? I glue the paper. Oh, she said, she said yeah, some people, I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's totally up to you. Not, there's not a right and a wrong, is there? Yeah, no, there's not. And, and, and she was so careful with it as well. But and I mean, if I, it. if I do that, I go, I can <laughs> She's obviously far more of a pro than me. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Derek says, morning, John and team. Sorry I'm late to the party. Do you have a lie in, Derek? <laughs> Gerardine's missed lots as well. Oh, honestly. Shelley says, good morning, everybody. Morning. Lovely. Right. So, so I've glued, glued your cardboard. Oh, like, I've got so much hair. It's always in the way. Yeah, it's Sorry. Like, you're going to have to do a top knot. Well, I'm not very good at hair. I've never well, no, you just, left, you, just, you just scrape it all up and put a scrunchie in it. Like I'm that. not very good at hair. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to ask now, really, is that your natural colour? Yeah. Because it really looks, it really suits. I know I'm being very confident. Somebody said to me the other day, I'm rocking the grey look. I'm like, oh, I'm not sure I really oh, do rock the grey look. Gray. It doesn't look it's it looks all kind. It looks like a really expensive hair colour, actually. Does it? Yeah. Oh. But anyway, carry on. So, um, with English paper piecing, you can get knots in your thread. Yep. So, I use the thread conditioner. Oh, Thread Magic. We've got that thread on the website. Thread Magic. Yep. It just helps to, to keep away some of the knots. You still do get some knots. Yeah. So, I'm going to thread baste the top part of this. Now, I've experimented with this, with glue basting and thread basting. But when you come to taking the papers out, I find that the thread basting is a lot easier. Okay. And it keeps the shape a lot better. So this better. is either or. You either do it glue you can thread, or you do it thread You can glue basting. baste it if that's the way that you prefer to do it. Yeah. But I, just this top curve. Oh, okay, okay. I quite like to thread baste. 
I mean, it takes a bit longer. Move right, a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Move right. Yeah, perfect. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Stay there. Don't move from there. <laughs> so I'm, I'm doing into the seam allowance. Yeah. So actually, you can leave the stitches in. And it doesn't really matter how neat your thread basting is uh -huh. because it won't be seen. And then you just, am I okay there? Yeah, yeah, so, perfect. So you just pull it like this and it creates a lovely curve. Oh, wow. And then I'm holding the thread. Yeah. And then I'm just going to put a couple of secure stitches in there just to keep it. And I find that when you, when you do take the papers out, it just gives it a lot more... You know, when you've pressed it, yes, it yes, just yes, yes. helps a lot to keep the keep the shape. You can still do it with the glue, but it's a bit more. Yeah, of a no, fast. no, no. But that's that's a that nice way of doing it. Cause you get a really sharp edge that way, don't you? Right. So, I'm just going to pop a knot in there. A uh, couple of English paper piecing tips. I've I've put a tiny knot in my. Oh, sorry. Oh, 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 there yeah. we are. Tiny knot in my needle at the top. It just helps to. Hang on, what do you mean? You've put a knot in your needle? Not, not in my needle. What am I talking about? Knot no, in my thread. But where? Whereabouts? So just at the top. Next to the needle? Yeah, just a tiny one. Oh, hang on. And let it me helps. Have, let me have a look. I don't, know what you I don't even know if you'll be able to see it. It's so tiny. Yeah, yeah. See it. So there's a knot. A knot here. Just a tiny one. Oh, okay. And it just really helps to stop the thread. You, yeah, because when you're hand sewing, the thread just comes out. I find. Quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so it just helps to oh, wow. anchor that thread. Does it not? Does it not? When you're trying to pull it through the fabric, or is it so tiny? It doesn't. Well, it it, it it depends on the quality of the thread. So I'm using an Aurifil thread okay. here. Okay. Uh, what what weight <coughs> of Aurifil? Fifty weight. Okay. But actually, lots of people like to use an eighty weight yeah, on, on English good. paper piecing. Yeah. I find it breaks a bit a bit too much for yeah. me. I'm quite heavy handed. You're, I was going to say you're a bit heavy handed. You. Oh, yeah, I'm heavy handed. Yeah. So um, <coughs> so we're going to sew right sides together. And I've already done uh, four bits uh -huh. there, so that you can see how it builds. Do you have to match anything up? Well, you've got to match your shape. Right, so okay, oh, exactly. It's see? just shape to the shape, yeah. Shape to the shape. Yeah. And then you start as the curve sort of changes. Now, these look bigger than I remember them looking. Am Do I getting muddled up with the snowflakey one? Probably, yeah. That's a lot a lot more pieces and smaller. Yeah, that so was you've diamonds, got, That's wasn't diamonds, it? triangles that's and that's hexagons. Yeah. Oh, we ought to do that again. That was a fabulous quilt, oh, wasn't it? Oh, that was beautiful, it? wasn't it? And interestingly, I sew towards me. Oh, yes. So uh, it was interesting hearing what Jenny was saying about sewing away. But you're a righty, not a lefty, aren't I'm you? I'm a righty, mm -hmm. yeah. And <clears throat> again, you don't sew through, you don't through, sew through the paper, just the fabric. But if you do catch the paper, it doesn't really matter. So it's absolutely fine. Will I be able to use these papers again? Is it like a? Is you it can use the papers again, yeah, again and again. I, oh, see, I've got a knot having used my thread magic. <laughs> and if you get a knot, <laughs> a knot in it. you can hopefully get it out. Yeah. By just catching it in there. Your, um, I tell you what, when I do hand sewing, or used to hand sewing, um, I would have a much shorter piece of thread. Only because it would knot constantly. <laughs> do you know what I? This is much shorter than I normally use. I get. Oh, I, what? Maybe I. I know, and I. Because I'm really, I, I find it really hard to thread the needle, and do you know what I've started doing? I've started having my mobile phone on the black screen, and that's the only way I can thread the needle now. What? <laughs> I know you can use a needle threader, but I use a really fine yeah, yeah, eye, yeah, 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 yeah. a really fine gold tip needle, and um, yeah, because I find it's much better for sewing. But I, wow. I'm dreadful at sewing. It's the horrible. It's horrible getting the old, isn't it? And you're not even old yet. Well, I'm getting there, John. No, I'm getting there. Believe me, you'll think you're old now. <laughs> So you keep sewing this. I mean, I won't, you know, I won't yep. keep. I won't keep going. But you, you build it into a, into a, uh, into a, uh, what's it called? A uh, plate, Dresden plate. Yeah, Dresden plate. So you, these are the petals, and then it. And you it see, I've never seen that fabric plate. before. That, that this one. one is, yeah. I think this is a seasonal. This is what I was talking to you about an heirloom quilt. Uh huh. So I love the fact that you can get classics. So something like this Edenham is a classic Liberty yep, fabric. Yep, it's yep. been around for years. This is called Betsy Ann. Yeah. Uh, Phoebe. They're all classics. Classics. Yeah. But some of them are, um, are what's called seasonal. So Liberty bring out two seasonal collections yeah. a year. Yeah. So. If you make this, you'll know that that's the 2021 onwards. <laughs> you nearly said 2020. I did. I'd like to have to think about the year. Well, I was, I was <laughs> out with Dulce yesterday and I said, you know, it was two years ago we went into all the, the lockdown. I Not know. the lockdown, but we started this dilemma. Yeah. Where's that two years gone? Even though we've been I in know. crisis, where's that two years gone? I know, Do you know what I mean? Crazy, it's frightening, isn't it? Isn't it's almost it? a bit surreal thinking mm, back on it, yeah. isn't it? 
Um, so yeah, I mean, those are the principles of English paper piecing. I mean, you can. What I like to do is to pre-cut all of my um, petals in one go, uh -huh. and then pop it into a pouch, and you can take it out and about with you. Yeah. You know, it's great for um, sitting there while you're waiting for your various activities of your children or, oh, or no. whatever. Yours at that I've age now, where they're all at different classes. Millions of activities. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Dawn says she adores hand sewing Dresdens. Great tip, knotting the thread. I didn't know that. Becky Alexander Frost said, Good morning, John and team. Loving the quilt. Just got back yesterday from London. Ooh. Cut London trip short as not very well. Oh, Becky Alexander Frost oh, said, no. You lots of love. We've got <coughs> lots of people here that are quite poorly. Not, no, not that. We all do that every day. Oh, and you're right. <laughs> My new ones are nose only. The ones I've got from the NHS recently, they're, they're nose only. They're not, I don't have to do that anymore. I just have to do my nose five times each side. They're much better, actually. They're supposed to be more accurate. Well, when I was in Greece, you, ha you know, you have to have your test before you're allowed to fly home or anything. Mm. That, she only did the nose. And I was like, oh, you're supposed to do my throat? You're supposed to do my throat? And she was like, no, no, nose only. Um, have you best pressed I can see a bottle of best pressed in there. Have you best yes. pressed your fabric beforehand? Yes. Uh, iron. Wait, I'm looking it's for an iron. It's a little iron. And whereabouts one. is it? Have you found it? Is it plugged in? Ooh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's hot. Don't touch it on that side, Anna, when it's plugged in. When they, uh, when they, they had the long arm quilting show the other day to move the tables to fit the long arm quilter in, and there are seven burn holes in the carpet down there. Now, we knew that Debbie Shaw had done two, but we didn't know <coughs> the, the other five. So the iron is back in stock, back in stock, back in stock. I love this little iron, it's really It's got cool. a lovely hard case, Ooh, I've got it I here. keep spinning. So this is a finished Dresden plate. Oh, blimey, you've yeah. jumped ahead. Well, I... <laughs> Well, the thing is, you don't want to sit no, and no, see no, 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 I'm not complaining. I was just like, suddenly looking and thought you were going to press what you were doing there, and there was, there's a whole one. Well, no, yes, no, but I mean, you, you eventually you, 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 you build a circle, yeah. and then you just have to join the, the two together. Okay, now, now have you, have it you does followed... End up, oh, go on. Sorry, have you followed Alice Caroline's order, or have you put them in your own Anna Sanders order? Of course orders? I've put them in Alice Caroline order. I've got, I'm I trying to check? make the actual quilt. Yeah, you can check. Okay. You can check on the picture. <laughs> <laughs> go on, sorry, what were you saying? Uh, you, it, some people, we get questions all the time about this at Alice Caroline. Um, I'm the uh, technical sewing hotline. As well as everything else. As well, as every, well, not everything else. It ends up a bit like this. And you go, oh, it's not going to lie flat. Can you see? Oh, it's yes, it conical. looks like turkey feathers. It's all yeah, piled up. But yeah. when you take the papers out, it obviously has a bit more give and it, oh, and it lies flat. Oh, okay, so don't panic if don't yours panic. is making a bowl shape. No, I mean, it's not too bad. And then you, you, you press it. Okay, yeah. you can see here that I've still got my um, stitches in. I don't know if you right, so you've taken out the gluey ones, but I've you've left in. Well, I've left two, you've in, left two show, in. I've left two in to show you okay. as part of the demo. But you can see, so I'm pressing, and then I would press. Oh, I'm spinning. Up. <laughs> it needs a bit, bit of a glue. What's the matter glue? with you? What are you moaning it's about? Spinning. Now? I'm not moaning. Oh, it's spinning. honestly. <laughs> Once they get comfortable, they're the first day, they're all, oh, Wendy, it's fine, it's fine. Once they're comfortable, they're like, this is wrong, this doesn't work, this isn't fitted. <laughs> I'm only joking. Right, moaning mini. Yeah. <laughs> so we're then, we, so I'm using the best press. Yeah. And I always say you have to press it with a slight inch of its life. So yes. you, but don't, don't hang on too long on your, yes. on your pieces because otherwise you'll burn it. Which happened on a show once, didn't yeah. it? I oh, think. okay. So you then press on the other side as well. With your best press, I mean, I've uh -huh. already done this one. Best press on tomorrow's show, everyone. And then you can see that all you do is the, the bits that are glue basted on the side there. Just just need a little bit of encouragement to come out, but it it's uh, it's glued at the bottom. So you just pull it out like that. Uh huh. And then you can use that again. Brilliant. I'm just going to take those two out. So there we are, it's a finished Dresden plate. Now this is where we're gonna attach it to the back of the background fabric, which I've pre-cut Now into that back of <coughs> fabric, is it, if, if people have made an old, like when we did it before, like that one behind you is the old prototype, is it the same cream fabric? Is it the same fabric you had before? Yeah, uh, well, it might be very slightly different. Okay, because, uh, just so people know, so <coughs> if, they want, if they've made something before and they want to match it, it's a slightly, is it slightly creamier or yeah, slightly whiter? Yeah, well, I think uh, if it was me, I probably wouldn't match it to the okay. old one because right. the fabric might be different, like a slightly different shade because I think this was made a couple of years ago. Yeah, and also, when you order fabric from, it's like paint, isn't it? You can be, it can be the same shade, and wool yeah. or yarn, it can be the same colour, 
lot, you know, yeah. colour 1104. <coughs> but actually, because it's being dyed naturally, it sometimes is a slightly different shade, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, so, yeah. So I wouldn't, wouldn't, if you've got one from before, don't necessarily match it up with something from before. No, but... Um, you know, I mean, you could choose your own background fabric. You yeah. know, you could you yeah. could create a completely different look by choosing your own background yeah, fabric for this. Oh, imagine if they were dark. If the back squares were dark, that'd cool, be lovely as well, wouldn't it? It'd be amazing. Anyway, sorry. So I've got my um, pre-cut now. It's at seventeen and a half inches. Right. And I'm going to find the middle part. Right. So I'm folding it in half, and then half again. Just and then you'll pinch press it in the middle. Mm-hmm. And then we'll put a little mark on that with my pen. You're not going to see that anyway, are you? You're not going to see it, and yeah. it's it's water soluble, yeah. so it's you just dab a water in it, and it goes. Right, I'm going to get rid of that. So this is where we're now appliqueing this onto the background. Mm -hmm. Now you can base this however you like. You can use uh, basting stitches. You can use glue. Um, I don't think I've got mine here, but it's the, the, the a bit like the one that looks like a Pritt stick. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. We, we, we were going to get that in at the same court, don't we? We never did in the end. But you could use your glue pen that you've got from us, your sewing line glue pen as well. You could. All you need to do is probably little dabs anyway. Yeah. So I'm just going to pin it. But take your time pinning this because you don't want it to, um, not bobble, but you want it to be exactly. So why did you do the quarter and quarter just to find the centre you're not lining anything up with it are you no I'm just finding the centre yeah, point and right, then okay. you know it, your 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 middle of your circle yeah. goes into the okay. centre it's just to to get it central in the oh and got a question for you here yeah. what colour thread do you recommend for this project please from Nicola in Hertfordshire um well I would <coughs> you can use a variety of different colours but if you want to use one colour for the whole project something like a soft grey or a or a cream is really good for each I think you'll piecing. find the two colours that were in the John Scott Aurafil thread box, which is now sold out. Would have been perfect. Would have been perfect <laughs> if but you got that. Yeah, I would use a really good quality, something like an Aurafil. Yeah. Uh, but it, for example, if you're sewing these two bits together, they're quite dark colours, so I yeah. would probably try not to use a, a cream for that. I would the probably try is, and use a, a matching colour. I think when someone has sit that does, cause if you think of the whole of that quilt, obviously the quilting isn't hand done, but all of the piecing is what I quite like to see the odd stitch. I love, I love seeing the English Because I, I, I want to know that somebody, no, I don't want to know. I'd like to know, that somebody to know that I've hand stitched all those pieces. It's not something that's been made in a factory. It's not been churned out. Yeah. You, you know, it's been lovingly hand stitched. So I quite like every now and then to see stitches. Yeah. I, well, I agree. And you can see some of my stitches probably. Yeah, I didn't like to say. Well, you can. I mean, I, you know, there are people who are, who stitch 25 stitches per inch. Well, personally, I, I, I can't be bothered. Well, <laughs> to no, you've got, that no, many not that you can't be bothered. You've got too much else in your life. Well, do. I just, I think te about 10 stitches per inch is, is still fine. a lot. It's yeah. still quite a lot, and I think that's absolutely fine. Uh, and uh, you know, and it and it creates just as good a finish. Okay, now somebody's mentioned saying they don't like hand sewing. Could they make it on their sewing machine? Um, <laughs> well, I think the English paper piecing has to be done by hand. Yes, could you not, though, take your <laughs> templates, cut them out with your quarter inch seam allowance, and oh no, because then you've got the cu curved bit, haven't you? Well, I suppose mm, you. We'll ask it well, out there. We'll ask out there. The I one thing you could do is oh, finish your templates and then machine them to your background, and then machine the next one to your background, and then machine the next oh, one. No. But I mean, I. I it's not. It's not going to look quite the same. No, we've got lots of other machine sewing projects. Yes, yeah. <laughs> the, the other two projects that we're talking about, the flower they, power cushion, machined. that's machined, and the. I, oh, I'm just thinking if you if you cut out all of your petals, you could sew in between the petals. But then when you get to the curve, you're still going to have to do a hand turning of the end. You won't be able to machine because then that's you know what I mean. You, you, you can yeah. sew those straight bits, you can, but you then the these curvy bits. bits you're going to have to do by and hand. And actually, anyway. without wrapping that around the paper, that's going to be quite tricky, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to just use, um, uh, try and use a blind stitch for a what? sewing this. A blind stitch. What's so we're that? just, what well, you're just trying to m make it visible. <laughs> this is where a lot of people would use their 80 thread, isn't it? Though they are for They probably thread would, this, yeah. yeah. So I'm making my knot go underneath, mm -hmm. and then again, I probably wouldn't use this colour thread 
for that. See, I've already got a knot. Didn't use my magic. I no. Magic what colour would you use then? Would you well, I would use a I would use a darker colour to that go around one. that. But it is quite difficult because you know, obviously, it's lots of different colours here. So you might. Yeah, but you see, if you're like me, you'd only have a piece of thread that long anyway. Yeah. Well, you maybe see, I like you to... with your three meters of thread on your needle. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like if you're doing it all, but I, I, my, I would be changing my needle, and my thread anyway, about that, yeah. that often anyway. Yeah. So you might as well just change the. It's whether you've got that many colors of orophil in your um. In your collection. In your box. Yeah. Well, it's a very nice thread to have. So yes. It's worth it an investment. Yeah. Well, actually, you know, we always go, oh, well, I don't know if you do, but we always go about, oh, I know this is a bit of a considered purchase. When you actually work it out metre for metre... It's pretty reasonable. It's it lasts. I, I've made um, an English paper piece quilt, a whole quilt, and one of these, has, uh, which has got how many metres on it? Let's have a look. It's like uh, a 200, is it? Uh, da -da 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 -da. 200 metres. Yeah. It's pretty much made the hot the whole quilt. Wow. Yeah, it's it's amazing. It just goes a long, long way. Yeah, because I I'm of that old school where when we trained, if you sewed cotton, you used a cotton thread. Yeah. And if you used silk, you used a silk thread. Yeah. But then in those days, polyester thread really was just like was cheese wire. Good, yeah. It wasn't it wasn't the quality that it is. I today. mean you, you can use a good you know, you can use a Gutterman. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no. Not, yeah, exactly. you know, we're not getting thread snobby about no. it. But I mean, you know, it's it's uh it's personal choice isn't it really it is personal choice yeah i didn't use my thread magic on this one i'm getting oh no they're all knotting up now yeah and you'll hide all the extra threads underneath yeah and you can see it's it takes time to get it to get it right and you can sew down into those corners yeah you see now this is a job once it was pinned in place i would sit in front of the telly and do this i would too yeah, yeah. Because I, I used to be ballet bodices when I was at college to make money to stay at college. Did you? And um, I would literally sit in front of the telly beading and be I loved it. I loved it. Because Do you fancy I, making I, my again, daughter mindfulness. one? Again, mindfulness. What? Do you fancy making my daughter one? No. <laughs> Not uh, anymore. <laughs> no, don't do it anymore. Uh, but the, the mind, we go on about mindfulness all the time, don't we? Just having that. You know, and I, I tell you how long ago it was. I was watching Brideshead revisited the original on the t not the original, but you know, like the Anthony Andrews and Jeremy Irons yeah. one, sitting on watching that on the telly. Doing, I know. How long have I got? Okay, oh, got so ages, I sorry. mean, you would you'd go around the whole thing, and then we're gonna we've got a bit of a. If anyone's worried about that middle section? Yeah, 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 yeah. We've yeah. got this. So you literally hand stitch all the way hand around stitch the outside. All the way around. Perfect. Yeah, and so that's nicely appliqued on. Yeah. Then we've got our middle section. Oh, my hair is driving me mad. Yeah. I might tie it up for the next one. So we, you've got your circle again. In the, in the kit? In your, in your papers, yeah. in your pre-cut papers. And you're cutting uh, a piece of cream fabric. To, Where does um, that come from? It comes from the edge of this, of the background. Oh, there's, there's an extra bit, is there? There's, the well, when you cut this out, you get extra fabric. Oh, oh so, so, so the piece of fabric in here, the piece of cream fabric in here is actually bigger than your 18 inches square that you've cut out. Yes. I was going to say, don't suddenly cut it out of the corner of that bit. No, there. cut this bit first. <laughs> yeah. Cut the big bit first. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then you'll then have a little sliver middle. to cut your circle out of. Yes. Perfect. And as you can see, I've again um, thread basted that, just uh -huh. as I did the, um, the curves on the petals. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take the paper out. And... You can see it's got an extra one in there. The instructions say to cut two, one with a seam allowance and one without. Oh, okay. Because it just gives you that extra bit to be able to cover the coloured fabrics. Right. Oh, yes, of course. Because just because you don't really want to see, just see it through just it just gives that extra, yeah. um, the extra yeah. sort of um, comfort that it's not going to yeah. show through. And then that gets pinned. Oh, I wonder what it, what it would look like if you put a tiny bit of. Wadding? No, no. Wadding? Yeah. yeah, you could. Thinking, what's it called? That tromp? What do they call it when it's? Yes, 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 yes. Tromp. It is. Um, um, oh, oh, what's it called when you put a little bit in? It's a bit stuffy uppy. Oh, if Dawn's watching from Alice Caroline, let us know because she's amazing at that. Oh, okay. Um, I, I, Anna saying that does it as well. It's got a strange name where you put a little bit in and it makes it. Anyway. Yeah. Well, you could do that on this. Yeah. You could, if you wanted a slightly puffier effect, mm -hmm. uh, a raised effect. That's exactly what you could do. And so then you would sew around that. Right. A again, I would use a cream thread for yeah, that. Yeah, I've got, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely really? use a cream one for that. Yep. And then we're going to sew the borders on. Right. 
So let me just find my borders. Yeah, now which, which, which number are you on now? Five or six or four or 12 or whatever? Four. <laughs> Mitzi Green. Yep. I've sewn them in the right order. You can check on me if you want. Okay, I will. <laughs> so the borders, it's a really simple construction. It's, you're just, I think it's two and a half inches you're cutting out. And let me just check that. No, two inches. Two inches borders. Yeah. And um, you've got that's that square piece that you were talking about earlier. Yeah. That is. Um, oh, for your corners, you cut, don't you? You cut four two inch squares. Right. It's all in the instructions, though, isn't it? It is. Yeah. All in the instructions. And we're quite keen on diagrams at Alice Caroline. I'm a very visual person, so uh -huh. I quite like. I quite like the um. The pictures that we do <laughs> because. <laughs> Not very good with words. No. So we're just um, attaching this to the side. Right. Oh, uh, 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 oh, I see. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah. And then one to the other side. Yeah. So we'll pin that one as well. And then we create this for our top border. So we've got my two inch. Oh, yes, that's it. You only have to add them to one bit, don't you? Yeah. So would you sew on those two sides then first? I'd sew on the two sides first, yeah. and then I'd sew the corner pieces to, to, to the top yeah. borders, or the side borders, whichever. <laughs> I should have said, actually, when, you're, when, you've, when you've placed it on, you can direct it whichever way you want. So if you want to angle all your reds to one corner, you can. Oh, so if so you want yes. a tr true rainbow, we've done it quite randomly here. So the red here is here, and on yeah, here yeah, it's yeah, red. Yeah. So we've done it randomly. But if you really want all the reds to go to the top right-hand corner, you can, you can and that would do. create a, a completely different effect, mm -hmm. I think, on the quilt. Yeah. So this is what you were saying about creating your own individual yeah. quilt. And also, you could, you, you don't have to sew them together, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you want number nine on the top row, yep. you can put them wherever you want, can't they? They've not been designed that it's going to ruin the design if you put number nine in somewhere no. else. No, no. I mean, they're all the same size, so actually yeah. it's, it's, it's exactly the Up same. Well, uh, the thing is, I think it depends where you want the borders, because if you look, you've got a, on the top, you've got a red and yep. two pink borders, and then the second you've got a yellow and two green, maybe you'll want to mix the colours of the borders up. Exactly. You, really? your, borders, your borders really are very striking. Yes. And that's what creates a lot of the effect of the quilt. Yeah. So I'm just saying with a quarter inch seam allowance. And I've pinned, I, pin, I always pin sideways just so that you can sew over the pins, but I always move them a little bit out, out of the seam. So yeah. that, don't want to break another needle on telly, do I, John? No. <laughs> Which is what I <laughs> do seem to do. Yes. <laughs> and long threads up the back. So the other board up. And this bit is, is really a very simple construction. Yeah. And then next time, so the next show is in January, when we, where we're finishing the quilt, which yeah. should be very exciting. Yeah. And we'll do some quilting techniques then as well, I think. So, so you don't do, and you don't. Oh, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. You can so, ask me questions. No, I'll save the question. I'll save the question for a little bit later. <laughs> so we're taking those out, pins, and then the top border. I've just got one of my cut borders, oh, yeah, let's put the and we're just doing the right there. sides together. Pin those on. And then we've got our top and bottom borders, and we press that, and then our block is complete. Mm -hmm. I was interested in what you were saying about um, if you wanted to buy all yellows. I, do you know what? I hadn't even considered that. You know, if you've got a yellow bedroom, or yeah, yeah, you would yeah, buy yeah. All that, I all like, uh, my my bedroom is yellow and green. So I'd be thinking of buying maybe just the mix of the yellow and the green ones, and yeah. not have the other one. It's, yeah. I mean, it's totally up to you. You build as long as you buy nine of them. You build your own quilt, really. Oh, hello both. I recently made two of these blocks from sewing quarter days, then added two from the last show. They look great together from Bethan. Oh, there you go, Bethan. Well, all we're saying, all we're doing, Bethan, is we're not saying they definitely match because if somebody then goes out and buys it and they don't match, then they'll be upset, you see. But that's brilliant to know. 
Hang on, let me just read that again then. So, well, at least you've got some same quarter days. Oh, Beth Ann, that seems like a lot. Oh, so it does ago, match. Doesn't? And it does match totally, yeah. But we just, you know. That is really good to know. Hmm? Sorry, I didn't want to recommend that people bought it no, and no, then no, it didn't no, that's match. What I'm saying, because it might not, theirs might not. So, so we have to be a bit, you know. Well, if of... you bought it from Sam and Quarter Days then, and, it, and it matches for Beth, and then I'm guessing it's, yeah. it, it's exactly the same colourway. Okay. Perfect. <clears throat> I'm just going to press that out. Okay. And I always try and press to the darker fabric. Yeah. So in this case, that'll be to the green. Uh -huh. And then we can sew that onto our border. We'll press this first. Uh -huh. I think a lot of people will, will kind of, when they first look at this thing, oh, I couldn't do that. It looks way too complicated with all those curves. But actually... Oh, no, English people play... It's it, really... They can't even say it. Let I can't just say it. <laughs> it. <laughs> English, English paper, paper piecing, piecing, piecing. Is, is really easy. Mm. You, you've just got to be quite accurate and, you know, take the time yes. to, to yeah. put the stitches in, really. And if you love hand sewing, which I, I do, yeah. I love hand sewing. I find it really therapeutic. <clears throat> I love... I'm not very good at sitting in front of the telly with idle hands, so I, I've always got something on the go. And you've got housework to do? I don't, well, I can't, I don't do housework and watch the telly at the same time. <laughs> can't you? Housework's on a Tuesday. Oh, is it? Oh. Tu yeah. My housework's like in March. <laughs> so. Well, I've got very messy children. <laughs> oh, OK, yeah, forget that. No, I, my house is tidy, it's just filthy. Like cobwebs, because I live in the countryside. All the, all, not the mice, what they call spiders, have all come in to live indoors and brought their webs with them. Yeah, spiders. I don't like spiders, not keen on those. So now we're going to attach our border. Okay. And you've got to match the seams uh -huh. here. Otherwise your corners won't match. And if you, if you pin it and it doesn't quite match, then you just need to sew a little bit more onto your seam. I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> now, Sue, I don't know how I can help you with this question. She says, can I be cheeky? And I <laughs> thought, uh-oh, here we go. I was in Liberty's last week and I met a lovely assistant in the fabric department. She seemed to think I should know who she was. <laughs> oh. Her name was Alison. Well, I don't, I don't know who works in Liberty. <coughs> is there somebody famous who works in Liberty? It's called Alison. I don't know anyone called Alison. Oh. Working in the haberdashery. Well, now I presume in the, in in when, the which part were you in the Liberty Lawn? I don't know. Yeah, it's not Alice Caroline. Wasn't Alice Caroline? She doesn't work in Liberty. She doesn't. She's too busy having her hair done. <laughs> she always looks amazing. Her hair always looks amazing. It her does. Hair, her does hair does, does look always amazing, yeah. <laughs> Oh, now, Suzanne bought herself a new wooden breakfast tray with sides on it so I can sew on my lap and all the pieces don't fall off. Love seeing Anna's demo. So relaxing to watch. Fine hand sewing in Liberty Fabric is so beautiful from Kate in Merseyside. Oh, thanks, Kate. Oh. I added a word in. Oh, sorry. It's just beautiful. Liberty Fabric is beautiful, not so beautiful. I think it's so beautiful, though. Uh, Becky Allen's Unfrost says her work is done by the Ginger Ninja. Oh, she's got a husband who does her cleaning. Oh, yeah. Well, um, my husband Andy and I share it. We've we've got a list. Oh, have you? Yeah. Well, you know, more than the family and all that. Yeah. <laughs> Why should I, to... I hate cleaning. Oh, okay. Hayley needs to find a new husband before she can do that. <laughs> So oh, nearly... right. Okay, oh. it's a good question for everyone. So Hayley says she does all the cleaning and the housework herself, obviously, but if because there's no husband to do it. But if there was a husband there, would be would there be twice as much cleaning? Depends if he clips his toenails in the bedroom. Uh, oh. No, yes. I don't think there'll be more dead skin Toenail. to hoover up. But that's all. Toenails is an issue. Ugh. Not for me. No, I should hope not. I go <laughs> out, when I cut my fingernails. I go outside onto the drive to do it. And the neighbours, so you can see me on the drive, do it, clipping them there, because I don't want them all in the house. Yeah, well, rightly so. Mm? I'm like, oh, I can't, oh, can we change the subject? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'll be on to this. Let's move on, because we are talking about Beautiful Liberty a minute ago. Yes, the Beautiful Liberty. And the, oh, I forgot Trapunto, to say. Trapunto, thank you, who sent that message in? 
Oh, Trip Kate, thank you. That's what I was trying to say Trip earlier. Trapunto, yes, of course. Yeah, thank you. So you can see here that yeah. we've got our corner pieces. Let's hang on, hang on. There you go, oh, lovely. Sorry. You see those? Yeah. And then you obviously just sew the other one to the bottom. Yeah. And then your so book now, is done. So now, this is what's going to be the question I was going to ask you earlier. Mm. Do we do any quilting now? It's not a quilt as you go, is it? So no, it's not a quilt as you go. You make all your nine blocks. Yeah, there's only nine, yeah. Yes, all right. <laughs> and then you put your sashing on. So you're making a whole quilt top. So like normal, like, like, normal. like a normal quilt. You, then you, your sash in between, that's, that's the finishing kit in January, the yeah. 29th of January, I think. And then we will Is that not a December it. one? You're not coming in December? No. So in, in, Dece in January, we'll be doing the bottom three. Bottom three. And, and the sashing. And the sashing. Oh, OK. Yeah, and then we can, we can have a look at some quilting. Then. Well, I might not be. I don't know my January rota yet. Oh. Don't even know my December rota, so I'm not going to know my January. Well, one. yes, but I mean, I mean, hopefully it'll be you, John. You haven't, no, you haven't put the December one out. You haven't even asked. You haven't asked us what days we can and can't work in December. <laughs> Haley does the rota, she say. Oh, okay. I can't work on the 11th of December, just so you know. <laughs> Is that the Saturday? I'm going to Rue's first birthday party. That's exciting. Twelve. <laughs> no, because then I'd have to get ready, go home and get ready for our party, our Christmas party. Uh, the trouble with housework is you spend all day doing it. After six months, it needs doing again. <laughs> exactly, Claire. <laughs> Valerie says, I have a lovely lady who cleans for me. Best money ever spent. The thing is, that's it, you see. If you find a good one, then they're a blessing. But I've had more not so good ones than I have had good ones. I'm afraid. Do you have a cleaner now? I haven't got a cleaner you now. You haven't no. got a cleaner now. No. We well, didn't. no, when during lockdown, nobody was allowed in my house. No, I know. So, um, I was very strict. So this is just the, the same, you know, we're just putting the, the yeah. other border on and then we're done. Okay, well, we've got to talk about the cushion anyway, so that's Yeah. Good. So I while you're saying that, let me just recap all the bundles I've got available for you today then for the quilt. So one, two and three was last month. Four, five and six is today. Right, four, five and six here. So let's do four, first of all. Yeah. Four is uh, Mitzi Green. Hang on. Hang. That's one I'm selling. Oh, yeah. Do you want this? The, the number is MSA669. So that's your Mitzi Green for your um, number four. Very, very popular. Now, have, then, when, you, when um, Anna was on last time, it wasn't with me. I was on my holidays. There was one block that sold over and above all the other, wasn't there? Mitzi Red. Mitzi Red. Now, have we got a favourite today, or are they all more even today? You see, as I said at the beginning, I think you just must get all of them and make a lovely quilt out of them. Don't you agree? Absolutely. Yeah. So there's your Mitzi Green, $24.99. Number five is the most popular. Come with that in a second. Mm. Okay. Then let's go on to number five then. Number five is, have you got the skew? You're right with that one. Yeah. Yeah. There's number five. That's probably because it's got Betsy on the border. That's Betsy the... Turquoise. Lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Look. Now, remember the sort of, is that one o'clock? Is that 11 o'clock over there? The one, the geometric -y one on the right hand side. That's that, you can date it using that one because that's a, this year's print. Okay, and then number six, number six there, Mitzi Valeria Sky. Gorgeous. That's not, oh, sorry, that's number six. There's your colours. Finished block coming out now. I like the way that she's done very contrasting cornerstones as well. Yeah. So I mean, each one has like a other side, the colour circle almost circled, doesn't it? Right, now if you missed last month, what date was it? What date was the last one? What were you, do you remember, can you remember when you were in? It could have uh, been sometime in the three weeks I was on holiday. Was it September? Yeah, it'd be September. September. Oh, I can't remember. 19th of September. 19th. 19th September. So, this one here is Mitzi Red. Block one. There's your colours. You've not got a picture of that one then, just. Oh, he's not got a picture of that one. Then number two was Tatum Pink. You got a picture of that one, Jesse? There you go, that's that one, Tatum Pink. 
Okay, and then number three was Fionn Yellow. That's the one you've got there. Oh, was this, is this Fionn? That's Fionn this, Yellow, This yeah. is Fionn Yellow. Here, I can show you Fionn Yellow. Beautiful, aren't they? Did you sew this, then? Yeah. See, she can do neat sewing. <laughs> <laughs> so sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean it, obviously. Isn't it beautiful, though? <laughs> just seeing it all close to like this is just adorable. Okay, so that was number three. So that's all three. Now, obviously, it's up to you what you want to do. If you can afford it, go for all nine, I would, to make that... Because it's a huge quilt. It's like a major double bed quilt, isn't it? That's 75 massive. inches by 82. 75 by 82, the finished thing. Yeah. With the borders and everything like yeah. that. But again, if you want to make cushion covers, you can make cushion covers. You will need to get some other fabric to the back of your cushion. Because you get the background, obviously, in here. But you don't get another one to make your back of your, of your cushion. So everything in Fion, this, everything in the, makes this, doesn't it? Yeah. Everything makes that. So if you want to then put it into a cushion or something, you're going to need to get your cushion fabric behind that. There. Now, talking of cushions, oh, are you still busy on that one? Well, I finished my border. Okay. So Last time you look, I just have a look at the green one over there before we go on. Oh, so let's go flat. There you go. Brilliant. Beautiful. Yours won't have pins in it. <laughs> That's because you want pins. Right now, last time you were in, you did this cushion, didn't you? I did. And it was yep. hugely, hugely popular. There's not very many left, but we just thought we'd show it. Do you want to just pull it down off the shelf and then we can just talk through it very quick? I'm not going to open it. It's a 16 by 16 inch cushion. Be look at look at, I've never seen oh thank you I've never ever seen Strawberry Thief in that colourway so has Alice Caroline recoloured that one no I think that's a that was a special 40th anniversary collection oh okay because I've never quite, ever seen it in that colourway yeah before. so it was for oh tw it was 2020 but yeah. it's um it is a it's you know it's it's not been out for very long that's yeah. why I haven't seen it so again you're going to be able to date this cushion if it becomes an heirloom cushion cover exactly yeah isn't it so gorgeous? what's in here then what is it all epp again uh no it's all raw ridge applique oh so it's all machine so for people who don't like so for those people who don't like hand sewing yeah this is a machine sewing project there is a little bit of embroidery you know your bee fly line is in yes, yes but you could do there. that on the machine if you wanted to as well using an embroidery stitch and um yeah so it's all raw ridge applique so you and it uses a really cool technique where you you uh, a bit like, do you remember cutting out snowflakes when you were a kid? Doing what? Cutting out snowflakes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You yes, fold yes. the fabric you fold over. It and then cut out. Yeah, and then you oh. cut it out and you. So is it. that all in there? That's it's all so in now, there. So now, did you demo this on the. I demoed this, yes. On the 19th of on the 19th, yeah. September. 19th of September. Yeah. Go and have a look at YouTube and you'll see you'll see this being demoed because I think it's so worth it because it's so beautiful, isn't it? But look, it's 24 99 So now in this one, you get this cream fabric. Yeah. You get all of this fabric. Yeah. You get this lovely, is that, that's not Emily, is it? No. No, uh, it's Capel. The what? Capel. Capel, right. But then do you get this as well? Yes, you do. The only thing you need for that is a bit of wadding, which lots of people have got yeah. in their stocks, and a bit of bond web. And a cushion, a pu cushion pad. And a cushion pad. Not a pushing cad. A, a pushing cad. And then the thread is just normal thread, and then that there's a bit of embroidery thread around there, isn't yeah. it? Oh, I think it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I th oh yeah, it's gorgeous. Mm. It'd be lovely if you could make that in time for Christmas now. Well, what, that's the point, isn't it? You either buy them that, somebody who loves sewing, yeah, yeah, yeah. and say, here's a cushion for you to make. Or if they don't love sewing, you could make it for them. Because you've done, that's machine, that one there's a machine line around the edge of that some one. Some of it will it? be machine, some of it's machine. And then machine. that one's a hand stitch line. Yeah, that it one. just creates a, a little bit of um, depth and, uh, and, and I you love know, different. Oh, result. hang on, yeah, so is that is that capel in there as well? Is that the, is that the same yeah. the border? Yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? And that, that um, I'm, I'm waffling, I know, but I'll, I'll finish in a minute, but that strawberry thief in that colourway is just amazing. It's lovely, it? it's really lovely. £24.99. pence. So right, now you're back in an hour. I'm back in an hour. Oh, and we're doing this, aren't we? We're doing the little Christmas wall hanging. Yeah. And we have got, they're already available, well, the kit for that is already available on pre-order. We're going to be demonstrating that. But also, you know the five inch and the two and a half inch squares of Liberty Lawn that we do from Alice Caroline? We've got two new ones, Christmassy ones. And... Uh, Louise has made some Christmas cards we'll have a look at. It was Louise, wasn't it? It was Louise. Louise well, has made remember. some Christmas cards, which are on the trolley there. I'll show you later. Right, don't go anywhere because uh, So Crazy Girls are back in a few minutes. We're making this bag. In, there you go. In the next hour, it's a tote bag. 
using that lovely Odile Bellieu fabric and some more PU. Oh, and there's a zip in this one. Oh, yes. And there are fancy zip pulls. We'll see you in full. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. sewing street or yarn lane customer no matter how many times you check out in one day you will only pay one postage and packaging so don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out you will only pay one pmp even if you check out multiple times in one day have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with sewing street and yarn lane you can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Now, oh, before I start with the uh, So Crazy Girls, we're going to load loads of people mentioned about this iron. Yes, this is the iron that you're seeing them all using. It came back in stock on, um, was it, what day was Delphine? It came in stock that day. We had hundreds of them, right? And they're absolutely flying out. And you know why? It's quite simply the price. The price is ridiculous, right? So you'll get this little case, which is a nice little working case. Are you going to put the graphics in for this? We are live. She, she said, yeah, when we're live, we're live now. I'm not talking to myself. Anyway, look, look, look. So you get the little case, you get the instructions. And then inside is the iron. Now, obviously, this one's not switched on. But look, you got a little rubber stopper there. That's where you put your water in because it is a steam iron. This here is where your water, you know, your maximum filling of water. Steam on, steam off, steam on, steam off. You've got your little dial here for your temperature, like your old-fashioned dial. Round the edge here, you've got your silicon soft touch 
So if you've got dexterity issues, it's really, really easy to use this one. The little red light comes on when you switch it off. It goes off when it's ready to use. The clip, when you fold it away, you've got a wire clip there. You've got a metre and a half of your um, wire for cable there. And there are the little holes. Now you can press shirts. You can do your normal ironing with this. So take it on holiday with you as well if you wanted to. 29.99. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, we haven't had it in since February with the hard case. We had it, that's what I said. Last time we had it in, it just had a bag, right? And we haven't charged him more for the hard case. But anyway, that's by the by. Yep. Nine months to get them in. Launched with me last week. Oh, well, less than 20 and we had hundreds of these. The other thing that I, have to, I want to tell you, somebody asked me the question. Go to the website, right, and buy one of these. Right? If you go to the website, you buy one of these. Wait, which one should I show, Jesse? That one there. Go to the website, buy one of these, because it fits perfectly in there, right? So when you travel, you've got a little, you've got a little um, silicon. This doesn't come with it. This doesn't come with it. If you buy one of those on the website, it comes in there, and you can zip it up, right? And it all fits nicely in there. But obviously you need to buy that separately. But somebody messaged in the other day saying, oh, I'd like to have a little, would it fit if I worked it? And yes, it does. It does work. 29.99. 29.99. Right, let's talk about bag making them. This is gorgeous, isn't it? Let's just get rid of that in a minute. Look at this. How beautiful is this? Now, you've got your PU. You've got your, square, your squares here, your patchwork here. Little pocket going on there with your lovely lining. And then, look at this zip, right? It's very fancy. Now, can you see? Changes, oh, well, if it goes in focus, you better see it. it changes colour. It's got all different colours on it there. And you've got the most glorious zip pull on it. Where's, where's he going? There you go. Glorious zip pull on it there. So now you can make this. You can make this. Let me sit back down again. Oh, oh. I ain't getting old. Just you <laughs> wait, you two. <laughs> okay, so what, what's this here then? Why have you put this on the desk? Because we're going to need it later. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. It, it's, okay. It, it's errata, so um, last minute... A mistake, minute, you mean? Yeah, last minute I realised, so I got lovely Hayley to print hundreds and hundreds of pages. Ah, Hayley, and they yeah. will be included with with the customers. Okay, pattern. right. So if you want to make this bag, you need this bundle here for $46.99. Now, in the bundle, I'm going to do the fabric first. So you get your fat quarter, your fat quarter. Now, these are different fabrics than before. These are uh, uh, Odile Balleur. So you... Oh, oh, $44.99 is what you get. There's a mistake. $44.99. That's even better, isn't yeah. it? Brilliant. So you get that and you get that. I love that colour. I think it's rose, I think that's cool. But anyway, it's beautiful, isn't it? That's for your lining. L -l 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 lining. And then this here is your PU. Beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous. But you also get this for your $44.99. You get the zip pouch here. You'll get. Oh, have I just shut it again? No. <laughs> It's a magic pouch. Some that you of can't them are tricksy. <laughs> oh, yeah, they are. There you go. There you go. There oh, we go. I just want to say. So, in here, you get the instructions, right? Thorough, thorough, thorough. It's oh, not such big writing in this one. This Loads one. more writing. There's more writing, that's yeah. why. Right, with, with templates, right? And you get this one as well. You get all of that, all of that. There's no. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, you get another one on the back there. So you get all of that zippity do tote. You get this. Uh... Wow. Can you I get... say, John, there's enough for two bags. The zip, the zip, zip can be made into two bags. There's a, everything else is for one bag. If that right, makes okay, sense. okay. So it just happens that there's this extra long zip. Yeah. But you don't need to, you could use that in this bag and then make yourself a little purse. Yeah, definitely. And use the rest yep, of the zip. Yeah, absolutely. Could. Okay, so then you also get. What's this? That is a towel hook, which is going to help you easily get your zip pull onto your zip teeth. 
Lisa's and what magic. Is it? And I'm going to show you. But what is it really? It is usually a towel hook. So you but, put your by the side thing. You, yeah, oh, but it's shaped I need one in of these. such a way that it really is so it's so good for putting zip pulls. But that's included in it anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll leave that there. Yeah. Then we've got the top of the zip, which is in this electromagnetic -y, uh, a la Tula Pink. Rainbow. Yeah. Rainbow. And you get the star zip. Of, so, oh. You, you get two. Yeah, you get two because you've got enough to make two. Oh, yeah, because yeah. you've got two. Yeah. Yeah. So you put that one on your bag and that one on your makeup if you, bag. You might prefer the bar or you might prefer the star. Uh, well, we all know you prefer <laughs> the bar. That's by the bag. <laughs> then yeah, I've got this. What's this? That is um, washable tape, but loads and loads and loads of it. Right, fine. That ought to, all of this, all of this, all of this, $44.99. What other things do you need? Interfacing? H640 and medium weight fusible. Okay, there you go. Medium weight uh, fusible. Uh, no, hang on. Medium weight interfacing and some H640. Will half a meter be enough? Uh, plenty. And plenty. you'll also need a magnetic snap for your um, pocket. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. Which I had in the last show. Four, so 44.99 will get you all of that, right? If you're yeah, full kit, full kit, full kit. If you just want, if you don't want those fabrics, you've got your own fabrics, but you want the zip, the tea towel pull, the zip pullers, <laughs> uh, the tape, and the instructions. You'll also get that page in there as well. £32.99. £32.99 for all of that. So you just have to supply your own fabric with that one. So you've got a long, really, really long zip, which will do two, pro act, yeah, two projects. Actually, if you do it with your own fabric, you can easily make two bags yeah, then because you've got yeah. enough of the zip. You don't need two of those. No. You've got two zip pulls it's, already. Yeah, you've got enough of that. So really, that will make you... The tape will that. last you for loads of yeah, projects. Exactly. £32.99. pence. If, however, you want the instructions on their own, they come in these, by the way. That's why we've left the plastic normally. Hayley gets mad when we leave plastic bags on, right? But they come with it. They come with it, right? Instructions. Half the stock of the instructions has already gone. We haven't even started yet. That was just oh, pre-order. Um, oh, I've got a question. Hang on. Already. Love the zip pull holder. Oh, I got mine when you demonstrated. Oh, you've done it before. This. Zip. I did. I did it as a, a YouTube video for myself quite a while ago. Oh, there you go. There you go. Geraldine, Geraldine says, John, less of the old. You're only 12 months old, older than your teeth. Well, <laughs> I like that. But that's true because we didn't have milk teeth. We were born with the, these are the teeth we were born with me and my older brother really we didn't we didn't they have were? milk teeth they, apart from the two at the front here we didn't have any and we've got no wisdom teeth no wisdom I, <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't tell that for him because he's a consultant surgeon but i've got no wisdom right now if you want the zip on its own with two pulls you can get the zip with two pulls on its own if you want graphics coming in that can't That's, be right i know i know right i know i know have you got a shop? I'll get it out, Jesse. I'll get it out. That's wrong, surely. I, I, I got it by the truckload. That's why. And it well, it's very good really if you pass good those savings stuff. on to us because well, you, you know. could. Uh, yeah. Because look at the, oh, sorry. There's your two pulls, your, your rainbow pulls. But look how much zip you get. That is competitive. I know how much you'd usually That's pay That's more for. than competitive. That's yeah, a know. bargain bucket I know. price. I know. Well, I, I had to buy it by the truckload. Yes. Safe to say I've got some for my stash, but it's yes. it's, it's nice stuff. Didn't charge yourself seven ninety nine. <laughs> she charged herself twenty four ninety nine. Well, I'll make a bit of money on these. I'll sell these to myself at twenty four ninety nine. Right, okay. Now, if you want the wishy-washy tape on it, so it's not wishy-washy tape. It's called... Quilter's tape. Quilter's, Quilter's washable, washable tape. Quilter's away washable tape. tape. Got a little roll of it there. Oh, hang on. Where are we going? How many metres are on there, then? 20. 20 metres? Mm hmm And that's a really, really good, um, what's his name for 20? 20, 20 yards, actually. 20, 20 yards, sorry. 20 <gasps> yards, yeah. Honestly, get it right, woman. <laughs> You're only here once yeah. in a blue moon. <laughs> There's people watching you, know. This is telly. Mm -hmm. There's people watching you. Well, right, okay, shall we make this bag then? Yeah. So, uh, how are we starting then? With you again? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I just want to say, I want to say thank you to Dylan and Mabel for helping pack oh, stuff. That's they nice. were so good. Dylan packed all the patterns and Your got the boy labels Dylan. on. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, he's not little, so little anymore, is he? He's, he's like as tall as me. He's oh. such a man, isn't he? He's boy band. Ha but interior. since I've known you, he's grown yeah, He's from. just grown when I first from. Met yeah, him, when he came on TV with us. He was like a timid little child. Now he's like a. Geezer, isn't he? Stylish geezer. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah but he helped. It's going to cost you a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
that's yeah. what they do. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he helped pack. So he packed, who's the other person? Mabel, my, my girl. Oh, you're Mabel. She packed all of the zips. She oh, did the bars oh, and the that, zips. Check yeah. your zip it's when you get like it. Child, that's yeah. all I'm going to say. <laughs> oh, I can't them, didn't um, I? Did they get yes. paid? Yes. Yeah, they did actually. Yeah, yeah. I took Mabel, yeah. To, took Mabel to a toy shop afterwards. She chose herself somehow. I, I yeah. gave Dylan a pound. <laughs> A no, pound. he had two pounds because we did it in two sittings. So that was a pound a sitting. But they were really proud to help. Was it really was happy. lovely. It was really nice. You see, at the he thing I was like, yes, the NEC. He was proper happy and he's offered to do it every time. Maybe He'll soon same. change his mind. <laughs> Catherine was there. Catherine Wright was there with her daughter. And she said, this is my daughter. Take, uh, run in the stand. And I said, she's paying you, isn't she? And Catherine was like, oh, <laughs> Anyway, shall we make this? Come on. Come yes, on, right. This, so uh, my part, very easy again. So it's a simple patchwork. So it's two rows of four and I've lifted it out of screen straight away yeah, that's fine. so I'm just going to show you how if you haven't done quilting before how to make the rest of it right and the way that my fat quarter was cut I meant I could fussy cut these flowers because I just think it looks cute yeah yeah you exactly. don't have to at all does and it I say in the pattern how big to cut them and everything oh yeah yeah all the instructions are completely yeah, there yeah. I haven't just won it I've um, I've written it properly Mabel Dylan Becky Alexander's frost kids get 20 pounds just so you know <laughs> Just saying. Tiny <gasps> hair. That's not They're funny. older. They're, yes, they're, they're much, are they're older. much older. They're, they're much yes, older. Yes. They, they might need the money. No. <laughs> These kids, no. Right, what right, do you do? So I'm using quarter of an inch seam yeah. and I am just not going no, to do not. anything, apparently. Work. It's because Lisa's been on it. It's because Lisa's been on it, hasn't yes, she? Oh, it's God. not even. There you oh, go. no. Oh, what's, what's happened? happened? Lisa, what have you done? I didn't do anything, but it's unthreaded itself. You unthreaded it. Right, the zip on its own is actually it. flying out while those two... Have you sorted yourself? Right, no, while you two are sorting yourself. The zip on its... I'm not surprised it's flying out. It's 7 99 right? It's a good price, folks. It, yeah. Yeah, multi-buyers. Multi-buyers. You get the zip. How long is that a metre? It's yard? a metre. Yeah, yeah. So I, I had to buy some in for myself because... You can't I did, see her. She's in the corner. I had to so buy just... some in from another seller to make the sample and it cost me more. More than seven ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, but you get the two zip pulls as well. You get and the I'm going to show you how easy it is to get them on. I promise you. Well, you will if we ever get round to get. <laughs> oh, to your bits. come off it! I know. I'm not even expected to do much. Oh, I know why it is. Oh. Sorry. You've got this machine. The quilting foot's still on. Ah. Oh. Doesn't like just sewing through like two layers right. of fabric. Okay. Right. I'm back. Okay. We're good to go. Are we off? So we're just using. Also, when Orlando does that use that machine, every time she's been in, someone's like, oh, What is going this? on? That has not sewn a thing. Oh, no, this is going to be good. Oh, then. where's Gary when you need him? Or George. It's Who is, George. Oh, it's oh, Gary and George. Yeah, Gary and George came on. They were both on with me a couple of weeks ago on the same show, like you two. I had the So Crazy Boys. Oh, my gosh, were they actually? <laughs> oh, yeah. amazing. Right, let's try again. I'll show you the bag now while she's just sorting herself out. Yeah, hang on, I'll put those in this there. This does not seem right. Right, so here we go. So this is the bag, the finished bag itself. It's got a PU base to it. It's got the pocket. Of... Oh, there you go. Price right now. The price is right. Come on down. $44.99. Then, of course, you've got the zip across the top here. Then inside, you've got the lovely rose line. Oh, you won't get the bag of wadding in yours, obviously. <laughs> the lovely rose lining in them. Mm? Oh, hang on. Yeah, the zippity-doo. That's right. Zippity-doo tote. The image on the website is wrong. I do apologise, but it is this one you will be getting. So you've got your pocket really? on the front there with your... Um, Magnetic clasps. Magnetic clasps are available from the earlier show. And then this is the bit we will be showing you in a minute if, the mach if um, we can get them. Um, is, is it working now? Yeah. The machine yes. working. Right, okay. So you cut your, your squares out. Right, go. Yeah, so I'm just going to sew all four squares together. Do it as quick as possible now. Right, yes, Because now we're behind. you've used up all of Lisa's time. <sighs> I don't know what was going on there. Right, Tell so Lisa just, I have right. an able to, but mine's four-legged wire fox terrier. Oh, no. I bet you she listens better than my Mabel. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, yeah, my gosh. What's the matter now? Don't swear, you're unfair. I didn't. Is it being funny still? It's just on... Um, Does it keep on threading It's itself? just on threading every time I... Do we need the piece that you're sewing together to make the bag? Yes. Okay, okay then. Oh, no, you were going to give up on me, aren't you? Yeah, it was. Because um, I'll have right, to Right, let me try not using the thread cutter. And okay. I'll just... Um, We're getting another machine just standing by, just in case. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's the full bag. £44.99. 
So if anyone's ever made a zip pouch before, yeah. that is the bag's so easy to put together. So once you've done all of the all added all of the front bits together and the back bits together, yeah. you're basically making a big zip pouch. Oh yeah, of course so it's you really are. Really easy to put together. Yeah. And if you're frightened of zips, when you're actually constructing the bag, you don't sew through the zip. Have you noticed there's big gaps at either side? Oh, yeah. That makes the bag super easy to put together. Yeah, I saw on Facebook that you put that in to watch the show because I'm going to show you how easy it is to put that in. Because I know that there are lots of zip phobics out there and, and so, I just well, wanted to make it easy for I'm them. I'm one of those people because when I was at Women's School of Art, we never did zips. We never, ever did zips. No, me neither no. until I started bag sewing. No. <laughs> and then in theatre, you very seldom put a zip into, zip into a costume, especially a quick change one. I suppose it wouldn't fit loads of people. It's, no, it's and not well, also it's not period, but also if you do yeah, a quick yeah. change and you catch an actor's skin, oh, that's right. it. You know what I mean? That would make sense. Yeah. How right. are you doing over there? I'm not going to use the thread cutter. Is that what the Yeah, because yeah, I don't think it likes the actual thread that's in here. Oh. Oh. So it's not... When Diolando was in last, wasn't she? Oh, no, actually, she wasn't. Yes, she was. <laughs> I'm going to blame Wendy Orlando. She'll be watching. Oh, she'll love that. Oh, Shelley says you three are cheering us up today. What, with go. our incompetence, you mean? <laughs> right, <laughs> let's just not use the thread. Right, right, so I've sewn the four together in the opposite way, just yep. to might make a nice checkered. Yeah. And if this is the top one, I have pressed the seams to the left. Yeah. So on this one, I want to press them to the right, just, just so they the nest opposite. nicely. Yeah. So that's all I'm going to do. We've got is, the nylon, is it nylon or metal? That's the nice thing. It's metal look nylon so you I'll, can tell you, I'll, I'll tell you i'll tell you move in move into the shot and it's then you can yeah tell it's 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 metal look so it's designed to look like rainbow metal but you can sew through it absolutely safely with a machine needle you can use scissors not your sewing scissors obviously yeah. but you can use normal scissors to cut through the zip brilliant right so we're just going to right sides together and as you can see if you um press your seams away from each other, they nest so nicely and you're more likely to get points. Okay. I would pin if you're not comfortable in hand doing it, but obviously yeah. we've lost a little bit of time. Yeah, I'd probably pin because it's not my Yeah, I'd pin as well. Yeah, but we've lost a bit <laughs> of time with the machine. <laughs> So. Yeah, she puts a pin in and then look, she'll get the pin broken in the machine. Exactly this. It will just disappear. So I'm just going to line up as I go. I've got loads of threads here from where it broke off. That's all right. Later, if it comes apart. Sorry, darling. I've dealt with worse. It's good. It's all good. Yeah, and the stuff I give you, always all right. Yeah. There we go. Just remind me not to use the thread cutter because I get in such a habit. Me too, I, I often use... No, well, with your machine, you just get in a habit of doing what There was doing. a discussion on it recently, thread cutter, yes or no. And yes. I, I tend not to, because often I'm sewing with PU, so I need to leave long thread yeah. tails. Yeah, so I, I think don't I, I messaged into this show, because I said when you're quilting, when you're piecing, you don't really need them. I think but John's if you're feeling actually left quilting... <laughs> no, 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 it's fine, you're just wittering away there, like you're yeah, at home. Yeah, no, it is. <laughs> If Bernadette you're says, you wanna... it's really good to see John happy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bernadette. And crazy girls make him laugh and smile. And Anna too. Like friends enjoying a sewing oh, meeting. I'm know. not enjoying it. <laughs> right, come on. Right. Have you done that? Yes. Right. Shadam. There we go. So I'm just going to press that nicely. It has got some bits of thread okay. popping out. Right, yeah. I feel like you're rushing me, John. No, 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 I'm not. I'm just, I don't know what they're talking about. I think there might be an issue. Right, so I'm just going to try and pull those threads out from that have just got caught in the seams. There okay, we go. Okay, can we, there we go. Perfect. I've just pulled another thread out, haven't worry. I? It's don't fine worry. for you, Are you going to use this bit to make the bag? With yeah, you? she yeah. is. That's why I'm doing it. Yeah. yeah. I was going to quilt, but I shall no longer quilt. What you would do is baste this onto a piece of wadding. Yeah. Be, it's the perfect size for using up your scraps of wadding. Okay. So I'm just gonna, I am gonna baste it, but I'm not gonna quilt it. Okay, so it. what quilts so on this quilting, you've done Echo like, quilting. Echo quilting, yeah. Yep, just down all the I'll seams. I'll just show you that closely on this oh, one so you can nice see this name. one. that's a nice name, I like that. Echo quilting. Never heard of that term Well, before. I think when you've got such busy, lovely fabrics, yeah. you don't really want to quilt all over them. No, no, no. So no, I no, wanted no, to show no. them off, and, yeah. and it doesn't need to be heavily quilted. So here's your echo quilting. It's literally just in from each of the seams. Yeah, so just over a quarter of an inch. Yeah. I love how seam. squidgy it looks. It looks, you know, it looks so plump, the quilting on the bag. It looks really nice. 
Right. I haven't got that. Are you using the 80-20 wadding? Yes. Yeah, 80-20 wadding. We got that up by the half metre, yeah? That's I haven't got it like here. That's like IOT. No, I didn't see yeah. any on the old trolley there. No. Right, so just as we did before. I reckon don't bother, Jen, so that I can, can just. You, can you yeah. get away with it? Could you trim what it to you size would for do, me? What, this? Um, no, oh, trim this when you're done. What you done. would do before you trim it to size, <laughs> you would um, put the interface so on, on like you put did. Put the wadding like, on, quilt it, yeah, put some iron interfacing on the back, and then cut it yeah, to size. Just as you did the panel for the, the first other panel. panel. Okay. Yeah. Go pop that underneath. Can you pop that underneath? Yeah, sure. Please? So we don't end up. Right, I'm going to trim it down. It and off. it says in the instructions what size to yes, it, trim yes, it, it to. Oh, actually, you don't need to trim. Do we, did you trim it down? You made uh, it after that. Yeah. Oh, and I, well, she's cutting it now. I'm, so I'm going to say, I'm going to say what size it needs to be trimmed to. I've got it written down on a sheet of paper. Um, eight, eight and seven eighths by 18. Oh, gosh. Wow. Well, you get. I don't use now. seven eighths and stuff like that. Don't you? Don't no, you? not really with quilting that much. I'm just quarter, quarter of an Sometimes inch. Sometimes you have to cut squares out at seven eighths to make half square triangles and things. Oh, that's you? true. I tend to oh, cut down. <coughs> I make them and then cut oh, my okay. squares okay, down yeah. usually. I just sit an EP pair. Uh, did you say eighteen? Yes, eighteen long. Oh, okay. So it's just a quarter of an inch off one end. <laughs> but too big or too small? It's too big. I'm just going to cut a quarter of an inch off okay. one yeah, end. Yeah, when I, when I was doing the samples, I found them a touch too big. But that's good. Oh. No, the that's bigger good. the better. Yeah, yeah the bigger the better. Because you can always cut down, but you can't add. Because some, so. sometimes when you quilt, the edges go raggedy, don't they? So if you want, you, you know, you might and need How long? Have you got the right width then as well? Eight uh, and seven no, I haven't eights. checked that yet. What did you say? Eight, eight and, and seven, seven, eight height. Put width. it nine. Put it nine. Take a bit off. Oh, it's nine and a half. Nine and a half. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be too tall. But I can still use it for demo purposes. So shall purposes. I do nine? Shall I just? Yeah, the I ruler's eight and a half inch wide. Okay. Can I do it like that? Oh, Lisa, let's leave it as it is. I reckon. <laughs> At home, you would make yours the right size, obviously. Yes. We're just trying to make it easier because I'll have to draw the lines if yeah, I'm going to cut yeah. it because the ruler's not wide enough. Okay. That's fine. That's absolutely well, fine. Well, thank you very much. Are oh, you going now? Bye thank then. you, Jen. Sorry to show oh, you. Oh, wait, over here. Stay where you are, then Lisa, come yeah, in. Yeah, I'm going to come this side right. again. Okay, right. So, Jen, Jen has made the gorgeous panel for um, the back of the bag. I've, I'll show you what. Well, listen, before I get to the bag bits, you're probably wondering, yeah, but there's a zip. I hate zips. If you're not going to talk about the zips, I'm not going to get the bag. So, do the zip talk. first then. Yeah? Do the Good zip idea. first. Good idea. Good so. idea. Because the rest of the, the construction, we'll get to it if we've got time. Yeah. The rest of the construction is very, very simple of the bag, isn't it? Yes. So, what, what, you, um, what you get. Where's my little zippy tabs? So what what you what you get in your pack is a long zip with two so separate zippy pulls, and what we've got to do is get the zippy pulls onto the zip, zip. and it's so surprisingly easy. You might have seen this before. I, I, when I did this video, um, proud to say thousands and thousands and thousands of people have watched it. But in case you haven't, I'm going to show you how to do it now. So oh, she's blowing her own trumpet she now. She is, isn't she? Yes. What yes. is your YouTube channel called? Uh, well, it, it was, um, I think it was You Handbag, which is now okay. defunct. So it's not actually available to watch anymore. Um, yeah, it, it is because it's just it. on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> so if you've if you've bought if you've bought the kit, you'll end up getting this. Thanks, which, which, coming in on that now. Why have I got a towel hook? What on earth is this for? Yeah. So it's for getting. It's for attaching that to that, and at the back it's adhesive, so you can, what you need to do is have the pointed end facing you, uh -huh. you can either stick, Will stick this on work the table. Will with other <coughs> zips or just this one? The lovely thing is, because it's, because it's wide and ends up narrowing, it'll take any, so that we're working with size 5 zips, which okay. are your big bag zips, mm -hmm. but it'll work with any size zip, because it goes from wide oh, to narrow. Oh, yes, of course, yeah. Which is what you want. So stick ideally. it on the wall in your workroom, then. Yeah, basically, yeah. In fact, at home, I've got a big box of zips, and I've just st stuck this to the box. But you can ha still put, or if you prefer, you can put it on the okay. table. She's just sticking, sticking it now it to down. one of our cutting yes. mats. Yeah, and it'll never, it'll never come off. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I'm just going to, you, you don't want it to go anywhere. You have to move it to the right, no, Lee. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's coming, it coming okay? to you. Coming to you, yeah. Okay. It's not moving now. It's going to be on there forever. Yeah. So I'm going to I'm going to take the bar or the star, it doesn't matter which. Yeah. And then I'm going to have the right side of the zip facing away from me. Right. And I'm going to have the pointed part of the zip facing to the sky. Right. And I'm going to slide it into the hook. So you see the bar bit is going underneath. And then put it in the groove and, and push it back until as as far as it will go. That's as far as it will right, go. Right. So just to re so the back of the zip is facing us. Yes. Yeah, so you want wrong side <coughs> up. Okay. Wrong side up, and yep. then the pointed bit facing Upwards. away from yep. you. Okay. You're going to take your your zip, zip tape. So it's going to come to you like that. Oh, hang on. And then you put it on the table next to the thing, so we can it's see. Going it. to come, it's going to come to you like this. Right. To start off with, what you need to do is separate it, and it comes apart easily. Yeah, it looks like it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's it. laughs> I can. You can see her face. It comes apart easily. <laughs> we we have a long history, John and I, but we love it. It keeps us fit. Anyway, so you 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 pull it apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. enough to work with. Yeah. And then you flip the zip over so you've got the wrong side facing upwards. Right. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the ends of the zip and then insert them into the groove. And this groove keeps the zip head from moving. Right. So, so you insert the ends at an angle like that. Yeah. This, this is going to be tricky like that. And then you put them, you put the ends into the grooves of the zip yeah and it there's no sign it's not particularly scientific you're just gonna jiggle <laughs> and then somehow it will miraculously go in even when you're on the telly yeah. it better do or i'm never coming back no <laughs> glad this is your part i can even thread well you machine. made the rest of your i was gonna parts. say i couldn't even thread a machine <laughs> <laughs> like, can you imagine trying to do this oh. going, lisa? <laughs> what's happening then lisa all right, all right, all right, all right. It's maybe because my excuse is it's, this is usually on a box and not on a table. Yeah, so I my, my, yeah I may, right. might be more used to that. Come mm. on, you. All right, let's just try with an. Try different. <laughs> yeah, try another bit. Don't laugh. You're supposed to be supportive of you. You know, on the old no, YouTube you know video. Right. Always yeah, go to a YouTube video. Yeah, it, it, works it happened there. first flipping time, you know. There you go. See? Oh, there you go. Oh, perfect. Oh, look at that. So, and it goes on, and it should go on that easily. Sometimes oh, it's just. It off. I know, but I'm. Well, because I, I want to just show you again that wasn't a fluke. Right. Sometimes it's a case <laughs> of getting the angle <laughs> right, you know? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that is magic. So it, I mean, don't but we don't pull ours off at the other end, do we? No, no, we don't. No, no. no. That's just me proving a point that yeah. once you got it in, don't freak out. You will. Be I able can't to have a go because it's stuck to the you board. You will. You will be able to do it again. I want to have a go. Right. So, but I'm not oh, going to do have it again. Go, then. I've never done it. Do you want to have a go? Yeah. yeah why not? Right. Okay. Something different. So it goes in an angle like that, and you try and get them in at the approximately the same. So we have to go over at one o'clock. Got another hour. Oh, it's moving. Come on, start. Can you do one at a time, or do you have to do them both? Well, maybe one goes in slightly... Oh, this has come unstuck now, isn't Okay, it? all right, then. How's that? We're you not doing anything else on the demo today. We're just playing with it. Well, I've got one oh, I've got. You're not going in on an angle, though. That's the problem. Yeah, Am I not? Go, going in an angle. Oh. Maybe I'm pushing to... Oh, yeah! There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. See? Yay! That's the it's first time I've done it. And then, and then, but then... Don't pull it off the end. I'm not going to... And then, and then it's a case of... Ah, just take it out, out of the and thing. Then it, and then it's on. And then if, if, if one end happens to be longer than the other, you're just... Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you don't cut the zip to the exact length that you need. No, Put no, it on start off with a touch longer than you need yeah. and then trim and then off. trim off. So don't don't be anxious with yourself if you don't get it first or second time. Yeah. Seriously, just be relaxed for the first five times. In one of those times, it'll defo go yeah. in. And then once you've got the hook, you've got the hook for all of your other zips that you're going to exactly. love doing in the future. Brilliant. <laughs> right, OK, so we've so, got... This this is our this is our eventual aim. So if you if you can focus in there, there there's my zip and I've trimmed it with some PU squares right. on both ends. See, uh -huh. but how how nice does that look? If you had to buy that from a shop or from a certain large mm -hmm. company beginning with P, mm -hmm. cost a lot of money. Yeah. 
Um, so I'll show you quickly what the PU squares look like. They are one and one quarter inch square. Right. And I've already, this is the first use of the, the washable tape. tapes. And I've put some on, put some on opposite edges. Just fold over the ends. So you'd have to, because PU doesn't fray, you'd that's have to finish the, the that's end. That's the thing. And ah. it stays raw and it won't, and it won't come off. Yeah. And it looks really nice. And like I say, because it's nylon, you've no fear of sewing over it. So you it. just stitch through it? You just you? stitch through it mm -hmm. with um, stitch length four. Okay. And it's really, really easy. And then you'll be left with this. So now, okay. I hope, I hope that's dispelled some of your fears with zip Absolutely. pulls and zips. I do hope so. But if not, give me a shout. Oh, no, I would happily buy a zip on a, a reel now because I always buy oh, yeah, pre-cut yeah, yeah. zips. I it. always buy the pre-cut yeah. zips that yeah. have it already attached, and I always see lovely zipper um, ends. Yeah, and I think, oh, they're great, but the I, need skulls, to do that. I don't know how to skulls, do that. I'm not going to do so it. There's so many shapes oh. that you can get. Yeah. yeah. Right, so we've made the zip to the right length now. Yes, we've made the zip to the right length. We've trimmed the zip with putting zip ends on it. Right. I've got the bag lining here. Right. Cut to shape. There's, there's um, cutouts for. Oh, hang on, we can't see it. Just put it towards you. There's cutouts for oh, there go, there go, um, making a square bottom there, all in the instructions. Yes. I am speeding through this. This is all in the pattern, but I wanted to get on with inserting the, the zip. zip. Yeah. So I'm going to take. Um, let me first talk a bit about the bag front. So the handles are PU. Right. Very, very easy. So the measurements to cut the straps are in the pattern. It's a simple fourfold. Right. And in the middle, there's um, some interfacing. And you can do fourfold to PU then. It's fine. You absolutely yeah. can. Yeah. yeah. And it's just stitched together with um, four stitch length. Uh -huh. And uh, they're really comfortable, yeah. really strong, very easy to sew through. So as you know, we, Jen's made two panels. Yeah. The front panel is actually a pocket. The back panel is decorative. Oh, I didn't even notice that If that, that makes bit. sense. Yeah. But so, oh yeah, so it's the bit that goes underneath yeah. the, the flap. Here it is, like, yeah, on this so one. The, 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 the oh, hang on a sec. The front go, pocket yeah. is easy peasy. So lining, front yeah. panel, sewn as a tube, turned right side out. Yeah. And the top stitching that I've done on the top and the bottom of the panel. I've done it to echo Jenny's lovely quilting. Right. Again, that's in the instructions. Mm -hmm. I want to show you what's going on underneath. So bag lining. The lining of the flap yes, is well actually pointed. needs well. to be there's not enough on the lining fabric. So you can use the, the pretty fabric, fabric, the feature fabric for the flap oh, lining. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Because well done, it Jen. um well, it will look really nice actually when you lift it open. No, but yeah. there's plenty of line no. of, uh, of the, feature the, 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 fabric to use, but not enough lining fabric. I didn't realise right. until it's too late. Okay, so no, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So, yeah. what did you? Oh, you just used a piece of lining yeah. from the yeah. old the bag. The yeah, other I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the flap's pretty straightforward. You've got the template for it. You've got the cutting instructions for it. You're going to ins insert a, a snap, and the handles are stitched underneath underneath the flap. So the when you make the handles, you don't need to worry about folding over the ends because that's a nightmare and bulky. You just leave the handle ends raw. Uh huh. Stitch. This one, can, can I interrupt? Yep. This one's got the rose underneath there. Yeah, because she had some spare. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Her no, her no, no, yeah. Yeah. no, it's just, just, just what I had left. Yeah, sorry. So the handle, the handle ends are concealed by the flap. The flap's stitched on with two lines of stitching. Uh -huh. One is actually there and the other one there. It's quite straightforward. Uh -huh. And then. And then you add your your um, your pocket that you've made over the top. You can stitch that in if you want to, but I'm just happy to leave clips in. Uh -huh. And that is the front dealt with. Your whole bag, right? Um, and then the back, it involves Jenny's panel and a top cut bit. Cut to the right size, obviously. Cut, yes, cut to the right size. I'm not going to add the bottom panel because I want to save time and get on with the zip. Yeah, that's fine. So it basically, when it's finished, the back looks like this, but with handles sticking out. So I will show you where the handles go. So this is the back bag handle, and it basically goes there. Now, I, it needs to be five, centim five inches apart. Yeah. I'm not going to measure because I just want to get on and... I just need to stress the picture on the website is wrong. Everything you're seeing is what you're seeing in the demo here to make this. The website picture apparently is wrong. We will get it changed eventually. Do you Barry the book bar will be in at yeah, some point during really the week. Yeah, that would be really handy, thanks, yeah. Fiona says, lovely to see the three musketeers together again, <laughs> really cheering me up. 
Kay says, what a beautiful bag. Oh, thanks, Kay. Half the stock's gone. Half the stock's gone. The zip is absolutely flying out. I'm, not, I'm not surprised. Yeah. I, I, I knew it. I knew it like, you know. Yeah. Like, that's why I bought so much of it. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know she it. Knows it. She, she knows it. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Auditioning for EastEnders at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> the Brighton version. Well, since It'll be slightly I different, wouldn't since it? Since I don't have you handbag yeah. anymore, you know. Yeah, you'll have to get a proper take job work. now. I'll take it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not doing panto this year. <laughs> what could I be? Wow. Suggestions on a postcard. What would I be in a panto show? Oh, I don't think that'd be one the fairy, oh. surely. <laughs> Or the, good, or the good witch. Something in Aladdin. Yeah. Who? Yeah. What's she saying down there? Something in Aladdin. Something in something Aladdin. Something in Aladdin. Yeah, yeah, I'll do something yeah. in Aladdin. Okay. We'd have to um, fly you in, though. We'd have to be on a wire and fly you in. <laughs> you can see that game. Can you imagine? All, no, with all a sorts. Martin, Peter all Pan. You can play Peter all Pan. All sorts of wrong. Oh, she's, she's only little, though. She'll be Tinkerbell. Yeah. Can you when we did Peter Pan at Colchester Mercury Theatre, the first like two Aww. weeks, he just they kept flying him into the wall. He said, <laughs> you know, like he'd say his words and go to fly out the window, and he goes smack <laughs> into the wall like that. Isn't that half the fun though? Oh know? yes, totally. yeah, and everyone, he didn't think everyone he was like expects that. that. So as you sew over the handles, make sure that the handle ends are completely at ninety degrees. You don't want to stitch them in one. Yeah, oh yes. Do you double stitch over your handles? Do you no, go back? No, because Is it because it's. Because it's PU, but the when you top stitch, you are stitching in another row. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm with you. Because yeah, no, I know what you're saying. Yeah. You, you would you would want more strength, but it does get more strength when you top stitch them in. Uh, Christine, at least you just mentioned about the handles. It's just your fourfold. You get the yeah. wide fabric. You fold it in, fold it round, and top stitch it. You down. put some interfacing in the middle, which is half, which is two inches wide. Yeah. So the the, the strap fabric's four inches wide but you put a um, strip of two inch wide Damn. interfacing in the middle. And it's all right to iron that onto the back of PU? Absolutely, yeah. When, it, when it's medium weight, use, use two dot or two and a half dot and you'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, so that's your, that's your handles stitched in. Yeah. And uh, where have I, where have, if you look on the back, John, where oh. what seam have I top stitched on on the back there? Which one? Did I top stitch on the um, quilt? Yes, I have. Yeah. I can see I have. Yeah. You top stitched on the PU at the bottom. Yeah. And on the so um, I've, yeah, I've echoed on the top. so I've echoed Jenny's top stitching in for that. I'm not yeah. going to do that now. No, okay, that's fine. Because I want to take my time on. on the zip. Okay. Okay, so let's pretend that that's all beautifully top stitched, and that is top stitched on there as well. And then at that point, the back of the bag is made. Right. So now it's So you make a front of the bag, which looks like that, but with the pocket. Yes. And the back of the bag is like that, with just a piece, with the handles going into exactly. the piece. So there's two yeah. separate, completely separate back and front of Absolutely. bag at this point. Absolutely. Right. So yeah, yeah. It's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. And then when, and then you're, then then the back of the, the outer bag is pretty much made. Right. So now... If any one of you have made, um, if you've ever made a zip pouch before, I was saying to John earlier, this is basically a big zip pouch. But it's super, super easy because I've designed the zip to be extra short so that you're never going to sew through the zip. After stitching it to the fabric, when you're putting the bag together, there's no bulkiness, there's no which way should the zip bend, there's none of that. I've eliminated that by making the zip short. Okay. Now, I've got a question. If yes. that's definitely the front of your bag, yep. should the zip pull start at that end or that end? Does Convention, it, it starts by... So let's say you've got your, your the front pocket facing away. The zip pull starts... At, so if this is my bag yeah, here, that, you, that, you'd, that, al yeah. you'd always start the zip pull yeah, that side. Yeah, because that's it? how... When, whenever you buy bags in shops, that how it is, that's how it seems to be. And is that for... A re I, I think, I, I, something I, to do with left-handed, right-handed yeah. people. Yeah, I, anyway. I, I'm assuming that that would suit more right-handed yeah. people. It's not right or wrong. You know, let, you it, let us know, prefer. obviously. But yeah, I was just going to ask. So do right-handed people wear it on their left shoulder? No, what do you wear? Well, I'm left-handed. I wear it on my right shoulder. No, Haley's right-handed. She wears it on her right shoulder. Where do you wear a, sh a shoulder bag? I'm, I, yeah, I always put it on my right. Oh, you there right again, the only yeah. thing I yeah. do. Yeah, and then and then I like to do that. Yeah. Yeah, Close rather it. than yeah. rather than that. Do you know okay. what? I'm left-handed, but the only thing I do with my left hand is pretty much right. Is I what? Is right. I don't. Oh, right. I don't. I use scissors That's with stitch. my. I do scissors with my right hand. Oh, do you? But yeah, but hand sew with my left, don't I? Yeah. Okay, so we've got the zip right. ready. So we've got our lovely zip zip ready. Just moving it along. 
and um, I've marked the centre with some chalk here and it's a good idea to do it on the other side as well but I haven't so right and wrong side mark the centre yeah then get your washable tape Kay. and then put your apply your washable tape all along the top edge and take your time to ensure that the top edge of the tape matches the top edge of the zip um, you're getting 20 yards of that on your tape for 8 dollars yeah. that's a really good yeah, price. Absolutely. Uh, um, Christine says, does the PU not melt when you press the uh, um, no. interfacing onto it? No, it doesn't. I mean, it makes sense to keep the iron moving all of the time. Yeah. You don't want to be And also, you're not pressing it onto the PU, the, yeah, the PU the side, bow. you're pressing onto the polyester side, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. Sharon says, thank you, John, Jenny, Lisa. You've put a smile on my face after oh, a very nah. sad weekend. Oh, well, really you're all right, Sharon. Um, Helen's left-handed. She wears bags on her right shoulder. Mm. Oh, okay. And then Sue says, how sad am I? I'm actually, ca I'm actually mentally casting you in all in panto right now. <laughs> we need to know what you what you. Oh, gosh. Practice. We want to know. We want to know. <laughs> know Memory like I can't be. sing. That would be Yeah, fun. I can't sing either. Poor Lisa has to listen to it in the car, though. <laughs> we can dance. We can all dance. Oh, yeah. Right, okay. Right, so you so put your tape on both, on one side of the Just zip. one side for yeah. now. Um, actually, it makes, you could, you could also put oh. it on the other side. So when you put tape on the other side, Turn it around and put it on the same edge, but the other side of the edge that you've oh. just applied tape okay. to. Oh, it's on so the it's wrong So both right. on, on the same yeah. side as it, yes. back and front. Yes. Do you know, it took me ages to find the words to write that in the pattern. What, back and front? Yeah. But <laughs> well, it should have just said Wrong back side, back right side. <laughs> wrong side, right side. Wrong side, right side. Wrong side, right side, but the same you. side that you've just put the tape on. Yeah. <laughs> just take a picture. Yeah. I did, I did. Look at the picture. <laughs> Lorraine says, morning all. Lorraine, it's only just morning. It's quarter to 12. Ah, oh, nice little lion. That's what you want. That's oh. what you want. Right, oh, okay. So I don't do those anymore. Even on my I don't know. I, I, only, have, I, I, I only have Sundays that I, I don't I, have to set alarm for, apart from today when it was set at... I, I can't have lions. It was set at Saturday today. So, no, it was set this morning. It's, no, it's, no, it's, I'm being tough. It's, I was like, no, I got really confused then. I was like, it's Saturday. <laughs> I've, um, I've taken the tape off. Uh, yeah. the backing off on the right side and I've met I've found the center or the top edge of the front of my bag and I'm going to match center point of zip to center point of top edge of bag yeah and then press the bond carefully matching the edges see like when you're using zips clips are fine but y you know the zips um, the, the tape you can sew through it doesn't gum up your needle yeah. it's got plenty of holes I, I, I don't, you know, I don't use, I don't ever use pins or clips when I'm zip making. Loads of bag makers just use the tape instead. Yeah. And then once you've, once you've, see, there's, there's big old gaps either side. Yeah. That is deliberate. That's absolutely fine. Good. Once you've, um, once you've bonded the zip to the front, take off the tape, get a lining piece. And, and they're both, are they both the same, the lining pieces? You don't need to yes, worry about back and Yes, all the same measurements. Yeah. yeah, we didn't bother with the pocket inside because there's a massive pocket on yeah. the yeah. outside, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it makes it easier for everyone. Absolutely. And what have you, you got have stuck to, yeah. to your lining? Is that H640? It is, yeah. Okay. With, this, with, the seam, with the seam allowance cut, cut away. away. Also including the seam allowance of the box cutouts. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, um, so we're just bonding these. So I've made a zip sandwich. And I've even written exactly how that zip sandwich is formed in the pattern. Geraldine says, can you be serious now, Lisa? I'm watching this bit intently. <laughs> <laughs> now you've asked me to be serious, I won't be able to do it, Geraldine. <laughs> I'm watching you it really know, intently. You know me, you know me. As soon as I try, I'll mess up. Yeah. And then John, John will be on it, he'll pounce. No, no, you no. keep going. <laughs> now, now that the um, zip is sandwiched in, in the, between the lining and the um, outer fabric, stitch it in with a quarter of a seam and because it's PU we're still sticking to our three and a half stitch length. and do we need the zipper foot no okay no no you don't and uh, and at home I at home I would still be using my walking foot All right okay but no you don't so did you say you're stitching this in with quarter of an inch quarter of an inch seam yeah when you're stitching on ah. the zip and I've written in the pattern that um, you're going to be stitching in with a quarter of inch and as you as you go over the zip pulls it's going to um, you know like the PU bit 
tab. Yeah, yeah. It'll feel slightly bulky, but honestly, the machine will sell through it. Okay. Is you, the PU interface, says Helen? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But with a um, centimetre seam allowance yeah. trimmed. And right. that's the iron-on interfacing, not, not H640. Yeah. No. Never seen us so, so slowly. <laughs> So would you definitely need a zipper foot if the tape was thinner? Or tape either side of it? Would you need you would need mm. would you need a zipper foot then? Do you know what? I've I've sewn so many bags and I've never used a zipper foot, so I'm gonna say no to that. Okay. Unless I'm doing something. <laughs> Next Hayley time says, I'm not gonna use my zipper foot and see how it goes. Hell yeah, go. Amy says I don't need to be anymore, so you've taken over the role of presenter. <laughs> Love it, love it. We do you know what? Well. I'm constantly because I never actually see her do this bit because I usually drop my stuff off. We'll have a meeting and, and do other things, but uh, when you're right, coming okay. to finishing it, you'll do that in your own time. Yeah. Yes. Um, but you guys both ask the right questions. So I'm always interested. I find it fascinating. <laughs> so I needed to stop because the zip pull gets in the way. So yeah. you stop and then just move the zip pull away so it doesn't get in the way. But honestly, as I've said, anyone who's a little bit nervous of bag making because they've heard that layers are horrible, yeah. you're not going to encounter any horrible layers in this. Okay. Okay, so again, not adding securing stitches because it's PU. The next step is to flip everything over to the right side. And then taking a bit more time, then I'm going to neaten up get a seam roller in there yeah so basically your zip your zipper is going to be standing proud from the lining right and the front and I'm going to top stitch along the PU, the, the PU seam okay. with stitch length four and then the next step would be to repeat with the other with the other outer and um, lining layers Gerardine I was just thinking the same thing we had a close-up of you sewing there and your ring sparkled <laughs> as it went along. I do, I do love it. Have I you had it in a glass of gin recently? <laughs> That's how my mum used to clean her diamonds. Oh, so she, she'd take them all I off. Love I don't that. know if it's the right way to do it. She'd drop them all in a glass of gin. Yeah, but then she'd take them out. The gin would all have little bits in it. She can't waste it. Oh. it. <laughs> I've got plenty of gin at home. Economical. Oh, thank you. It's all right. Sometimes I just use a bit of toothpaste, you know. Well, I'm, I'm just putting yeah. this out here. I'm yeah. yet to get a diamond. Come <laughs> on, Ebu. But then again, do you want to, you know, make oh, it permanent? <laughs> do you want to make it permanent, though? Well, that's Lisa. not the place or the time to discuss <laughs> it. Carry on with the zip now, please. Sorry, sorry. Also, sorry. He's, got, he's, got, he's, got, he's got to finish college and get a full-time job. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, no, not Dylan. You're no, well, yeah, he is. He just <laughs> looks very young. He's only two years younger oh, than me. Is he? he just I looks about ten years younger. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to top stitch this, and then um, one in one eighth of um, an inch away from the top edge. Use a nice the, big stitch. Yeah. Yeah. Stitch length four again. That's mentioned in the pattern mm -hmm. and then you would insert the zip into the other out, um, outer and PU layers got stop so that you can move the zip head there we go mm -hmm. I'm not going to do that because we are running out of time. Yeah. But the process for um, adding the back and the other is exactly the same. It's just okay. you're turning everything around. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing to do is to, when you're constructing the bag, let's pretend that that's attached. Yeah, so you basically make yeah. it so that it's all one big piece with a zip across the yeah. middle. And then, yeah. You're, you're literally making a big cosmetics pouch. Yeah. So you would bring these two layers together. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, again, match match your side seams for a professional finish. Uh -huh. And then you're going to sew all around, leaving a turning gap in the lining of say six inches. Uh huh. Sew all around. Don't stitch in the cutouts because you're going to box your bottom. Right. So sew all around, box your bottom, and when you're stitching over the side seams, as I said before, it's not bulky at all, and you don't need to worry about the zip because 
you don't sew through the zipper yeah, okay. here. Okay, so how do those little bits there finish themselves off? I'm confused now. So when you've got it like you have now, yeah. and you sew down, 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 round. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, th that bit there. I it's already finished. It is, it's already finished because it's been top stitched. Because no, not that bit there. There's a, yeah, Look, so that this, bit in there, the little gap bit hole here. there. I know what, you, I know what John so beyond, is saying. So beyond the tab that you've got yeah. there, there's know, another I little bit there. I know what John there. is saying, but this is top stitched already. Right, okay, got it. I must have missed that bit, sorry. It's, um, uh, no, no, I know, you must think, because usually when people sew um, cosmetic pouches or such. You go across your zip. You, you go across, across your zip, zip and yeah. you're worrying about, oh, should the zip be bending But yes, so because when you've turned it over, yeah. you've top stitched across. So that seam is actually finished. Yes. And then that raw bit at the end is going Gets into. tucked in. But seam. you know, it just looks bulky and I don't. Oh, no, no, I, I understand. Like I was just worried it. that, that we'd pa people would panic that that bit no, was then going to be left no. raw. When you turn it around, it's nice and smooth. And it closes on itself nice and it's so much easier yeah. than dealing with stitching over a zip. The thing is to do is just to avoid stitching yeah, exactly, over the exactly. zip. Exactly. So you've gone all the way around the outside, yes, left the turning bit in the bottom of the lining. Yes, that's right, which is here. Yeah. And then you're um you're before before you before you stitch the gap in, you're yeah. gonna box your So before you turn it through. Yeah, you're going to box your bottom yeah. corners, which I assume lots of you have seen before and yeah. then you're going to do the same there yeah and then you're going to turn the everything thing everything through. through stitch the gap and then boom you're done brilliant plan you finished on time <laughs> Yay! I think that might be a first <laughs> okay let me just do the bundles because if you've got any quick questions you want to get to the ladies then you've got like three minutes to do it i'll do the bundles while we before they leave start packing your stuff up no. Say, What's we're, the on, we're on the So Crazy um, Facebook group and if anyone's got any questions or didn't hear what we said, please just pop us a message in So Crazy Girls Facebook group and we'll yeah. attend to them. Brilliant. Yeah. Fantastic. Lisa does the... Oh no, not listening to a question, this is a statement. Lisa does the best bag making instructions. Aww. I've tried other people's but no one else's gets close to you. Oh that's Aww. so that's kind. Kelly. Kelly. Thank you very much. Oh, that's a lovely thing. Right, bundle, 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 bundle of everything. Oh, here we go. So in this bundle, you, for $44.99, you get the instructions with the added page. You get the lovely zip, you get the two zip pulls. Now remember, of this zip, there's enough to make two bags. So you can make another bag if you've got other fabric at home to do it with. You get the um, double-sided washable away quilters tape. You get the... Now, if you never, ever make another bag ever again or put with a zip in it, put this in your kitchen, have it next to your sink to put your tea towel in. Um, anyway, so you get all of that, all of that. You get your two fat quarters of fabric, of which there is loads. Isn't that, Jen? There's loads of that left over. Use the, one of them to use as your flap um inside of your flap then you get the lovely rose lining there and you get your pu all of that for 44.99 all you need is some iron-on interfacing and some h640 to go with oh right okay i've got less than five left hang on a moment talk about stop talk to me yeah 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 there you go there's less than five left once you've all checked out so please be careful that means there's four left less than five Righty home. Then I've got now, if you've got your own fabrics, oh, something's just sold out. Hang on a minute. You can't buy that one on its own. That's sold out. A pattern on its own, 10 left. That's it. 10 patterns left. It's been a brilliant, it's been brilliant, hasn't it, Thank today? Thank you so much. We yeah. really appreciate it. 9 99 Now, I know this is flown out, but we've got some of these left. Not many. <laughs> But we did buy them. They're not careful, I'll buy them back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, well, they're $14.99. <laughs> <laughs> to you, $7.99. We, we were friends. Yeah, yeah, business. No <laughs> sentiments business in business. First. Yeah. business first. Right, so the zip and the two zip pulls. You see, you know and I know that shouldn't be $7.99. Mm -hmm. There's only six left. Oh, there you go, they're going to sell out. They're going to sell out, so I can't, I can't, this is I can't no send you back. No, what about the washer tape? Has that sold out? Washer tape, very quick. I keep calling it washer tape. Double-sided quilting, quilting washable away tape. That's right. Eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine. Right. While you check out odds. on that, what date do you say you're in? Doing in the eighteenth of November. Eighteenth of November, and you're doing two EPP projects. I am. Okay. Indeed. Yeah. Oh yes. Question. I know. I wasn't going to say that, right? 
Um, yeah, okay, so normally I'd say, if you go to this shop, you will pay this much. If you come here, you'll buy 10 metres for 7 99 normally. Um, see, uh, I knew this. Brandy. I, I did Brandy. my homework, yeah, yeah. I, I knew, I knew. You didn't make Sick Mabel measured. No, but no. <laughs> 20 metres. No, I, I know, I got, I got the factory to cut, cut oh, them like okay, that no. and bag okay. them up for me. Yeah, yeah, no, there was too many for, yeah. Uh, okay, I've got to say thank you very much indeed, ladies. Oh, it's been, been a pleasure. Lovely We've had a great you. time. Yes. Uh, don't leave it so long because it was June you were here last yeah, time. Yeah, I know. I it know. was. It's because of the summer holidays with the kids and stuff. Yeah. We took and a bit of a. Children. Yeah. <laughs> we he, took a break. He's from offering, he's offering oh, babysitting services. Oh, you want to babysit? Yeah. No. So we can so, work more. No, you sounded no, quite no, sad about that, John. Anyway, they're going, they're leaving the building now. Don't go anywhere because we are making this lovely Christmas wall hanging in the next uh, next thing. And we've got some lovely Tana Lawn Christmas five inch and two and a half inch squares. Thank you again, ladies. Thank I'll you. see you in four minutes from now. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our program guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. I just have to apologize. At the end, basically, Facebook is about 
17 seconds behind. So when we finish a show, you then send messages and it only comes through now sort of thing. So Kay says, would it be easy to add per, uh, purse feet to it? Do you mean the little stud bottoms? Um, I would imagine so because it's a box bottom, isn't it? So I'm sure you'd be able to do that. And Geraldine says, I just want to say how much I enjoyed watching today. <clears throat> Learned a lot between the giggles. Got to go out now. Right, okay. This is gorgeous, isn't it? Are you all right? Uh, there you go. There you go. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, you see, I'd make this and I'd put a candle. I'd have a candle standing in the middle. Of, you know, one of the big church candles just standing there in the middle of that. Aren't they just adorable? They're completely gorgeous. Love it. Holly leaves, little berries. That bow is, I always, I'm always amazed that you can, when you just put like, rat, not the rat, not random shapes, are they? But look how that bow looks completely and utterly highlighted and 3D. But it's actually, you know, kind of a weird shaped fabric and a weird shaped fabric with a bit of a gap in it. Here you go. This is it. This is it. This is it. So you get 29.99. In there, you get, in fact, I'm going to open one. I'm going to open this one here. In there, you get all of this fabric, because you've got to find the opening of the bag first. It's called the Holly Wreath Mini Quilt, 18 and a half inches square. Now, there's nothing to say that you couldn't make it into a lovely Christmas cushion, could you? Oh, there you go. I've even read the instructions. The instructions say how to turn it into a cushion as well, because I, I'm more likely, unless I use it as a candle, on a table somewhere. I'm not likely to put it on the wall, but I am likely to put it on a chair, you know, with a cushion or anything like that. Right, so in, in the packet, you get this. Blimey, that's a thick instructions book. <laughs> this. It's, that's actually mainly templates. I was going to say, it will be the <laughs> templates, won't yeah. it? This is what I love about, because when we did the, um, was it the Bluebird of Happiness? What was the round one? Oh yeah, the Bluebird. Which I loved, right? The, the instructions on their own just got me excited because it was all templates and drawings yeah. and things like that. Right, yeah. hang on, let's see They're if I They're all full-size templates, so there's no... Getting the right order. Faffing okay. around with copying. No, exactly. So here we go. So here's all the instructions, written instructions. Here's all your... Te there's your layout drawing. Oh, sorry, there's your layout drawing. Here's all of your templates, look. And look, and they're 100% to scale, Right? So you don't need, you don't, oh, look, now look, 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 they've done it again, you see. So you cut all of those out of that fabric, right? You cut all of those out of that fabric. Tells you there, just see, look. You, but you do all of those out of that fabric. Oh, this is fantastic, isn't it? All of those out of that one. And then this one will be the dark red. Then those go out of that one. What's those up there then? That, the whole page, that's the red ones. I don't know why there's a little line, dotty line. Must be, mustn't it? Oh no, here you go. Oh, join both halves to together, join. overlapping the top piece. So you, oh yeah, so that goes with that. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Okay, uh, half the stock's gone already. Half, we haven't even started. I love it, I'm not surprised, it's beautiful. I know, it's, it's I, a lovely one. I have to say, I was expecting, I was expecting 49.99. That's my own personal honest opinion. I thought with all the Liberty fabric and the instructions, all the templates, but anyway, 29.99, how gorgeous. So those are those. And then this is your layout drawing. So you cut it out and you stick them together to create a life size. Oh, we've got like one this. audio. My, my glamorous assistant over there has <laughs> already got one cut out and it's made It's upside that. down, it's upside down. That's why there's so much paper in here. So you've got all yeah. the templates, a layout plan, and a full size layout plan yeah. as well. Nice oh, I haven't, done not, I haven't finished with the fabric yet. The beautiful. Now, these, all the fabrics I've shown you here so far are all Tana Lawns. The, this one again, like the, like the quilt, that's your quilting weight, beautiful, beautiful. Soft, gorgeous, 100% cotton, that bit there. So you get all of that, all of that, all of that. I've made the right mess of opening all that, haven't I? Don't and worry. you can make. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, I've opened yours, not mine. That's fine, I know. <laughs> and you can make this with it, right? Uh, no, no, it will be one of those things that goes up into the attic, and then every year you bring it down and think, oh, I've forgotten how beautiful that is. It's lovely, isn't it? I, it's just. So now, will, will um, Alice Caroline have drawn this? Is that her? Did you, her, her and her design team will have drawn this one? Well, yeah. Uh, uh, actually, a, a lovely lady called Laura designed this one. Oh, Laura. Okay. <coughs> I, I, I didn't mean, did it, was it just, but somebody yeah. within the team has sat and drawn <coughs> this. Excuse and, me. Yeah, yeah, Laura designed this and she, yeah, she sat and drew it. <laughs> Laura, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's we lovely, love it. it. And everyone at home is really loving it. 
I think it's fantastic. I love it, love it, love it. Lovely over the fire. No, and the trouble is, she takes her samples home with her afterwards. You see, I can normally sit there <laughs> thinking, well, oh, one day this will this will end up at my house. This will never end up at my house. You could have the half made one. <laughs> uh, oh, well, I've got to finish it off myself. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Twenty. Oh, uh, Haley, I have it. Twenty nine ninety nine. Right now, um, before we do the demonstration, do you mind if I just introduce these um five and uh, five no. inch and two and a half inch squares because we've not had these before. These are Christmas ones. You know how we always do these. We always do the five inch and the two and a half inch squares of Tarn Lawn, right? Now, Louise, Louise, hang on, Louise made these Christmas cards. Now, we don't have the Christmas card packs or anything. I just want you to see what you could do with them as inspiration to use the, aren't they? Or oh, do you want me to turn them on the side like that? There you go. How cute is Mr. Robin? Oh, did she make your poppy? Yes, yeah, she made my poppy. I, I, be, I was looking at your poppy earlier. She texted she... me saying, oh, we haven't mentioned my poppy. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, because I looked at it earlier thinking, oh, my word, where should Louise I... Louise made the poppy. Yeah, I cannot take any credit for the poppy. No, I was looking at it earlier thinking, I must find out where you got that from, because I've got my lovely crocheted knitted ones that my ladies have made for me and everything, but that's beautiful. But then I just saw the Robin fabric. Yes. Again, out of a little charm. Beautiful. Right, sorry, let me... I'm getting carried away again. Come on, come on, come on, John. Okay, two and a half inch squares, right? So in here, you get 36... Two and I love that fabric there. What's that? Can you remember what that one's called? Oh, what? Oh, no, no, don't worry, don't worry. I, I do I this need to Louise all to the text time. In. That's, that is, that'll be a seasonal, I think, because I don't, I, I know pretty much all of the classics. Okay, I love that. It's I nice, isn't it? Because it doesn't, it doesn't say Christmas to me. No, but put that together one. with all of the Oh, no, 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 no. But what I'm saying is, I'd like a few meters of that and make a shirt out of it or something Ooh, like that. Oh, yeah, it would look great in a shirt. Beautiful, wouldn't I'm it? I'm not going to offer a hate collar. No, 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 don't mind. <laughs> um, oh, but look, hang on. Nine different fabrics, four pieces of each fabric, 36 squares in total, perfect patchwork. Just sew them all together. You can make that cushion. And you can make that cushion. Yeah. You need a backing, but it's enough yeah, to make Yeah, 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 but we've all got a, a stash of fabric, haven't we? Or, or cards, or applique cards like that. Aren't they beautiful? Now, do you want me to open them or not? <laughs> That's you, Hayley. I'm asking you the question. Again, I'm going to make a right. I love that. Anyway, so look, you've got two and a half inch grades. Now, you see, the thing is, doesn't necessarily scream crisp. Oh! There, isn't that? Uh, Wil uh, oh Wiltshire, yeah. yeah. I thought it was. <clears throat> In quite an autumnal colour. Yeah, but the colours are brilliant, aren't they? So it's Christmassy without being. Oh! Mm. Without being Christmas, isn't it? Yeah, so it's nine fabrics They're repeated. Oh, there you go. There's Holly. There's Holly in there. Nine fabrics. Yeah, I said that, didn't I? Nine different fabrics, four pieces of each fabric, 36 in total. Oh, love it, love it, love it. At 9 99 people multiplying these. Now, the thing is, what I love about this is I know certain people are still shielding. What a lovely present, because you could put it inside a card and send it, couldn't yeah. you, sort of thing? Gorgeous. Lovely. Anyway, that's a two and a half inch square there, 9 99 Lovely. Look at them. I think they're beautiful. Oh, sorry. Is that Cosmos, that one? Mm, I try one? and the, this the one. No, that's Betsy. Oh, that's Betsy, is that's it? The, the Cosmos Betsy. It's got, like, Cosmos flowers in it. It does look... It? Yeah, well, I think... Uh, is Cosmos a quilting cotton that is uh, based on Betsy? Maybe? Oh, might be, might be, <clears throat> might be, yeah, because I know most of the... You know the quilting, quilting fabrics rather than Tarn Lords. Right. You know when I did, seven, I've said this every time, when I did Seven Brothers, Seven Brothers, yeah. which was at York and then went on an international tour, all their dresses were made out of Liberty fabric. Were they? Yeah. Anyway, this, look at these colours in here. These are five inch squares in this one. You get 20 different prints in this one. No, that's the wrong graphic, sorry. These, so you get five, they're five inch, you get 20 different fabrics, there's no repeat, Fourteen ninety nine. That's good, isn't it? Again, you can make a big cushion, or you can make lovely cards. There's no pattern or anything in there, that's just your thing, but aren't they lovely? EPP, you could do it with EPP. <clears throat> you could use these. Why don't you use these to do that middle section of the last bag? You know what I mean? That'd, that'd be Ooh, lovely, Chris, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it would be, be nice. Anyway. Fourteen ninety nine for twenty different prints in there. Now I have got other, I have got other ones, but I'll come to those later. I just want you to see the Christmassy ones first because they're new. Oh, hang on. <clears throat> okay, th this, this, what this is, this is right. This is now the best seller of the whole day. 
Is it nearly sold out? Oh gosh. Hey, how <laughs> many we've got left? Started. She's just checking for that. She, yeah, Kaylee forgets she doesn't normally produce. When I ask a question, she's waiting for somebody else to answer. Oh, now just be careful. Please be careful. Make sure you keep checking out your baskets. Yeah, they're going to go. They're going to go. More than half have gone already. More than half have checked out already. Now, people are buying multiples. Do you think they're going to do cushions or they're going to do them as gifts? Oh, a bit of both, maybe. Yeah. Placemats, the poshest placemats ever. Can't get gravy on that, though. Hmm? <laughs> get, oh, scrub your gravy out. Oh, you? no, no, no. <clears throat> I don't put gravy on them. Well, no, no, you'd put them on the table. <clears throat> then when you sat down to serve up the dinner, you'd roll all of those up, yeah. <laughs> so it's only when people arrive with the posh cracker and everything like that. And then you go, excuse me, I just need that back. Right, let's do some stitching then. Right, so as you've <coughs> gone through the pattern, you get all of the pattern yep. pieces full size. And so you need to stick, is this the right? Right, yes. So yeah, you yeah, need you to stick them together you, yeah, and yeah. then that creates your pattern. So I just right. thought I'd show that just so no, you no, can that's see how it... because you don't see it in the pattern. Yeah, or you just need a bit of sellotape and, and just to, you know, cut in the right places. And that's, yeah. that's really simple. So that's literally just your... your your layout plan. That's your layout plan. The thing is, well, sorry, I'm interrupting again. But no, it's fine. The thing fine. is, right, what, once you've got the kit and you make it, like if, so if you next year you decide to do a gold and black and gold Christmas, yeah. you've got all the templates, Absolutely. you've got the lay, you've got everything you need to then remake it in a different colourway. You have, you? as long as you keep them all carefully in a little envelope. Well, there's a lot do. of tiny pieces oh, on this. Yeah. Yes, all these are. little berries, but also you could photocopy them. Don't be saying that. Oh, sorry. You could though. Well, you, you could. It's yours. Yeah. To do. It's Once yours. you bought it, it's I yours. I mean, then do don't go and sell it on. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Do not sell the pattern no. on. No, exactly. So, right. so where are you then with this? So, I wanted just to I wanted to show you the complete thing. So, it, and it what you need to do first is to draw your your layout on to here. So you would ignore my quilt sandwich slightly. Okay. So if say I'm opening mine, right? So you yeah. give me you give me your you give, oh no I'll give you the fabric. I'll give you the fabric. Okay. So you lay this out, where you cut it to the right size, obviously, yeah. and you lay it out onto light box, it. Light box, nice big light box. You need light a light source. Actually, you can see it pretty well. Yeah, you can let's see. Have a look, Jesse. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and um, you can use a light source. You can pin it onto a window or a, have a big light box, whichever yeah, you prefer yeah, to yeah. working on. And then we've used this friction, uh, friction pen. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't know if people are familiar with it. Yeah, yeah, we sell friction pens. Yeah, well, these are great for this project yeah. because you can use water-soluble ones as well. Um, but obviously then you've got to damp that yeah, down yeah, to get rid of the sand. These are brilliant because you design it. And then, and then The only gone. thing you have to be careful of with your friction pen is don't draw the whole picture and then think, oh, that bit needs pressing there because you're going to lose all well, your... Well, you do do that on this, but you can stick it back in the freezer all right, and then. it comes back. Yeah, all right. So if you get it cold again, it, it, the, the, whole, the whole pattern will come oh, back. Okay, all right. Then. So that's that. That's mine, thank you. That's your, oh, yes, sorry. That's well, yours. it's not it's actually yours, but thank you. <laughs> So we've drawn that onto this, and this has been in the, <coughs> this has been in the freezer several times because you build your layers up, right? And so you can see we've drawn it all on, and I've already put a few pieces on there because you do it in you do it in several stages. Right. So you you would put the, this first layer of holly leaves on, and then a pelique around the edge, which I've already done, uh, and then we're gonna I'm gonna put the bow on today. Do you tell us which order to do it in yes. the instructions? Yes. If they're all numbered, you can see they're all numbered on my oh, piece course. here. Can you see the? Yeah. So this is 53 and 55. Yeah, if you slide it to your right a time. There you go, perfect. This way. Okay. Uh, so and they're all and they're all numbered on this yeah, yeah, piece yeah, yeah, as yeah. well. <clears throat> so you know, as you as you rightly said, you can yeah. got your piece of fabric and then you literally cut them out. Cut them the out. So I'm just gonna. So you need some bond web. Right, yo. Wait, do we put bond web in, Haley? I'm going to show you here. It's been on every day this week. The roll, I think. And then I've cut my bond web slightly smaller so that I don't uh, get bond web on your ironing mat. It's got everything else on it. <laughs> and then so we're just going to iron that onto the wrong side of the fabric. All right. Also, with some of these Liberty fabrics, sometimes it's a bit difficult to tell, isn't it? The difference between the right side and the wrong side because the pureness of colour. <laughs> no, don't worry, I would have shouted. But you know, the strength of colour sometimes is on both sides, isn't it? You're absolutely right. So you just some of them are incredibly difficult to tell, and it's it's to do with the quality of the fabric. It's but you you can see that is the wrong side on this one. But yep. it's but your uh, let me see if I can find. While you're doing that, I'll just show you the bond web is here. Oh, 
It's a five meter roll for uh, 23.99. I can't imagine as many left because it's been very, very busy this week. With Here's quite a good example of where it's quite difficult to tell yeah. the right and the wrong side. Let's have a look at that one then, yeah. Can you use, oh, I don't know, you going upstairs just you're staying in front. There you go, there you go, there you go. Yeah, so there that's the wrong side. But actually, it doesn't look too no. dissimilar to the right side. So you just so have to be a just, bit, just suddenly check on something. Yeah. You just have to be a little bit careful. Right, I'm just right. going to get my pattern pieces and roughly cut out a couple of pieces. Okay. The berries, there's a lot of berries on this, which are all, which are quite fiddly, but they're they're also really fun and they really make the the end result oh, look yeah, fabulous. No, no, now there's a line of green stitching on this yeah did you do that before you stuck things on yes so what what we've done is made your quilt sandwich right so before we've your, done anything you just make a quilt sandwich you, you've traced your pattern onto the top yeah then you're going to make a quilt sandwich right. so you can see you've got your and there's enough fabric. cream in this to do the front and the back itself. yes brilliant yeah now i like to use at that heirloom one that you sell do you sell the heirloom wadding Oh, 820, yes, yes, yes. 820, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the one I like, but yeah. everyone's got their own favourite wadding, haven't yeah. they? So just use whichever one you like, and yeah. there's all sorts of things out there, aren't there? Okay, so now you've cut those out, but you've not cut it out. No, I've pinned, I've cut it out roughly, yeah. then I'm pinning it onto the right side. It's quite easy to pin it onto the wrong side, Yeah. <laughs> as I just nearly did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because um, these haven't got bondweb on. The bondweb's actually on the fabric, yes. so you pin, you're now... P putting your pieces on the right side of the fabric. Yes. Now, if you want to save on bondweb and fabric, you can cut it out exactly and then bondweb the back. Yeah. But it's more fiddly to do it like that. This is much quicker. Yeah. I just need you to move to your right a little bit, please. Thank you. We are. Moved, the girls have moved the cupboard. You see, that's what it is. I'm going to move that down. A bit worried about burning yeah. myself. <clears throat> and then we're going to cut out the pattern pieces. So that now you cut it exactly. It's got the bondweb on the back. Yeah. And you're cutting, cutting exactly it out. on the lines now. Yeah. Exactly on the lines. And on the pattern piece, it'll show you where, where to place it so that you've got enough fabric. I mean, there's plenty of fabric anyway. Carol says, lovely pattern, nice clear lines to follow. Oh, great. Exactly. <clears throat> I'm just going to cut those two pieces out. Now, uh, don't when you cut your pieces out like this, don't do them sporadically. Keep them nice and close together. Yeah. In, as in, you know, so because there'll be <coughs> the right amount of fabric for the pieces, won't there? So well, the pattern's got the exact amount on. You can see there. <coughs> Hang on, don't need to move oh, it over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. You can Going see towards there. You. No, towards you. Onto towards me. Mat. Yeah, sorry. It's like a. No, it's all right. There you go. Competition, isn't it? <coughs> oh, as I move, I move. Yeah. So you can see because there are some quite sweeping yes, parts. Yes, yes, yeah. And you don't want to end up with not enough fabric out to do your... the sweeping part, yeah. Yeah. So this is this, I love your description of this bow. Totally oh. random pieces that actually then look like an amazing bow. But you're it, right, it, you're but, absolutely right. But it is, isn't it? <coughs> if you draw a bow, you wouldn't think, oh, I'll draw, I'll draw the, it's, uh, and then with the stitching and the kind of, it just looks 3D, doesn't it? It does. So, right, we've got our, our, our quilt sandwich here, yeah. and we're going to iron the pieces on. And as I said, because we used the, the friction pen, as soon as I iron on, the pieces will disappear. Yeah. So I'm just going to add, and, it, and it's worth taking time to place your pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to try and put these bits on as well, and that middle section. So at this point, we want to then take off the bond web uh -huh. off the back. Just lobbing everything on the floor. Sorry, it's a bit rude. That's isn't right. It? No, no, no. It's just has to hoover later. I'll clear up later. <laughs> Uh, so it's worth just doing a few pieces at a time so yeah. that you or or in or in a concentrated area because you will lose your lines on yes, the um, yeah, yeah. on the pattern. But as I said, it, it literally a half an hour in a freezer. You're not keen on me talking about it going in the freezer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, it comes back again. Uh, Fifty two. And it's it's a really easy pattern to follow. And then you can see I'm using a pin to take the, yeah, yeah, the bond to bevel. That way. Did you ever used to watch the Krypton Factor? <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> I 
<laughs> also, the, the um, pieces have numbers on them. So you get the right overlap, you know, because some pieces are overlapping other pieces. Yeah. So that you follow the numbers so that you know that, because if you had, if you'd done the bow first and then suddenly you thought, oh, there's holly leaves there. You <coughs> yeah. Ooh, oh, I've just loved the fabric on the floor. Okay. So uh, how much is that? <laughs> That's a fifth. Is that, there's only a fifth, fifth of the stock left. Fifth of the stock left. Ooh. I know. And we have any, we're only 20 minutes into the hour. So I'm going to just spend some time placing it. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. So that it looks like the bow. So it's looking quite nice already, isn't it? Yeah, if you stick it down wrong, if you pick it up immediately, normally you'd be all right. But you couldn't want to stick it down. Bonder web, is, it's there, basically. Yeah. It don't, you have to then stitch it down. It's not permanent. It will eventually fall off if you didn't stitch it. But... If you wanted to, you could try and use um, a 505 spray to stick them down with if you wanted. Yep. Okay. Be a lot of, make sure you, if you do do your 505 spray, make sure you have the windows open. All right, once you're happy with it, we can iron these bits on and, and, we, and I'm going to do it in sections. Okay. So. I'll just do it lightly to start with. Mm-hmm. One's moved a little bit. Oh yeah, don't move it. <laughs> yeah, well, this is where a little mini iron is brilliant. Imagine trying to do that with your big. I love this. I mean, I love a big domestic iron. Oh, excuse me, a big domestic iron. But for doing projects like this, it's ideal, isn't it? It is perfect. There we are. <clears throat> so I've gone over my original applique there because uh -huh. you can see some of the holly leaves are covered yep. over by the bow. I so. just need to tell you, though, there's only nine irons left. We only got them <coughs> back in stock this week just gone by, supposedly to last us till Christmas. Oh. <laughs> nine left of the irons. <coughs> so now we're going to um, raw edge applique that. Oh, are you? Onto the background. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can see here that I've done a few basting stitches in my quilt sandwich around oh, the okay. middle. Oh, OK, yeah, 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 to hold it in place. And yeah. then you can use a soluble... Oh yeah, we don't we don't sell this. Or you one, can but use we, your we, spray. We're going to get our buying team onto it, yeah. Or you can get the, you can use the spray, yeah, which yeah, or yeah. you know whichever way, and it's and it's pinned a little bit yeah. as well. So we're going to. I've you. I, have, I am using a red thread today. Normally, I, and for demos, I'd go um, cream so that people could okay. see. I, I thought it would really ruin it. Yeah. <laughs> so I've gone for for red, and I use always use the needle down position in the sewing machine so that uh -huh. when you when you want to pivot and turn a corner, you can um, you can. Do that easily. So now this isn't, we haven't dropped feed dogs or anything. I ha you can do it like that, but this is quite a, yeah, a so shape if, that it's quite easy to go around. If embroidery frightens you, this way you're literally pivoting and following the edge of the pieces, yeah. but using your normal foot. Don't <laughs> drop your feed dogs, just do it like <laughs> a, a, as though you're actually following the <clears> edge. <throat> whereas, whereas free motion embroidery, you don't turn the, the fabric at all. The fabric stays facing the same way and you kind of move it like a piece of yeah, paper. Yeah, you might want to experiment. Yeah. You, can't, you can definitely do it with dropping the feed dog. Can you do it by hand if you wanted to? You, you could do it by hand, yeah, absolutely. Again, you know, it would take longer. Oh yeah, but, but then, you see, well, I suppose you want this one by Christmas, but you know what I mean? Some people do it because they love the love Absolutely. of doing it, isn't it? It's not necessarily for a certain time. Yeah. Also, I know people that sew Christmas things in January. You know what I mean? They buy them and because it, it, the, um, the actual process is the sewing and everything and then it's put away then for the following Christmas. Yeah. Things. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it, I love the process of sewing for, for people for Christmas. Mm -hmm. I think it, it's really fun. And so... I've just sewn one piece there, and we, we've secured stitches at the beginning and the end. I'll just trim uh -huh. that off. And, yeah, I, it's a process of, of slow stitching, I suppose, on it. And um, you, can, you can build it up quite quickly, but it's also, um, you know, it's, it's, there's, there's a lot of pieces to put on there. But mm -hmm. it's, it's a really lovely, fun project. And I'm using an Aurafil thread again. What the 50 weight, 50 weight, the 50 weight yeah. in here. Now, would you, uh, when you, if you were making this at home, would you do the red pieces with the red thread and the green pieces with the green thread? I or, would, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and the, I think the instructions do say to do that because I think, 
Yeah, I mean, you only need red and green. Yeah, oh, yeah, of course. And there are some darker greens and some lighter greens, so you can just pick one that's in between. Yeah. Oh, I suppose you go rogue and use some, something glittery. You can, yeah. Posh be glittery, obviously, as it's liberty. <laughs> and what? And you're just on a normal, normal straight stitcher. Yeah, and yeah. What size are you on? I'm on two, just oh, over two. A piece has gone wrong again. It's on a what? Two. Just over two, yeah. Oh, so it's only a little, just a little one. Yeah, because you know you want it to be secure. Yeah. And are you just going over once? Or yep. will you go over a second time? No, just once. Yeah, because a lot of with free motion embroidery, they do it in like a black or a dark grey, don't they? And go over a few times to give it yeah. that kind of st sketchy sort well, of Well, you can do it. It depends on what kind of finish yeah. you want, doesn't it? Yeah. But I, you know, you only need to go over it once because you've got the security yeah. of the bond web on there. Yeah. And, and the stitching. And it's, and it's not going to get, unless, unless you put make it into a cushion. Now, what you mustn't do is I asked Anna this question once when I very first met her, went, oh, I do satin stitch on there. And the look I got from her was like, be, if you are going to use a sort of satin stitch, use a wide one, because it, um, the, the, the Tana Lawn doesn't like a heavy satin stitch because it's kind of too thick and bulky for the actual fabric, isn't it? I'm feeling a bit bad about that. That was quite a long time ago now, John. You've got excellent now. memory. <laughs> Way better than onto mine. my heart because... <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> but you can see, you know, we've done this in 15 minutes and it's actually, it, it's a it's a pretty quick process. Yeah. And you, it's a thing that you can pick up and put down again mm -hmm. until, you know, until you're ready. There we are. Oh, and got a message for you. Hi, John, really loving the show this morning. Just bought the Liberty five and two and a half inch square packs. Doing a little happy dance, feeling Christmassy from Leslie and Lincoln Church. Oh, They're lovely, Leslie. Great. They're beautiful. Oh, I wonder what Leslie's going to make with them. I've got a happy dance. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to know what you're going to make with them, Leslie, because everyone has so many different things that they that they do with charms. Well, they find, yeah, exactly. It's fascinating to find out. Some people, I, I mean, they're just beautiful to look at, aren't they? They are. And it's so lovely to have so many different types of Liberty fabric, which is quite difficult to get hold yeah. of, really. Well, you should see my stash cupboard. <laughs> what, for Liberty? Yeah, my, my stash cupboard, I've got so much Liberty. And then if anyone comes around, I'll well, have a bit of red fabric and have some of this. I go, we can't have this. And I, don't, I, I made, I made <coughs> actually, I made my friend Francesca's mum, um, who wasn't very well at all. I made her some masks at the beginning of lockdown. I made her some masks up for Liberty. Mm. And then the rest of their family were like, oh, can we have some? Can we have some? And I was like, mm. yes. So I made it out of non Liberty. <laughs> they were like, oh, no, we wanted them like no, no. I had a lot of requests for mask making at, the, at lockdown yeah. as well. It's weird oh. as well, because we were out, when I was out with Dulce yesterday, she was buying Christmas fabric. She said, where should I get some Christmas fabric? Do some mask. I went, Liberty. First thing I went was Liberty. Yeah. Um, but of course, a lot of the shops now, like we went into, well, there wasn't that much Christmas at the NEC yesterday, cause, but we went into a fabric shop in Stratford Avon. Did you? about this many Christmas things. I don't know, <coughs> we're on to spring now. You know, really? Like, yeah. What, already? Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, no, but you're not, obviously, because these are absolutely flying out. We're not onto, uh, no, we're not onto spring. Nice yet. quick make this, isn't it? Do you reckon you could get this done in a day if you wanted to? Yeah. Yes, definitely. Beautiful, I mean, I think it? it probably would just take you, it, I mean, the long bit is, is this bit, obviously, and um, each Yeah, that's layer. the bit I'd like the best. This is the bit I'd like doing the best. Oh, yeah, well, everyone, yeah, well, I really enjoy this bit. Yeah. It's, it's fab. And you're sewing about two millimetres from the inside edge, yeah. or as close to the edge as you can possibly get. But it doesn't, it's pretty good liberty, it doesn't fray mm. an awful lot. So uh, and with the added bonder web, it shouldn't, it shouldn't fray. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you sew on the liberty. You're actually sewing round the inside of the edge of all the patches. Yep. Uh, Hayley obviously hasn't been listening. <laughs> <laughs> so to some people, do, yeah, don't do satin stitch. Don't do a zigzag, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, a satin stitch is a very, very close zigzag stitch. So you can actually get a thick line, which a lot of people use on applique. I love it on applique. Um, but you wouldn't use that on tarn and lawn because it's too heavy for the tarn and lawn. But you could do, you can do a, uh, uh, you can do a, like a, if you want to do a decorative wider zigzag stitch, you could do that. Or you could do the straight stitch like here. You can. See, Hayley's still learning about sewing. We've only been doing this job for, what, five years? <laughs> does Hayley sew? Just now. She made she the, does. Yes, because I had a panel the other day and she made the cushions 
Oh, and she really? sent me the picture of the cushion so I could show them on the show. Oh, and fab. Elliot showed them every two seconds. Amazing. Well, Elliot was being a creep, wasn't he? Because <laughs> Elliot's, uh, she's Elliot's boss, you see. <laughs> Various. <clears throat> so when we move on to the holly, we can move on to. Uh, yeah, there's no rush. I'm screen. enjoying watching. Yeah. I mean, it's just using the same technique on yeah. all the pieces, really. We also had a picture of Hayley's cat as well, which Elliot kept showing. No, we don't do sitting. We're not doing cats today. I'm allergic to cats, which I'm quite sad about because I quite like them. Oh? Uh? I'm allergic to cats. Oh, are you? Yeah. You have to get now. There's one cat that all my friends get. Not the not the one. Oh, the hairless cat. No, no, they they frighten me a little bit. <laughs> um, there is one make of cat that doesn't seem to affect anyone. There's, and um, in the village, Steph's allergic to all animal fur, but she's like <coughs> a dog, like a wirehead terrier or something like that and she doesn't have any allergies from that one at all. Oh really? Hamish the That's dog. That's amazing. And then you can move on and put your other bits on. Uh-huh, the moustaches. The moustaches. That's what they look like in there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, they do. We can Gallons. put the moustaches on. Are you doing them in the right order? Are you doing them in... I am vaguely doing them in the right order, oh, okay. yes. So the, all that's on here is all um, number one, the sort of number yeah, one. Yeah, don't do it wrong if it's going to my house. <laughs> uh, or, I mean, going to the st <coughs> storeroom here for future reference. <laughs> and uh, and then you, some of these other holly leaves would have been on yeah. already, but yeah, I, I was going to try and show those, if, depending on the time. Twenty nine ninety nine. It's beautiful and flying at you. Absolutely love it. So uh, have they designed? There's me now doing future shows. Yep. You know, um, like the one, the one I love, the Chiv Life and the um, Bird Purge Parrot. Um, oh, what am I trying to say? The Blue, Blue Bird, Bird and the Goldfinch. Are there any more of those planned? Ooh, oh, okay. Don't answer. Could don't do answer. Those. Don't answer. Don't answer. Which people would like to see them? We could have. Yeah, them I think the people would love them. They are lovely, aren't yeah. they? Like, well, we've been trying to do new product for so no, no, Street. No, I mean, I mean new versions of them, not, all the new same, versions. not the same ones. So something along. So if somebody's already made the Goldfinch and the, the Bluebird of Happiness, they might need another one. Mm. I'll put it to the uh, yes, to the design team of which Laura. Laura, Laura will probably be watching actually. So listening. Yeah. Yeah, get me Laura's number. <laughs> <laughs> So the moustache number two going yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't really matter if you can see the lines, as we said, because as soon as you iron, yeah. it uh, it removes. Just going to be a bit careful about these long sweeping bits. Now, on this one, you've literally just done the um, stitching that you're doing now. Could you do a bit of quilting on it as well if you want You to? can, yeah. yeah. You can do any any kind of quilting. Yeah. In, in I mean, the I middle wouldn't go over the leaves around. or anything like that. I'd only go <coughs> in the like in that middle section there, or like yeah. But like some snowflake people snowflake might like to do it was like to might like to do the spine of the leaves in like oh, a silver yes. thread, and actually there <coughs> to make the bow give it that three D shape. There's some there's some stitching detail. Yeah. You could um, do that yeah, by yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you see on the pattern? I don't know if it, if they've done it on that one, but um, they're, on they're the stitched on the bow yeah. on that one, yeah. Yeah, there's, no, there's nothing anywhere else. There's just the green circle. Yeah, and, and then, then you, everything else has got it. So you can do whatever you want, mm. uh, and you know, can make a feature of it in a different colour thread or right. you know whatever there, you fancy. There are now fewer than twenty left. It's going to sell out today. There's loads you got in your baskets, so please be careful. If you have got it in your basket, you do need to now start checking out. Don't wait for the demonstration to finish because I would hate for it to get to the end. And for you to um, and miss out on it. And you've watched the whole show and then you miss out on it. That would be a shame, wouldn't it? Oh, that one's really up. What's the matter? What do you need? I've got some messages to read out while Anna's doing some sewing. Here we go. Oh, so slow. No, there's nothing up there. Oh, yeah. I'll be sending Christmas cards again this year. Uh, for special people only. So that's what I'll be using the fabric for. The ones oh. on set are lovely. So are you going to send one to me then? <laughs> Another message. Uh, love this wreath pattern. I would do circles in other Liberty prints and make a bauble wreath. <gasps> oh, uh, that's uh, that would be lovely, Kate. Hello. So, yeah, so you Let's do a see holly a picture one. Of that next time, please. And then we're too late now. Kate's done it. Oh, she's made it? No, not yet, but you know. Oh. She should make it. Kate, when it's made, send me a picture. 
Amazing. Beautiful. Another message. Uh, with Delphine's project, I use a blanket stitch. Would it be okay to use this on my Liberty project? Good question, Alicia. Blanket, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A, a delicate blanket stitch, not a big... Because some machines do those ones where it goes... Duh, 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 like three stitches in each bit, doesn't it? Yeah. You want the light, delicate blanket yeah. stitch, don't yeah. you? Yeah, I, I think it's going to be quite tricky on some of those little... Um, well, that's the challenge. Berries, but I, yeah, I'd love yeah, to you see, see it with Not everyone's stitch. in a hurry like you, you see. <laughs> You always make me in a hurry. Huh? I'm always in a hurry. I am always no, in no, a I hurry. No, no, I don't mean here. I don't mean on air. I mean in life. I am always in a hurry. Yeah. How do you know that about me? You've told me so many times. Have I? Yeah. I don't Another message. Very quickly. <laughs> it's good. No, it's good. I'm, I never sit still. Well, I say that. Uh, bought <coughs> so many of Sewing Street Applique kits. I love doing them from Mandy in Staffordshire. I know. Uh, Applique is such a love. It's the first thing we ever did, apart from seams at Wimbledon School of Art. The crea first creative thing we did was an applique cushion cover. I know. So, uh, shall I just show you what you get in your kit again? I'm going to move those. I'll go through the squares in a minute as well, actually, because I haven't done the other squares yet. In the kit, you do get all of your instructions. So you get your layout drawing. Oh, hang on, I'm in the right place. So your layout drawing. Right, so you get all of these, all the applique templates here, right? So that one, you cut out of that fabric. You see that there? So you got all of those out of that fabric. You cut all of those out of that fabric. You cut all of those out of that fabric. And then these are the numbers that you applique them on in the order in which you applique them on. You don't have to photocopy them bigger or smaller. They're all the right size. All of these are cut out of the red. Oh, yeah, sorry, that's in, that's in half there, look. There you go. And then this is the dark red one. This one's lovely, that one, isn't it? to do all of those pieces. What you do is you overlap that bit with that bit there, so you get all your pieces in a long strip, and that's why you've got a long strip of this, you see? That one goes there. And then this here, these are all your layout, your full size layout plans, right? You don't need to photocopy any other size, it's the right size. Put them all together to create your, your actual. You also get your cream fabric, so there's enough for the front and the back. So if you're gonna make a cushion out of it, what you do is you wouldn't put the cream on the back here. You'd use a piece of white cotton or something from your stash. Yeah. And then you'd use what you that fabric there for the back of your cushion. Yeah. Isn't that right? That's absolutely right. And then or in all the instructions here, there's pages of written instructions somewhere as well. Hang on, are they here? You got them. I don't know what I've done with them. But I did have them. Okay. Uh, I don't know what I've done with the written instructions. There, <coughs> yes, I've got them here. No, 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 I don't need them. Don't worry. You do get okay. a full set of written instructions as well. Yeah, you do. <laughs> are they on there? <laughs> they are in there somewhere. <laughs> There's only 12 left now. There's 12 left now. And here they are, Lada. Yep, yeah, there won't be any more coming in. That'll be it. That'll be it. We'll be on to Easter next. Easter. Oh, I have to get Laura on a fabric. Got any ideas for Easter projects, anyone? Easter egg. Can it have chocolate in it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> always, always. Oh, now I only did, went for a, like an embellished egg. But um, Hayley went for a bunny. Mm. Liberty bunny. Oh, lovely. Nice. That, that sounds gorgeous. Anyway, get all of that. Now, let me just also go over. Are you all right over there? Aren't I'm you? fine, you're yeah, missing, yeah, yeah. You're not missing anything. Let me no, just no. go over the five and the two and a half inch squares. So I've got more here as well. Right, I'll do the Christmas ones first. So these are made by Laura. Louise. Louise. Hang on. So who was, what did Laura make? Hang on. Laura's Laura the head designer. Laura's Laura designer. Designed These are made by Louise. So who made the poppy? Louise. Louise. Louise made the poppy. So anything Alice doesn't design, L Laura designs. Oh, okay. And then these are the, these were by Louise then, these cards. Yes. So what she used to make those, we obviously don't sell the, the cardboard. No, it's not called cardboard. The card to make them. Well, I didn't know that. I didn't know. Chris Floor, when we used to work at Stone said to me, you know, card and cardboard are different things. I had no idea. Anyway, so the two and a half inch squares. Have we put that in yet? Yeah. 9.99. You get now in here, I need to tell you there are, it's written down somewhere, here you go. Nine different fabrics, four of each piece, 36 in total. They're lovely, aren't they? Beautiful. Now, they, they, we call them the Christmas, but they're, they're all, they've got the feeling of Christmas. Don't need to be Christmas. One of them's got holly on. That one's got holly on it there. But the rest are just the colourways, aren't they? I love that one there. So that's 9 99 for that set there. 
Then we've got the 5 inch squares. Now we're just going to put the 5 inch squares in there. <coughs> then I've got others to show you, see. I've got others to show you. 14.99. Now, out of the others, would you like to do 5 inch or 2.5 inch first? You tell me. Right, I'll do two and a half ones first. Right, blue two and a half. Oh, there's only five left. I've got the hiccups, I'm afraid. There's only five of those left. The beautiful colours in there, aren't they? They're all blues. There it is. That one's obviously been packed in a different order to the one I've got. 9.99. Now, I haven't got blues in five inch squares, but I'm going to do this one now. So, this colourway is pinks in two and a half inch squares. I think it's slow, so I'll be with you in a second. It's fine. Oh, we've got ages yet, we're fine. 14 of these left, I'm just being up front, and that's at 20 to 1 on. What day of the week is it? Sunday. <laughs> okay. Now, I've also got the pinks in the five inch squares. This one, you get 20 different fabrics in this one. Okay. Oh, oh, that's sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. Right, I've got this one, which I'm presuming is called, must be called Rainbow N680. Right. Rainbow, but look at, the, look at these now. Did uh, Louise make these as well? Uh, no, Anna, another Anna. Oh, another Anna made, made those. these. Anna JP. So we're always. I have, I'm always known as Anna S because there's two Annas. Oh, actually, okay, so. okay. But look at that. That's literally just sewing stripes of. Might not be the ones out of there, but you know what I mean. And then she just stamped it like that with hope. There's a village near Theatre Clude called Hope, and we had a girl working in our, in our wardrobe department, and I'd say. Oh, she said, I'm Catherine, I live in hope. And I was like, oh, don't we all love? <laughs> they were showing, like, no, I live in hope. I do live in hope. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's those. Right, let me go back to the kit then, because I'm imagining this is about to sell out now. That goes there, that goes there. there. I'm just making sure I get all your bits back to you at the end. <laughs> Not many left, afraid, not many left. Right. Half the Christmas charm packs have all gone now. Oh, I don't know where the one. Right, are you ready? Sorry, can you go back to you? I'm just tidying up here. Yeah, right. can, can what do. Are you doing, what are we doing? So once you've, once you've appliqued all of all your bits of it, on, yeah. we're going to then cut it down to an 18 inch square. Okay. And I've marked it on already just for ease. Pam Minihani says, what a brilliant morning this has been. Thank you, Pam Minihani. <laughs> it was fun to watch the other ladies. <laughs> <laughs> They're a force to be reckoned with, aren't I they? I should get Alice on here, shouldn't I? Yes, I've been saying that <laughs> since day one, haven't I? You have. <laughs> it's a persuasion. She won't do it. Well, she does. She, she hasn't she done anything, do it. She's doing loads of our Insta Lives and stuff now, though. So oh, so she might be better at yeah, it now. Well, yeah, and actually, I think... No, no, don't she, mean that, that she wasn't ever bad at it, but she was a bit nervous. I think she it. always felt she'd be terrible, but she's amazing at Insta Lives, so... And actually, she's the creative force behind yes, exactly. the whole company. So and you it's, can have a day off. I could, I could have a day off, couldn't I? She'd make you do all the prep, though, wouldn't she? <laughs> actually... We've, some, of the, some of the prep has been done by, our, we've, we've now got some pattern testers because, you know, all the patterns need testing. Yeah, cool. And um, so they are now doing some of the prep for this, so oh. it's a bit easier for me. <laughs> yeah. So you didn't have to say that. You could say, I've been up till the burning, the midnight oil getting this ready for you, John Scott. And well, we I did. Feel sorry well, you. we did this crazy quilt this week that we're, we're doing for the next lot of... Um, Oh, I don't know, is it top secret? But we're it's doing the next secret. lot of quilting cottons. So Alice has designed a quilt for the next lot of quilting oh, cottons wow. coming out in the spring. And so we had a bit of a crazy uh, all hands on deck. You see, I don't think of her as doing quilting cottons. I know she does quilts. We sell quilting cottons as well, yeah. yeah. Well, we've never done them here, though, have we? We no. need to get onto that. Maybe, maybe we should. Oh, maybe we should. All right, maybe we'll we should. We'll to get into <laughs> What are you doing now? We are, so I'm just going to put binding on. So <coughs> 
you this is your finished. Imagine, yes, imagine it's all on, yeah. and you can unpick. Oh, that all comes out the long. That's why you get a long strip of the dark yes. red because you need to cut your binding from it. As now well. I'm a big fan of a hand finished. Yep. Thing. So I always now there's two lots of instructions in there. You can either uh, sew it to the reverse and then machine it on the front yeah. in line with your um, first lot of stitches. Yeah. Or you can do what I always do. I can't bring myself to machine. You see, stitch you're it. doing binding like I would do binding and dressmaking and things like that. Yeah. Because when I first came to the sewing quarter and the, and the quilters were folding it in half stitching it on and folding a whole lot over. Yeah. I have never seen that before. Whereas the way you're doing it now, I yep. uh, that's the way I would automatically bind something. Yep, this yeah. is what this is the way I've always bound. And uh yeah. So we've um folded over uh so it's <coughs> about a quarter inch of the seam. Yeah. And then so that when you fold it over onto the back it's an it's a nice a nice uh finish. Mm hmm Then I'm just sewing it on. with my quarter inch seam. <clears throat> and Ooh. then I'll fold it over to the back. Yep, and but then you'll hand whip it down the back. Yeah, I just really love a hand finish on, uh, on a binding. I think it looks neater. I think obviously this is a, a wall hanging or a cushion, so um, you probably won't see the back anyway, but no, I no, think it's neater on the front as well. If so you... now do you do the two sides first, or two, the top and the bottom, and then the two sides? Two sides first. Always. I always do, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, or, yeah. or the top and the bottom. <clears throat> and do you do it, right, I'll let you, so you've sewn that bit on, you don't hand sew that bit before you put, you sew the next. Well, it doesn't matter. On this edge. It doesn't matter. You sold can... out. Sold out. Sold out. Congratulations. You can you can flap that over and hand sew it yeah. if you're watching the telly that night, and then yeah. you can pin this one on, or you yeah. can or you can sew both on. No, no. What, what, yes. So, so you sew both sides on. Yeah. Would you then hand stitch them before you put the top and the bottom one on? Yes. And then so that those two edges are completely finished. Yeah. Then you sew the top two on and the yeah. bottom the bottom. I start again. Top and the bottom on, and yes. then hand stitch those. Yes. Brilliant. But it has sold out. <laughs> Yay! So while you're while you're still looking at this, let me remind you about this gorgeous cushion because there won't be many of these left either. Because last time you were in, this was a bestseller. It was. Um, the gorgeous flower power cushion. Again, now this is again this is free. This is the, done the same way, isn't it? So it's the same technique as Te this. Same yep. technique. I'm not going to open it, but in there, in there you cut all, and there's an, a different way of cutting out the shapes on that one. You were yeah, saying. Yeah, like you were you, like you cut snowflakes out when you were children. Um, so you fold it and fold it again yeah. into a quarters. You draw your template onto it, and then you, and then you cut it out. Perfectly, ta-da! Oh, yeah, it's um, perfectly symmetrical. There's only fourteen. Did you say fourteen? Oh, fifteen. Fifteen of these left. There's oh, and we had hundreds of those, didn't we? Yeah. Fifteen left of those. That's it. Twenty-four ninety-nine. Yeah, it's nine. Uh, so it's nineteenth of July, did you say? September. Oh, uh, September. September, sorry, <laughs> September. I'm throwing a month away. September. 19th September, go to YouTube and you'll see a, a, a demonstration of that. And that's what yours will look like when it arrives. And that's what it'll look like when it's finished. I know the whole... The thing is, right, if you went into Liberties, right, and I'm not dissing Liberties whatsoever, but if you went into Liberties, I know you've made it. There's no way the price tag would be anything like 24.99. I'm going back to years when I lived in Twickenham, right? And Ken and Barbie, for my Christmas present, bought me a Liberty cushion. And it was just strips, not just, it was strips of Liberty fabric sewn together with a velvet backing, right? And they left the price tag on. Now, I don't know if they left the price tag on on purpose <laughs> <coughs> to say, look how much we paid for your Christmas present. But it was, and this, I, I've lived here now for 10 years, haven't I? I bought my house up here too. Well, yeah, it, well, hayley has got the, the website open now, all triple figures uh, for Liberty Cushion Covers. I'm just saying, what a good value yeah. this is. And I know you've <laughs> sewn it, but that adds extra value to it, really, doesn't it? Because it's been hand-stitched by you. I'm going to stop you there anyway now, and because you're not interested anymore. I'm stopping. You're stopping now. Excellent. It was lovely to see you. No, it was lovely so nice to see to you. I've, I've not finished yet. I've got to 10 minutes to go, but I'll go see you before in. you go, because I've got all your samples. <laughs> oh, actually, you can go now. <gasps> They've all <Yeah>. sold out. <laughs> They've sold out. You can go home now. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, no, no, no. I'm going to say goodbye to Anna because I've just got a couple of other things I need to remind you about from today's show. One of which was this um, oh, quilt from the 8 o'clock hour, the K Facet quilt. Now, I've not got the box to show you or anything like that. We've got lots of stills to show you of this one. So, $149.99. It comes in a box. Oh, I'm going to show you, actually. It comes in a lovely box. There it is. There's only the single figures in this now. Single figures. So it's $149.99. You can either pay in one go or you can pay in three split pay payments. Pay, pay, pay payments. $49.99. No interest charge whatsoever. And there's the, there's the little book. That's when you open the box, right? That's all the fabric that you get in the box and how much of it you get and what you cut out of it. And then here's your pile of fabric all wrapped in tissue. Oh, and here's some, oh, here's some more of the fabric, Stuart, just uh, unraveling the fabrics there. Oh, yeah, that's me. I was going to say, don't my hands look like Stuart's? But uh, they are my hands. Righty ho, so there's that. What else did you want me to talk about? Oh, how big is it? It's on the, me it's on the graphics. 138 by 196 centimetres. That is the correct size. It's only been on air this week. It's had no demonstration whatsoever. And yet it's, we've got seven left or something like that now. There it is. Isn't it beautiful? Exclusive to Sewing Street. Remember, you can't get it anywhere. So obviously, you could create it elsewhere. Yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, is the binding in that one or not? I can't remember. We'll just double check for you because some of them have binding and some of them don't. And I always like to be up front with you and tell you. It'll have the border. It'll definitely have up to there. But some of them don't have binding and some do. It's lovely, isn't it? I just think it's so... F here's fabrics, right? When you just do them and mix them together, when you first look at them in the pile, you think, oh, they'll never work together. And yet you put them together... And it just creates beauty, doesn't it? Yep, you do get the binding in this. Not the backing, but you do get the binding in this one. Some of them, I, I, I just like to be up front and tell you whether you get your binding. You do get your binding in this one. For £149.99, three split payments of £49.99. Right, now, didn't you, I thought you wanted me to mention the moxie. Is there a moxie left, though? Can you check that there's any left? Right, so Stuart and Liz from Pinhole Quilting and Pete came in and had a show with Stuart on, um, well, same day as this, I presume, and they did their long arm quilter. Uh, they did the most incredible deal. Tuesday. Yeah, so we've only now got it till a week com this coming Tuesday. It was a two-week offer because the gift you get with it is incredible. I don't know, are you going to put the graphics in or not? Okay, okay, that's fine. So it was a long arm quilter. I think it was something like £244 worth of gifts that come with it. One of which is a, it's a, 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 an induction course where you go and learn all about it and everything. So how much do they cost normally? Um, so it's a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic deal. However, it's, uh, it was only open for two weeks and it was on on Tuesday. So it, there's this Tuesday and then the following Tuesday the offer will be withdrawn after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very quickly, we're going to run out of time. Okay, go to the website, go to the website, go to the website. Go there. It's called the Moxie Long Arm Quilter, and it'll tell you how much you get, right? The other thing I need to tell you about is we do have a clearance section on our website now. So you don't go to watch live, you go to the website. Don't go to watch live. Go look at the top there where it says fabric, tools, books. Go to clearance, right? Pop, click on there. And then now it's all the things that we had in, well, the things that are left from clearance last week, but plus extra. So you'll find a lot of things in there that weren't even in the spooktacular. Now, obviously they were because I did all those fabrics. All those prices are your new low reduced price, right? But I didn't have that uh, cat's heads. I didn't have that light grey. I didn't have those cats there. I had the, no, I did have the Riley Blake, you see. I did have the Riley Blake in mine. But everything is there, all the fabric. For, now, is it just fabric, Hells? So everything that... Ha, that's the, Now, oh, stop, 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 stop. Go, drop it down a bit more. No, drop it down, sorry, drop it down. Design a mystery fat quarter pack, right? That shouldn't be in there. Because if you think... Now, what it is, you get 10 fat quarters. That means they're £2.24 each, right? They're all designer fabrics. 
They're not, there's no core fabric in there. We've not filled it out with some, oh, let's just put some, you know, it's all you will get. 10 designer fat quarters for £22.47. and pence. I know it's fantastic, isn't it? Keep scrolling, keep scrolling. You'll see an amazing amount uh, there. All sorts of things to look at. There's design. Well, look, Riley Blake. Also with Beth Kitts, look there. Oh, there's another, oh no, now the next day, the second day, we had the Moda Mystery Fat Quarter Bundle. They were Moda fabrics there, though it is there. So, do you see, the thing is, they both of those Fat Quarter Bundles sell really well without them being in a clearance. There's your Moda flowers, there's your fabric, there's your Lewis and Irene. The, oh, Sashko, Sashko panels, which we sell perfectly happy at their, at their normal price. Yeah, 19.99 there, you see. We've just left them there. Now, I don't know if it's going to be there forever. I don't know how it's worked. Well, actually, I can ask Hayley, can't I? Because she's in charge. Will the clearance category stay there forever? No, you see, so they, they, they haven't even decided. So, so I can't tell you if they haven't decided. Right, let's do tomorrow's menu then. Here we go. Uh, now, I'm not in now again until uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week. That's all I'm in next week. So let's have a look at to who's in tomorrow. Then Rebecca Reed's Monday, isn't it? Rebecca reads in tomorrow. Eight o'clock, she's got festive fabrics. No, she hasn't. No, she hasn't. She hasn't got, that's an, a mystery hour she's got at eight o'clock. We've got Rosie the Rabbit with Debbie Harris at nine o'clock. Oh, okay. There's a brand new quilt in the eight o'clock hour. That's the only thing I'm going to tell you about the mystery. Uh, there won't be a demo. There's no demo. No demo. Rosie Rabbit with Debbie Harris. Rosie, Debbie, is he, Debbie was only in the other day, wasn't she, with me? Then we've got a Christmas tree skirt with Sally Stevens. Then we've got the Henry Gass, Jacobi and Joyeux, old spelling mistake, Collezioni with Debbie Harris. Oh, could we spell it correctly then? It's amazing. And then at 12 o'clock, Yarn Lane, Barbara Murdoch, Tatting for Beginners. So there's not that many mistakes on there, are there? Right, I'm going now. Thank you ever so much for your company today. Make sure you check out your baskets. Um, I'll see you on Wednesday. So it must be Vix. No, no, D Bex tomorrow. Don't know who's in on Tuesday. Oh, I know who it is. I think it's Stuart on Tuesday because isn't Stuart my guest on Wednesday? I think that's the way it's working. So Vix, Stuart, me, me, me. Me, me, me. Uh, take care. Make sure you check out your baskets. Uh, uh, don't forget I'm doing my Facebook Live at four o'clock and I'll see you next Wednesday.